Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Because are you ready for an absolute stonker of a weekend and a stonker of a Friday? Because it look. is. We got the black and white memo today. Yeah, we. Yeah, I am definitely. in black and white. We're all in black and white. All in black and white. Got out of cars literally yeah. at the same time today. <laughs> yeah. Oh, black and white. Black and white. <laughs> it's Susie, everyone. Good morning, everybody, and what a show we have for you. Well, it's a whole lot of you, isn't it? It is. It's my fave, which is apart from. Pearls and Jade, which we had on Tuesday. Yes. It has to be Chakra. Yay! The Chakra. Now, if this is something very new to you, then don't worry. Yep. Susie is a wealth of knowledge um, who will obviously educate us absolutely. about what Chakra and what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. and it's huge, though, at the moment, it isn't is it? It's absolutely huge. And it's really about harmonising your mind, body and soul. So it's lovely. Yeah, it, it, yeah, exactly. If, if it's never, if it's something you've never really sort of uh, dived into before, then um, even if you're, you're thinking, oh, I'm not, I don't really know if this is my bag. You can't deny there is a very, a very mindful message it behind is. it all. With as what, is jewelry making, though, of course. With what is going on in the world today, and with all the pressures we're facing, <clears throat> with our energy bills and our <laughs> shopping, and everything's going up. It's really to make sure that we stay in balance yeah. and that we stay stress-free. Stress-free. That's what Chakra's all about. Love that. And in I think a nutshell. We, I think we all definitely need a bit of that from time to time, don't we? But I can't say another word until I welcome back. He has been on the holiday of a yeah. lifetime. Um, but how we have missed him. And that was the first thing that I said to him when I walked through the door, gave you a big squeeze, didn't I, Ross? And said, it's so good to have you back. Ross is in the hot seat once Yay. again. He's been, look, there we go, off to Bali. You've been to Bali, haven't you? Bali and Bangkok. I, I didn't know you went to Bangkok. Two nights in Bangkok. Um, isn't that, isn't that uh, um, the hangover? Don't they... 
Yeah, so something to do with the hangover. So we hadn't you none of that though, of course, because you're a good boy, aren't you? You're a very good none of you, none of those shenanigans though, of course, because you're a good boy. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a good <laughs> yeah, a good Catholic boy. Um, so Ross is back, and I'm so so pleased, honestly. And he's lined up the best, the best show. Yeah. Um, so yeah, your kit. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Your kit, uh, very much chakra inspired. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be uh, diving into Marla's, which we haven't done for a while, we have we? We haven't done Marla's in a while, and I absolutely love Marla's. I wear Marla's virtually every day of the week. I've got a whole selection. I'll tell you what a Marla is, how to use it, what you use it for. If Everything not even just a beautiful fashion it's accessory, just because they are lovely. a beautiful lovely. necklace, absolutely. Yeah, it just means garland at the end of the day. Oh, I love that. So, yeah. I love that. Um, so wonderful kits coming your way both in the 9 o'clock and also in the 12 o'clock hour. Um, your deal of the day is all about, speaking of beautiful holiday destinations, is all about... Larimar. Now, Larimar, most of you already know this, of course, but it comes from one location. That's the Dominican Republic. And it literally is a gemstone <laughs> that looks that, like that location. So totally and utterly natural. Um, you, if you can imagine the most beautiful, soft, tranquil, tropical blue, um, then you'll be conjuring up images like this. It's coming up as your deal of the day. We've got a little Larimar selection for you, and that's happening at, at 10 a.m. We've also got some of your essentials in sterling silver. Now, mega auction, mega auction alert whoop 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 that's me trying to do an alarm then was it good was it good <clears throat> yeah that was you want me to do it again only because you're going to record it adam isn't it oh, that's all right then good mega auction alert whoop 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 yeah did you like that yeah. um because when was the last time that you saw and i know that i know how important they are especially if you do things like your pearl knotting or <clears throat> any gemstone knotting for that matter we have a mega auction on your sterling silver wire guardians they're coming up at 9 a.m on the dot i've got 700 of those available um go on what are you gonna put one pre-order us oh he's back and he's feeling bold mm. He's feeling pre-ordery, he says. <laughs> we love it. And this is what you use your wire guardians for. Basically, they prevent any wear, mm -hmm. any friction against the threading material that you choose, be that silk, be that, um, be that wire end tips. Now, we've just put them on pre-order. <laughs> Ten have gone in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm not surprised because they are a necessity. And they also make it... It's that professional finish, isn't you it? You get a professional finish with this. And also... Um, if you say using French wire, you can sometimes get the lengths wrong. This gives you a consistent length, consistent. so fantastic. It also keeps all your threads clean. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's a good it point. It does, because they, they, they do rub against uh, the findings and they do get sort of dirty. A bit dirty, one. yeah. Well, so it just looks that much nicer. Yeah. Um, so they're coming up. We've also got some beautiful, uh, beautiful red dragon peridot coming up as well as an early bird deal. Amongst a multitude of other things, I've got to show you this sterling silver bracelet. Now this is coming up within this hour, isn't it? Again, I've got a mega auction quantity, mm -hmm. haven't I? Um, I know, I know it's only August, but I'm going to say it. Think about your Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. Think about your just because gifts. This is a beautiful, if I just slide it off for a second and turn it around, there you go. It is a complete 925 sterling silver bracelet, one that you might find, you know, in the likes of Tiffany's and Co. Because they are very much about yeah, the cable absolutely. links, aren't they? Uh, so these are coming up. Uh, it's coming up within this hour, actually. So um, I don't know. Can we pre-order on this, Roscoe? Yeah, Yay. go on. Because some of the sterling silver charms that Susie's got in her kit would look lovely. Just one oh, of them. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> suspended from these. Um, so, yeah, shop ahead on those. And it's not a Tiffany's price tag, obviously. It's a jewellery maker price tag for that same amazing quality. Now, see these lovely peridots? These have been to an incredible low price point. They've been to 9 99 for natural peridot, a pack of 12 round brilliant cuts. That's less than a pound each. We've got 200 in stock today. We're going to pop them on pre-order for you all. We're going to take it to a brand new low. Never mind 9.99. Who would like these under five pounds this morning? Um, yeah, exactly. For a whole parcel of round, brilliant cut natural peridots. Those uh, this month's birthstone as well. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Ross has just said, oh, oh. He's been on holiday. Listen, you can always, you can, I reckon you can use, you can use that excuse, Ross, for a good couple of weeks. 
and get away with it <clears throat> until about Christmas he's going to keep trying he says okay so yes you have got a discount code as well and we've just promised it under five pounds oh dear there we are never mind oh. never mind it's coming up hey ho no, so have. don't forget to use your August 20 uh, to get 20 percent off if you're getting these beautiful setting in your pearls, beautiful news in your gemstone settings, all of those things. Um, right then, I think we need to get cracking, shall we? Um, oh. Wire end tips, you want to show me those? I want to show, okay, yeah, let's show those again. Um, because I've got a big quantity of these, but they are an absolute necessity. And they're also like gold dust. We don't see them very often on our live show. Um, it's quite self-explanatory. They look like a little pair of, uh, uh, of headphones or earphones rather coming up at nine o'clock today. So you feed your, your thread through, through yeah. that little tube. You let it go round, and literally that's where you attach your clasp or jump ring if you like. Yeah, you just tie a knot then and then thread it through your... Um the bead and then on this end is where you put your clasp clasp that end yeah. there you go there you go so you can pre-order and shop ahead on those we've got over 700 of them available but they will still sell out i can say that with absolute confidence shall we start this show with your inspiration is that what we're doing sorry ross i didn't i didn't hear shall we let's start with the, uh, your wonderful creations uh, and your makes it's the wall of fame <laughs> of entries this uh, this oh. morning so get your get your emails in won't you so we can admire and show them off on on air uh, 299 is num uh, what's that sorry there oh. we go oh. um, it's from millie b oh i saw this on facebook i absolutely love it and Isn't those butterflies beautiful beautiful i love the placement of those butterflies mm, yeah me too so millie nice. b that's beautiful Gorgeous. hi jm and crew here's my wall of fame emperor jade that david uh david troth uh, brought to wear and my dragon pendant couldn't go on holiday oh i tested positive for covid so oh, cheer no. myself up making my best uh, piece ever it's oh beautiful oh well i'm so sorry that you couldn't go on your holidays my lovely um oh get well soon and that is absolutely amazing absolutely beautiful. amazing number 300 is from fran porter good morning to you fran that's beautiful oh, as well loving that um fran says hi hopefully everyone has had some refreshment due to the wet stuff from the sky yes do you know what fran i almost went ru running around I, I was so tempted to literally just run around in the rain no. it was like a celebration wasn't it never have i wanted rain so much nor me or get excited nor me it rained. was wonderful i um um, yeah, it was, I'm not being funny, uh, uh, Roscoe, it was horrendous, the heat, absolutely horrendous. Um, this week is a set uh, of bracelet and earrings made using Jet AB bobby beads and iris gun metal in 6-0s with antique and black findings. Need to get some uh, disc earring back so the earrings can be worn either way. Subtle differences, but the photo uh, shows the back and also the front. Oh, yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Uh, she says, stay safe, everybody. And that's from lovely Fran. Fran, that's beautiful. From Number the medial. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, all those lovely colours. Uh, 301 is from Deborah Richards. Hello to you, Deborah. I spot Richard. another Marla. Oh, I like love the that. tassel. Love it. That's Absolutely amazing. Love it. I love your guru, how you've done your guru. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, and Deborah says, hi, jewellery maker. My entry for the WAF is my third Marla, made, from another, uh, made for another friend on a big birthday using six millimetre beads. Chakra beads are from a kit. Uh, markers are, are amethyst and lapis Buddha heads. Majority of the wow. beads are jasper, but added some charite and rhodochrosite energies for her specific wow. needs. Guru is uh, a jadeite flower with a pearl. Um, also a rough black diamond on the tassel uh, oh. which is her birthstone amazing she really oh, appreciated wow. that i made it for her it's beautiful wow love, attention love, to love detail it. with attention that to detail. i love the stones that you've added so i sort of can kind of guess what it's for love that love that well if you want to know more about your uh, your chakra uh, much like uh, deborah's beautiful creation love and it. gift to her lovely friend um then stay tuned because susie's going to be educating us in the wonderful world um, of chakra right then should we get cracking shall we i'm going to start with oh he said it he said it Fast and Pisces, Al, fast and Pisces. Doesn't they don't change, <coughs> even with a couple of weeks off, look, he says. He's not all chill and, and zen. Think you, that's what you'd think. No, 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 he's back and ready. Wow. Oh, 
Wow, two meters. Two meters of beautiful pearls. Fantastic. Look at all of these. Um, uh, oh, wonderful. So even on holiday, Ross was talking gemstones to some, uh, some, some, some locals who were trying to sell... Uh, <laughs> really? Locals were trying to sell uh, Ross some tiger's eye and some lava rock and some obsidian. And what did you say? I don't need, I don't need lava rock, tiger's eye and obsidian. Don't you worry. I, 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 you know, I, that's what I do for a living. Did you not know get tempted to say, Ross? Don't you know who I am? Because everybody in the world of gemstones knows Ross. Ah, oh, yes. I made this with two meters of pearls. You did, in a kit. yeah. So, so we only had go. this on Tuesday, didn't we? Yeah. So it's literally that necklace that we showed on Tuesday, yeah. made might, out of this. Yeah, absolutely. Same pearls. Same you pearls. And you get extra, and there's more left over. There was a, for making that, which is hugely long. You don't have to make it so long. No. But you could definitely make. Any style of necklace with that. I mean, just, it's, this is beyond even a rope of necklace, uh, yeah. a rope of pills, rather, isn't it? Yeah, Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. But remember, we only have a, a limited quantity available. Um, these will go lovely alongside all of Susie's kits today. How many did I have, Ross? Yes. Could only I... four. Elizabeth Lancashire Paula, I can see you there. I can't see you. Uh, the names on the phone lines, but good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Make sure you check those out. Um, have I got what? Oh, I do. What's this? Black jadeite. <gasps> there are three of these available. My size. Is it? Do you want to try it on? Can I? Can I just demonstrate? <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Totally natural. Oh, wow. Type A. Black jadeite. That is. Takes size. three times as long to form black jadeite as it does any other colour. That, oh, oh matchy, Susie, matchy. with with all of this, I it looks. This. You do. Um, sadly, I think you're going to miss out, though, darling, because oh. there's only a couple of them available. Look at that. There are three. There are three available um, within our vault. Totally yeah. natural. This is not bleached, dyed. No. In any way, shape, or form, um, and you can get hold of it today on your split pay as well. Look at that. When it comes to black, the more silk, the black jade out rather, the more silky um, and intense the colour is, the higher the quality of the gemstone. You're getting ten carats there, and I always say, if that's not your size, if you're not a size K, move it to another digit. It's basically, it's about owning an archer ring. Yeah. They're incredibly difficult to carve and to cut, um, given the fact that you know that is one solid piece of jade that's yeah. one solid piece and they've obviously had to carve out the center you can get this home um <clears throat> yeah you can get this home for 24 pounds and 99 pence on four monthly interest-free payments there are just two of them remaining they're beautiful aren't they so i think pretty much every single member of the jewelry maker family now owns an archer ring because yeah. it's an opportunity that we can't miss um hello to you, kayla darling morning gorgeous ladies hope the temperature is a bit better uh, for you all yeah. looking forward to a good show Susie is always so talented isn't she just I totally totally agree I much prefer this temperature uh, it was yeah. horrible earlier on wasn't it when it's in the like 30s nah nah unless I, I always say it unless I've got a pool in front of me and a cocktail in my hand I will whinge at a 30 plus uh hello to Sarah Warwickshire um it's now stuck on Susie's finger yes. so Thank she you. has to have it honestly Sarah you're so right <laughs> honestly I look Hello to you, June. There's just one of these left. Good morning, Alan Susie. Taking the morning off for this morning's show. Oh, bless Aww. you. Uh, wonderful items already. Thank you, JM team, for such wonderful oh, goodies. Well, thank you, oh, June. Thank you for joining us. Uh, well done. There's only one of those left, so good luck. I've got Lynn, Gillian, and Angela there. There was only three left within the vault. Sorry, Susie. I know, I know. I'm taking it off. I don't want to make you sad. Yeah. But it's a great, it really fits. If you've got a J to K finger, J to yeah. K to L finger, that will fit. That will fit you. Yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, okay, let's bring you now. Uh, cultured, oh, I love these. They're so beautiful. I absolutely adore them. So they're, they're kind of like what we describe them as huggies, huggy style earrings. If I just turn that around so you can see just there. Um, and you pop them in the ear just like this. They're genuine cultured pearls, little seed pearls. 
Beautiful. So wearable. The kind of uh, piece of jewellery that you could put on and never take off. And if I yeah. turn it this direction, look, you can see it just wraps around the bottom of your earlobe. Uh, solid 925 sterling silver. Love that. Very Astley Clark. Astley Clark have got a lot of these seed mm. pearls in their, um, in their collection at the moment, I'm noticing. Absolutely beautiful. And something for all ages as well. Absolutely. Lovely and classic. You just put those in every day. Great for the yeah. office, great for meetings, great yeah. for going out. Yeah, love it. They're on the verge of selling out. Well done. Well done, well done. Uh, should we do some Nilamani? Ooh, Ooh. I can't remember the last time I saw Nilamani. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good point, especially especially in the rounds. Uh, hello to you, Liz. Welcome home, Ross. Yeah. Um, there have been some am amazing days whilst you've been away. Um, I'm hoping there will be some brilliant ones to come. Oh, yes. oh you can guarantee on that. In this show. In this show. Something major tomorrow. Oh. But, yeah, definitely some really good opportunities in today's show as well, Liz. Of course, he's not going to miss out on all the goodies. He's the man that delivers the goodies. Aren't you, Ross? That's me. He says, that's me. I um, can't remember the last time I saw Nilamani. Nilamani is basically, it's, it's, a, it's a variety of kyanite. Um, locals actually named it Nilamani, which literally translates to blue stone. Um, they liken this beautiful gemstone to the quality of blue, the saturation of blue that you get within your cashmere sapphire. Incredibly rare and also uh, very difficult to obtain. Shall we do a brand new low? One for the collectors and the connoisseurs. It has never been any lower than the price that is on your screens which is awesome by the way 29.99 one for the collectors yeah nilamani uh completely and utterly natural and look i'm noticing here you've even got um a, a, yeah, a chatoyancy which is beautiful yeah. wow full 10 pounds off straight away i can see you there collectors uh, new customer eleanor hello to you janice and lynn wendy's with us in west midlands we don't get nilamani very often it's very limited across the entire partnership in actual fact well done well done well done janice i can see you've got yours as well and so workable given the fact that they are six mil rounds as well Absolutely well done like i said over allocated already on that one uh Oh, yes. Ooh. Now, I know that this is... We had a little mini showcase of this on Tuesday, Ross. Mm. I know, I know. And I was thinking, oh, this is Ross's favourite gemstone. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. This deserves, this deserves a reveal. Are you ready for this? Look at that. Or oh, that's something else. That is, that colour is amazing. Uh, you don't get that colour in Neon Appetite very often. That's it's so beautifully rich. It's such rich, rich colour. Because Neon you know. Appetite is undeniable, isn't it? I mean, it's you go, beautiful. wow, straight yeah. away. But it, then there's this. Yeah. This is very sophisticated. This is um, like bref bre breakfast at Tiffany's. Oh. It's just, Holly comes what into is, the room. It's amplified colour, and look, we're at 9 99 mm -hmm. If these don't sell out, I'm getting some of these. Because that is one of the best colours I've seen in a strand of Neon Appetite. Would we all agree? Mm -hmm. Imagine this with your pearls that you just saw, those oh, two beautiful. metre long lengths. Oh, it's about to sell out, well done. Should we do some black spinel? I have actually asked, I have actually asked for a black spinel showcase because I can't, I can't remember the last time. Are you down for that, Ross? I can't remember the last time we did black spinel and we used to do them by, in the hour, didn't we? It's going to be on and gone. Really clever drill hole positions so they almost look like they're floating. Natural black spinel. Uh, channel your inner Chanel or Dior. Oh, what is that price point? Wait, 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 wait. Seriously, though, Ross, what is that price point? He says, okay, okay we're going to have to move on because that was... <laughs> feels like he's cheating the black spinel. <laughs> if you like deals like that, though, that Peridot, yeah, under a fiver, on pre-order right now, totally natural, travelled 55 miles from the centre of the earth. Uh, hi, Liz, Ross! You can go away any time if you do these prices when you come back again. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I, I do, I, I, I'd, I'd rather he didn't, Liz, because I do like Ross producing me. I do. Don't, don't you reckon, Adam, we have missed him? He's all right, he says. He's all right. He can't bring himself. Come on, Adam. Look at that colour. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say that looks Zambian-like. Yeah, well, oh, no denying. 
deep colour. I almost want to sort of, uh, sort of sink my fingers into it. It's like crushed velvet, isn't it? It's, it's that rich it's and so intense. Rich. Absolutely, it's a very intense. Purple. Oh, totally and utterly natural. Look at the quality of this am uh, uh, amethyst. Under ten pounds. It's sold out. Well yeah. done. Well done. Beautiful, well done. Well done. Very royal. Quality is unbelievable. Ah, oh, and I have to say, you know Arosho because he's a he's a gem guy. He is a gem guy. So if you want the best possible gemstones, then definitely make sure that you tune into Ross's shows. Um, look at this. Look at the quality of this Amazonite. This will be lovely with the kit, Susan. Absolutely, I love Amazonite. Me what too. A beautiful, beautiful colour. Look at that. In my top three. Yeah, this is actually this this type of Amazonite is actually my favourite. I love that striations that it's got. Uh, colours. Uh, I mean, how often? Ask you, ask yourself this question: How often do you see Amazonite in drops? Very hardly ever. Yeah, absolutely perfect. We get it in rounds. Yeah, we don't often get it in drops. Yeah. A member of the Feldspar family, again, completely and utterly natural. It glows. It glows at sunset and it glows at sunrise. Um, £6.99, goodness me. I'm tempted, Susie, to put these on the bottom of tassels again. Yeah. The fingers are going again, beautiful, you know. beautiful, but really lovely, singly, on a charm nice. bracelet as well. Oh, charm bracelet, yeah, you say? Bracelet. Something like this. Just literally put one of your Amazonite from your sterling silver bracelet that's coming up. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Well, if you love that, it's coming up and you can pre-order. Yeah. Let's do some, let's do a gemstone family now, shall we? So Beryl's has some of the most um, recognised of gemstones. Emerald is a beryl, Aquamar aquamarine's a beryl, morganite's a beryl, goshenite's a beryl, heliodor's a beryl. Um, and you've got a selection of those within this beautiful strand. This one here is really drawing my attention. Um, so that is what we would call goshenite, and it's the purest variety uh, that exists in the beryl family, and this one here, colourless. And then, of course, you've got your aquamarine. Really loving these shapes, Susie. Mm, love, I love beryl. Very good for burnout. If you... Um are very stressed and you need to de-stress, wear some beryl. I can, I, I can see that. Yeah. I can totally calms see you, that. It calms you right It's the right pastel down. palettes, Lowers isn't it? blood pressure, absolutely, I think, yeah. <sighs> and we all do, I think most of us actually get a bit stressed from yeah, time to time. At the, at the moment, there is a lot of stress in the world and there's <clears> a lot of stress. <coughs> so perfect stone. Here we are. Wrap yourself in beryl. Yeah. Um, okay, tanzanite, anyone? A tickle. <coughs> Excuse me. Beautiful quality tanzanite. <gasps> uh, this, this is what Mother Nature has done with this one. A bit more vanadium. Have a little bit more vanadium. A little bit more vanadium. That's why it has such beautiful, deep, intense colours. The more vanadium that is present within this gemstone's makeup, the deeper and more desirable those colours. 25 carats of graduated faceted tanzanite. <clears throat> Again, with pearls. Absolutely beautiful. Would be, uh, would be stunning. 9.99. Okay, there's a price tag that never or, or should never actually happen um, with this beautiful gemstone. Most of the world know that it's one locational. Most of the world knows that it will also sell. Uh, yeah, well, it will mine out and it's sold out this morning. Well done. Um, shall we do your, shall we do the first of your early birds? I'm really excited about this. Now, it, whether you do gemstone setting or not, there will come a time when you'll see the perfect opportunity to use your calibrated stones maybe you put pen to paper and you design a piece of jewelry and walk it into a jeweler's maybe you uh, start setting gemstones in your big baroque pearls maybe you buy your gemstones thinking hang on a second they're rare beautiful mother nature quality gemstones and jewelry maker are offering it to us at an under five pounds price tag madness it's up next Ooh. Peridot is one of the most fascinating gemstones because the majority of Mother Nature's treasures will form within the Earth's uh, um, crust, whereas two gemstones will form within the Earth's mantle. So imagine the heat, the intensities mm. and the pressures that these gemstones, these little gemstones, have actually withstood. Every single peridot that exists in jewellery, fine jewellery, in, in your stashes, in your collections, will have travelled 50 
five miles to the Earth's surface that have done that journey through what we call kimberlite pipes, mm. pressures maybe through, you know, uh, movements of tectonic plates, etc. things like volcanic eruptions will all disturb this gemstone um, and make them accessible. 55 miles. But also know that this is a gemstone that forms in our solar system. In fact, this is a gem, we say that zircon is the oldest gemstone on the planet, which is true. However, <clears throat> imagine being not the oldest gemstone on the planet, but the oldest gemstone of the solar system. Remnants have been found of peridot on Mars. Remnants have been found within uh, um, the actual creation of that solar system. And then when you see something as beautiful as this, we realize with all of the, the story that goes behind it, we realize that they absolutely should never in a million years be anywhere near a five pounds price tag. And they've been on our screens before at a higher price tag than that. Already unbelievably low. We've sold over 100 at 9.99. Well, I've got 200 available for you today. It's completely and utterly natural. Red dragon peridot is some of the finest that, we've, uh, that we have. It's, it's actually formed alongside Heaven's Lake within China. And if you've ever seen a photograph um, of that location, you'll know how beautiful it is. Absolutely. Um, absolutely beautiful. And I think very spiritual as well, isn't it, it that is. location? Look at these. I'm going to put the lid back on the box so you can actually see them from um, a bird's eye view. You're not just getting one or two. You're getting a full parcel of 12. Four millimetre rounds, so incredibly workable, incredibly wearable. You know, even if you just took these and, um, and popped them in, made, I don't know, trillion rings, made stud earrings or solid hairs, or even if you just put them away. Um, because let's not forget, Peridot is very much a mainstream gemstone, very well recognised gemstone, and this month's birthstone. If it was £23.99, pence, I would say that's an absolutely amazing, incredible deal. I'll, I'll let you into um, a little story. A friend of mine, it was actually my next door neighbour, they've since moved away, but um, they, not too far, we're still in touch, but his wife was turning 50 and he wanted to actually buy her, her birthstone, her birthstones this month. Um, so he came to me and said, Elle, you know, um, I want to get a peridot ring and this is the kind of design he did, put pen to paper, he literally uh, thought up everything. I just need you to source the, uh, source the peridot um, and obviously have the piece designed for him. So long story short, we did that. Um, we had CAD drawings and all of the above. He then had that valued, um, and the period, I forget the size, the carat weight of it. It was beautiful, it was wonderful, and it was electrifying, very much like these here. Um, I'm not saying this is the valuation of these, but the ring that he had made, which only had small diamonds on the shoulders, mm -hmm. 8,000 pounds it wow. was valued at. Wow. It didn't, he didn't pay anywhere near that. No. He didn't pay anywhere near. So please understand that Peridot can be a very, very, very expensive and considered gemstone. Mm. All that being said, we've promised this under five pounds. There are 200 of these available. I mean, I'm looking at these thinking, right, okay, I've got no idea what I'm gonna do with them as of yet, but I do know that a four mil round is incredibly versatile. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It's not even. It's not even just under five, uh, under five pounds because you've also get additional. What is it? Ten percent? Twenty percent? Twenty percent off when you use your code August twenty. Don't forget to do that on your checkout. August twenty. You just get a further twenty percent off this full parcel. So right now we're at a brand new low. The, this parcel of Chiang Mai Peridot has never, ever, ever been. Never been. Lower than 9.99. We're at 7.99. Even if we closed here, no, that's more than an amazing deal. That's an absolute giveaway deal. 55 miles, each and every single one of these wow. peridots has travelled to the Earth's surface. What I love about peridot and um, it's really, really good for re-energising. It's a very mm. healing stone, but it's very, very good if you're angry or you've got some resentment wear some peridot or meditate with some peridot again you can see that visually yeah. can't you you know it's it's, it's very po it's a positive green it isn't is. it it's a really positive stone and it will bring you out of that and and so that you'll just think do you know what all is good with the world yeah 
There are bigger things, yeah, exactly. bigger things to worry about. Absolutely. 15 seconds, we are going to deliver on that price point. It is going under £5. And then you can have your 20% your off using August 20. There we go. We're not keeping it a secret. Use that 20% discount. What an opportunity for you all to get that wonderful. Look at the consistency of the colour as well across every single one of these stones. When it comes to Peridot, you are looking for, uh, well, really a chartreuse-like green. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want too much yellow. Um, otherwise it becomes they become very very light and you don't want them too dark either so um, it is about that perfect perfect balance if you could imagine maybe a clock so say so you've got uh, 12 o'clock just one minute past 12 o'clock is very light and then one minute to 12 o'clock is very very dark you want a perfect balance say at six o'clock um, and that's what you're seeing within this parcel we're at four pounds and 99 pence but don't forget use your august 20 half, well over half the stock of these have gone already i'm not surprised three and a quarter carrots a parcel of wonderful wonderful peridot this is how we buy stones well then maybe you know let's 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 step outside the jewelry maker world for a second when we source peridot to go into maybe our sister channels collections mm. you know i don't know uh, maybe um i'm trying to think the collections that they have over on gemporia i'm so out of touch now they have the thomas Thomas Ray. Ray. They have Thomas Ray, don't they? They've got the um, all those different collections. Sorry, Arthur Ivy. They've got the uh, Larique. All those different collections. This is how we source the gemstones, literally in parcels like this. And then the design comes secondly. Uh, very much like you guys. You know, you'll source the gemstone and then let the inspiration come to you. Cardiff, West Midlands. Linda, Paula. Hello to uh, Encarna, Francis, Janice, wow. Kim, Joanna, Janet, Helen, uh, Dahlia, Margaret, Barbara, Janet, Nicole, Judith, Christina, Lynn, Meath. Hello to you, Yvonne, Mary, and Jerry. Karen, Durham. I can't keep up. Derbyshire. Well done to you. And loads of you are choosing to get wow. not just the one parcel but two. And why wouldn't you? Yeah. Why wouldn't you? So I'll leave good. that one with you because, again, they are on the verge of selling out. And I can see there is a little bit of a queue on those phone lines. Don't forget, you can also shop ahead and pre-order on that beautiful sterling silver cable bracelet. Big, heavy gram weight in that. So, um, yeah, shop ahead. Uh, last time, when we first launched bracelets like this, I literally bought, like, three or four. Because oh, wow. they're perfect gifts, aren't they? They are perfect gifts. You can pre-order on that. Um, also coming up, I need to show you this Mookite strand. Oh. Love that. And our lovely Alan Sue have created some beautiful jewellery, which I'll show you in a second. Just really showcasing one. It's brand new, never been seen before, natural from Western Australia, Mookite. Get, again, getting very difficult to get hold of. If you notice, Mookite used to be quite plentiful on our screens. Mm. Not the case anymore. Um, can we pre-order on this, Ross, or not? Yeah, go on then, he says. He's in a giving kind of mood. Um, right then. Oh, this, no, I haven't got white jade. Normally, I wear my white jade. I, abs, I must have six strands of this. Thanks, this is, Dan. Oh. This is <gasps> my favourite strand of white jade. You own this jade. one. I own about six strands. I, I keep buying it up. I yeah. mean, many are saying... That yeah, jade eye in the white, the pure white colours. Very, very expensive. Yeah, it could surpass the price points of yeah. imperial jade, right? It's because, again, only the emperors wore white, white. jade, white jade eye, and it meant purity, immortality, and at one with the heavens. Oh. So it was so revered, and that's why when I saw it, I'm thinking, bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Love, love, love it. And I can honestly vouch for this. It has an inner glow. It is the most beautiful jade. And when I got one strand home, I thought, right, that's it. So I've been buying did you, it up. Did you have that moment where you kind of go, well, I've only bought one? Yes. I do that all the time. Right. I do it all the time. And you normally wear your white jade, jade. marla, don't exactly. you? Exactly, because I've, I've got a necklace in it and I've got a long line. Yeah, jade beautiful. Marla. Absolutely love it. It's, it's completely and utterly natural. And we've shown you lots of different examples of carvings and things like that, jewellery yeah. um, of white jade. I mean, take Dior, for example. They've got 
got one white jadeite flower ring that's mm. five thousand yeah. pounds, yeah. and it's one. You know, it's a big piece. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near the carrot weight yeah. that we're looking at right now. It's got the pure innocence, and often white jade can actually have a certain murkiness to it. Yeah, but this one is pure white, and it has a glow. It is absolutely fantastic to work with. I was so excited. And as you said, when I got one strand, I thought, oh, that's not going to be enough. And I think I've got about six or seven strands of this. And I think we did it in the six mil. I've got the six mil as well. Ah. I buy, I've bought everything up in this. Do you know, do you know, and as we're talking about malas, this in a mala would be absolutely, oh, you'd, absolutely you'll wear it all the time, time, I bet. Absolutely. And the thing is, the reason why I, I've been buying up, because I think I've now got four spare strands, because I know that once th this parcel goes, we may not get it again. And mm -mm. as I say, white jade eye is right up there. Oh, it is. So expensive. They Take say, the they, say, they, say they say white, red, and lavender. Yeah. They believe may surpass yeah. the imperial jadeite price points yeah. in the future. And you can understand that because yeah. it is far, far, yeah. far rarer. You won't regret buying this strand. I, no. I, I really can't say enough lovely, lovely things about it. Oh, well, we're halving that price yeah. point for you. Have we got many of these then, Ross? Four? Okay. Worth every penny. Oh, totally. Use Worth your use your split pay. Uh, it's got the most beautiful, beautiful innocence yeah. to it as well. It's not a murky white. To get that beautiful, natural, yeah. pure, yeah. Um, pure glowing white. And again, yeah, the, like yeah. I said, translucency that you see Absolutely. within our jade. Well, before the show, you actually said the quality. And we say it all yeah, the time, exactly. don't we? Yeah, we were talking before the show. And I was saying, as I've said on air, the quality of the jade that we've been getting recently is off the chart. Yeah, it That's is. why I've been buying it all. Yeah, That's why I've been totally. buying it all. I picked up a parcel uh, this morning of more jade. I was just showing you. Oh, you were, yeah, <laughs> you were. But why not? At the end yeah. of the day, you're never going to re regret no. those purchases, are you? No. We're not stopping here. We're actually over allocated. Nobody's checked out just yet. And I get it. Yeah. It's a considered purchase. Yeah. However, it's a very considered gemstone. It's beautiful. 190 carats of natural type A, pure white. Yeah. Jadeite rounds, that speaks volumes. We've got four left. Mm. 149.99, that's, that's less than a pound per carat for white jadeite. If you were to see, just if that was stranded, just knotted, that would be over a thousand pounds, perhaps more, maybe two thousand pounds because it's white jade. Yeah. That's yeah. how much it's valued. Oh. I know the. I honestly know the value of this. It is fantastic. Well, knot it with some silk. I'd go yeah. with the white silk. Uh, you've yeah. got your wire guardians yeah. coming up Absolutely. as well, and maybe an eight mil magnetic clasp. Yeah, oh. perfect. And oh, somebody make it. And again, I always say, take two off, make some earrings. Yeah, they make the beautiful. most fantastic earrings. Just really simple everyday earrings to wear. Well done. So well, well, done, done well, well done, well done, well done. Incredible, so incredible quality. Right then. Um, well done, collectors. Uh, shall we do... Are you going to do Olmec? No. <gasps> yeah, I've got this. Look at the... Look at the... Oh, it's the Nine Dragons. Beautiful. I remember us talking about yeah. the Nine Dragons. Uh, but look, we always say that with Jadeite, given the fact that this is type A, if we, wanna, if, if we, if we were dyeing it and bleaching it, then obviously they can all look the same and if they were machine cut. Mm. These are hand carved and it is natural Jadeite. Look but look, that. look, I haven't got my mobile phone with me at the moment, but, um, but look at the detail and look at these wonderful, wonderful. journeys running through. Yeah. All naturally coloured. They're almost borderline black jade, yeah, aren't it they? Yeah, it is. absolutely beautiful. L yeah. It, and both sides. Yeah, both sides, double carved. <laughs> you know, to have a jade yeah, Look at that. To have a jadeite, <clears throat> all of, you know, sort of the pale apple blossom green, say, but to have that wonderful, wonderful journey yeah. of black jadeite running through. Again, this is how exciting <clears throat> it is when you're sourcing mm. jadeite from us here at Jewelry Maker. You know that you are going to be getting some of the best. So um, how many do we have of these, Ross? Five out of 50 that were first ever wow. carved. Fantastic. <clears throat> now, they sold out for whatever reason. Five have come back into stock. Oh my goodness me, look at that. Look at that detail. There's the pearl as well. Yeah. 
Five dragons on one side, four on the other. What's the story of the nine dragons? Well, you've got the nine dragons, which represents the universe. You've got the celestial dragon. You've got the dragon of hidden treasures. You've got the earth dragon that rules the waterways. You've got the, the sky dragon that rules the, um, the rain, which is the supreme king of dragons. You've got the king of dragons. You've got the yellow dragon. You've got the two-horned dragon. Have I missed any? But yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's fascinating, they, isn't it, to learn all yeah, about... And the green dragon, which... Just, really just Has it. anyone got a phone I could use just to put behind it? That's all. So that's what I was asking for. Everyone was looking at me blankly then. <clears throat> ah, you thought... Cool. No, 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 no. No, no, just to put the... Uh, just to put... Yeah. Uh, uh, Show the translucency, thank you so much, Stephen, yeah. Um, show the translucency of the gemstone. And we're going to get a little bit magical here in the studio. Look at that. Beautiful. If Dragons we're... are the most auspicious sign in uh, the mythological creatures. Um, they are so auspicious. So to have a dragon in your home, I always say have a dragon in your home um, because it brings you wealth, abundance, health, prosperity beautiful very wow. very lucky very very lucky and obviously that's the one side yeah. that's the one side if i turn it round there you go you can see totally different dragons mm. um and of course with this one you've actually got some of your black jadeite inside oh, amazing absolutely amazing the intricacy we spoke mm. about look i mean you know the scales beautiful. down the back um down the back of the dragon we spoke about look the texturing if you like what looks Fantastic. like a door to me almost like a gateway right. like an, yeah. a, a sort of a, a gateway to some hidden palace look. Um, the jaws, the muscle definition of the dragons, these are just so beautifully, beautifully carved. Um, and like I said, every single one will be uh, unique in the fact that um, you have, nat well, A, a natural gemstone, B, they are carved by hand. Now, um, we had 50 of them. It's a huge carat weight, an absolutely huge carat weight. I've only got five of them remaining within our vault. So, Ross, you didn't see these be launched, did you? Oh, this is one of the last shows before you went to, uh, on your adventure. And, you know, you've even got the pearl yeah. of wisdom and abundance there and enlightenment. So we had the story from Dave Troth, who yes. talked about the where he found the pearl, and that represented abundance. So wherever that was, there was an abundance of whatever that was food, close to food, water. water, anything. So they're guarding it because not only is it abundance, but it also has the uh, knowledge of the universe. Well, here we have that same story. Oh, would here you we like go. to? Would you like? Shall I read it? Yeah, you can. Um, so this is a story that Dave shared with you, and it's the story of the the dragon pearl. Yeah. Um, the story of the dragon <coughs> pearl is one of the oldest and most well known tales in Chinese yeah, folklore. Um, it is set in a rural province of central China called. Oh, where am I? Sorry. Sorry, second um, line down. Uh, Sichuan. Sichuan, thank you. Under the rule of a greedy and corrupt emperor, uh, the people of this province were desolate with <coughs> hunger and thirst. There was barely sign of life, let alone vegetation. Um, of this despairing population lived a peasant boy named Li Lang and his mother. Each day the boy <coughs> ventured, collecting as much grass as he, uh, as he could in order to sell as fodder. This way he was able to bring home a bowl of rice for him and his mother. As the gr days grew hotter, foliage grew scarce, and Ni Lang's mother became ill due to malnutrition. He thought to himself, there must be a part of this land that I have missed. Determined to save his mother, he set out far afoot, eventually re reaching a mountain. Climbing to the top of the mountain, he looks from the summit and is disappointed by the sight of the same nothingness mirroring the land from whence he came. As, this ready, uh, as he readies himself to return back, he noticed movement from the corner of his eye. A healthy plump looking hare. He sneakily follows the hare, preparing to catch it. As he squeezes a small, by a small crevice of rocks, he is greeted with a lush, flowing patch of grass. Tears in his eyes, he thanked the rabbit as he ploughs through uh, a generous uh, overture of vegetation. <clears throat> so you've said about the pearl there, it's oh, actually absolutely. talking about yeah. you know, that abundance. abundance. Absolutely. Um, the story goes on. Yep. That's it. <laughs> 
Able to support his mother with a fantastic meal, he determined to set out and find them more the next day. He followed his tracks to the mountain and over the summer into the crevice. To his aston astonishment, the patch of grass which he had eagle eagerly ploughed the day before is still there, seemingly untouched. Without a second thought, he takes um, take, uh, what's that? Uh, takes Sorry. his scythe and ploughs away. Again, he is successfully able to exchange it for a fulfilling meal. Several days later, as this becomes routine, one one morning, Li Lang thinks to himself how far the journey to the patch of grass is and comes up with an idea. If I were to dig up the grass, I could plant it near our home. This way, I will not have to travel so much every day. As he digs carefully around the grass, he begins to see something large, round and brilliant. Enchanted by its beauty, he puts it in his sack and carries it home. After planting the lush grass near their home, he shows his mother the pearl, suggesting selling it for a hefty price. She disagrees and says that this is a blessing and to have something so beautiful enter their lives she places it safely in their rice sack that night Ni Lang drifts to sleep hungry one last time dreaming of how he and his mother will never have to suffer again the next morning Ni Lang runs with excitement to his little garden only to be met with wilted grass falling down to his knees he cried to himself if only I'd not been so lazy at this moment his mother runs out to him yelling come quickly they are greeted with an overflowing supply of rice too much to consume Soon between the two of them, they decide to share their prosperity with their neighbours. I mean, it's just, it, it is all of that. Abundance. Absolutely. Prosperity. And I'll, when you finish the story, I will give you the meaning behind it and what it represents. Amazing. Well, let's get to that price point. And I think there's just a couple of paragraphs left. We only have five of these. These have been one of our most popular of uh, master carvings. 270 carats. The Dragon Pearl of Wisdom. And we are still no way near done. No way near done on your price point. The price point, well, uh, yeah, I agree. Ross has just said this is one of the best price points for the quality, the carrot weight, and also the skill of carving. Uh, <clears throat> the last yeah. five. Good luck. Make sure you check out those baskets. As time passes, they realize that this magic orb has the power to increase the quantity of anything that it graces. graces. Oh. We're talking about the pill there, aren't we? Exactly. A hundred. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Every single uh, sort of carving that you see within your jadeite will have an amazing story yeah. behind it, and I have to tell you, that's one of my favourites. It is, and it isn't finished there because what happens then is it, his mother comes out and says, "Son, son, you know the, the rice is overflowing where the pearl was, so they have enough food." Instead of selling it, what he does is he shares it with all of the neighbours yeah. because. What is not told in here is that you've got an emperor that's very corrupt and he has starved all of his people and all of the people are starving. So he shares it with the village so that the village becomes well fed and nourished. But then the courtiers and the noblemen from the, the palace hear of this and think, what is going on? We need to find out what, where they're getting all this rice from. And, they, and they've been told by the neighbours, oh, there's this lovely pearl that uh, this boy's got. So they come down and try and get it, but the mother says, no, take it away. And he swallows it and he runs to the river because he suddenly gets so thirsty and he starts to drink up the river until it dries out. And then all of a sudden, as they're catching up to try and grab him, all this water gushes out from his mouth where he drunk it and he is turned because the, the uh, noblemen are going to kill him. The, um, the guardians of the heavens, above the gods of the heavens, look down on him and because he's been so virtuous, and that's a very good um, thing that you, you must be in your life, turn him into a dragon, an eternal dragon. Oh. So they reward him by being a dragon because of his pious and his virtuosity. That amazing, he absolutely amazing. We have just one left and we've got a few of you with it in your baskets. Well done, what a story as well. We can yeah. all share those slides with you also. Um, now, shall we quickly show you this opportunity? Um, now, uh, we know, and it was a question that was asked to the GIA, never mind us here at Jury Maker, the GIA, does jade occur in blue? And the simple answer is yes, there are rare examples wow. that come from 
Guatemala um, that have a beautiful teal blue. This is from that same location. They call it the lost treasure, literally lost for centuries. This is a beautiful hand carving of your Buddha in natural type A Olmec blue. Um, this will be perfect alongside today's show. I mean, the Buddha symbol firstly, but secondly, the fact that it is jadeite. And jadeite. And the wonderful thing about this Guatemalan jadeite is we talk about translucency. Oh, this has it in shed loads, doesn't it's it? So translucent, and the the quality, the tra the texture is so fine. I have to say, I'm Beautiful. so hypnotised by, by the by, by the uh, old mate blue. So this is one where blue jadeite is just so 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 rare. Mm. Why? It's now being shipped over to China. Yeah. And once the Chinese get hold of this, the price. Because it's not just about a, a sort of Burmese, absolutely. No. You know, they, there's, there's jadeite deposits in yeah. uh, um, Guatemala, obviously, but there's also some in. Um, you've, you've got some Central in, America. You, you've got uh, jadeite occurs quite sort of across the world. You've got some in, um, there's a jadeite mine in. Uh, Colombia, Japan, Colombia, but you can't mine it because it's up on the mountains yes. and because it's in a place of uh, historic beauty, you're not allowed to mine there. And a lot of the places where you've got mines, it's just too difficult to get to. Well, this is another one of those examples um, because literally this, this, this location of source was yeah. the lost treasure was in dense, dense rainforest. Um, we are lucky enough to be able to bring you a very small parcel of this beautiful variety. It's incredibly rare, incredibly valuable. We've only got three of yeah, these beautiful. left. I agree. The translucency that comes alongside your Guatemalan yeah. jade is off the chart. Um, and of course, we have these have been sent to China to yeah. obviously be They're carved be to you all. Um, they'll be snapped up because we're not even stopping here. There is a drill hole as well. If I actually tilt it yeah. towards you, can you see very discreetly you have um, a 45 degree angle in um, your carved Buddha. So when you do come to make that piece of jewelry, it's going to lay perfectly against the neckline. This is mad, absolutely mad. Yeah. What a fantastic it, I mean, price. no jadeite from any location should ever be a double figure price tag. No. But from, if we can see the, the sort of that beautiful, can you see there alone without having any light that you can see that it's translucent just yeah. from there, just from the edges? Absolutely beautiful. And the blue that you can see. Is just amazing, isn't it? Hello, look at that. There we go. Wow, That's that look, translucent. It's so translucent. It just. Look at that. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Wow. Absolutely unbelievable. Hello to you, Alison. Hello, darling. She's saying, hi, uh, ladies, my Olmec blue carving and jadeite uh, double link hoops arrived. Yeah. Still uh, gasting my flapper <laughs> each know. time I look at them. Olmec is so calming. I, I, I don't know if I should have favourites, but I, I do really gravitate towards the Olmec The blue. Olmec blue is absolutely, it's like a new on the market now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and exciting, it will it? fly. The quality is out of this world. We're so lucky to get it. Well done. Well done. Uh, should, we do, should we do the Mookites? Yeah. Um, lovely Alan Sue have put together some wonderful, wonderful pieces of jewellery. There are only a hundred of these available and, you know, we must never be complacent. No. We almost think, oh, Mookite, it's a Jasper, it's, a, it's abundant, it's available. Actually, there are only two licences remaining in uh, Western Australia. It's your early bird and it's up next. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, we're gonna put the graphics on your screens purely because we've only got a hundred of these and also time is ticking away. But Mukai, again, is that reminder, for me anyway, that, you know, it's a member of the Jasper family and we, I always thought, yeah, it's available, it's a Jasper, but actually how wrong um, I can be. Uh, so here it is, I, I'm really intrigued by the spelling of Mukai on this. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, it might well be me. Uh, named after the creek where the Jasper found um, in Western Australia, Muka Creek, Mukai is fast becoming a well-recognized Australian, I'm going to correct, 
precious stone. Uh, <clears throat> the amazing colours reflect the Australian outback in its ochre hues. Due to the flint-like structure, mukai is tricky to cut and polish as it can easily splinter. However, when successful, cabochons can look picturesque and can uh, be made into spectacular jewellery. Mukai is mined in the Kennedy Ranges about 100 miles inland from the coastal town of Carnarvon um, in Western Australia. Uh, the creek has made many underground springs, making mining a wet and messy job, but the results are worth it. Oh, they do. Uh, Tom Capitani and uh, jo Joanne Pass uh, were f very fortunate to be the last miners to obtain a mining license in the area. Situated on uh, Mooka Station, which is now controlled by the Department of Conservation um, and Environment, the area can be accessed by crossing the Gascoigne uh, River, which can be quite a challenge with four or six wheel drive vehicles only. Two existing mining licenses. That's it. That's all there is now. Uh, yeah. um, so again, never, to, never should be complacent about the availability of a gemstone mm. again reading on um, these two leases are confined to the riverbeds where the mukai is exposed and easily mined uh, the last 20 years of minings have depleted the reserves of high quality multicolored mukai through brightly colored mukai can, uh, sorry though brightly colored mukai can be seen strewn throughout the riverbeds from these mining activities so you know now very much as you can imagine it say in uh, with tanzanite you know they go into de uh, greater depths the Mookite mining location is shrinking, mm -hmm. shrinking. And now um, we're looking at, you know, very wet areas. Um, so this is Tom Capitani, one of the li uh, mining uh, licensees. And you can see him on the riverbeds there. Um, here we go. He owns the actual mine and there's a couple of his, um, couple of his team. Here we go. Um, again, a member of his team uh, is a team effort in the remote wilderness. And I, I mean, having traveled to uh, Australia, it, 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 I can imagine it's incredibly challenging to actually mine that gemstone. Absolutely. A hard Hot. day's work means uh, means a big appetite. And true Australian style, the master gem cutter, Mick, also prepares the, uh, prepares the meal on the barbie. I yeah, love the barbie. that. I absolutely love that. The, the, you know, literally, yeah, just, just throw some meat on the barbecue yeah. after a, a long, hard day's work. But, yeah, it is very, very difficult to get hold of and, again, explains why we are seeing far less and less and less of this beautiful natural gemstone on our screen sadly we only have a hundred of these available it is a very 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 unique color saturation i love it you can almost imagine the warmth we'll take a little look at this photograph right now there's the mooka uh, the mooka uh, the gascoigne river you can see um situated in the mooka creek the bush does not release the treasure readily i just want to say it in an australian accent i, I do it i can't do accents oh no nor can i the bush <laughs> does not release the treasure readily. That's terrible. That was so bad. Uh, bogging of vehicles is frequent, as you can yeah. see in this picture. Um, yeah, now they're having to get the diggers to actually get the, 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 the vehicle out rather than the gemstone. £19.99. pence. There may well come a day when Mukite, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I can't... I can't predict the future, obviously, but um, I've seen it with lots of different gemstones before where mookite becomes so desired, which it always has been, but in particularly because we are we want what we can't get, don't we? Exactly. And it might get too difficult to mine. Exactly. Bog down and there's only two licenses left. Well, it's an early bird. Yeah. And we're just going to basically absorb all that information and ignore it because that's what we do. In 60 seconds, we're going to take the 100 quantity to an early bird price point. There will be no two mookite that look the same. That's what I love. You have beautiful, yeah. uh, almost like creamy light colors. You've got warm crimson reds. You've got these wonderful, wonderful aqua shades. Look at this one up here, patterns within this gemstone. It's so distinctive. And if I think back to when I first started here at Jewelry Maker, when I was working behind the scenes, this was a gemstone. If I ever, Susie, put it in a kit, the kit would be oh, absolutely. 30 pounds upwards. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. It was always a very expensive gemstone to put in a kit. And just an absolutely beautiful sort of range of colours, like you say, the sort of mm. very autumnal colours. Love and they it. come from cream, to almost greens, avocado yeah. greens sometimes. Oh, avocados, yeah. So your cappuccinos, all Susie. the way up to your mustards. We're going to do a sellout deal. Oh, no. 
And you know what, from a chakra point of view, because it's part of the Jasper family, it's a very nurturing stone, but Mukai on top of that has a really sort of energising and gives you confidence. Well, you've Lovely. got Mukai in your uh, yeah. kits later on, so great addition yeah. to that. £9.99 pence for 85 carats of beautiful natural Mukai. Jasper, you, yeah, I mean, certain varieties of Jasper are abundant, but think about ocean Jasper. It's depleted, it's run out, we can't get it anymore you know uh, um, uh, Mariam Jasper incredibly difficult to get hold of Mukai is another one of those examples one that we're very fortunate we've been spoilt with over the years but it is becoming more and more challenging to actually uh, to bring to air it's so beautiful and again it demonstrates the uh, um, the beauty of the actual location the heat of mm. the outback itself mm. and we said there wonderful terms like bush I love it the bush doesn't release the treasures uh, readily um, and here's a gem Stone that also no, no doubt about it it's it's not a single figure price tag I think I've got a photograph of Mukai actually carved into um oh, wow. carved into there we go a cockerel there we oh, go wow. look at that the perfect colors and he sold at Bonhams in 2014 for 40 grand wow but what an impressive chap he is too and very, Mukai. very, very impressive. Yeah, perfect Mukai colours, aren't they? Yeah. Um, nine ninety nine for you all this morning. Well done, every single one of you. We only have a uh, hundred of these, and lots of you are choosing to multi buy. Isle of Wight. Well done to you, Barbara, Simon, Catherine, Sarah. Uh, Warwick has bought two. Yorkshire's bought two. County Atrium's bought two. Uh, Janet, Dorothy, Linda, Caroline, Susan's bought two. Elaine. Well done to you. New customers wanting three. Hampshire's wow. wanting two. Paula in Rotherham and Taff. Well done. Well done, everybody. Fantastic, because you could make lovely rings yeah. with these. And if you're into your wire work, cabochon around them, fantastic. Well, have a little, can I just borrow that, that, yeah. that lovely necklace that you have coming yeah. up in the, in the next hour? So if you want, if you're looking for maybe your gurus or yeah, your marker beads, then this will be perfect because yeah. you have got some uh, lovely mukite coming up with Susie's kits. Um, yeah. So yeah, really lovely addition alongside that. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody, and don't go anywhere. Susie and I will be back after this. Yeah. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker.
Makers. Did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Look who it is! <laughs> if I, I said it yet yeah, on Tuesday, and I'll say it again. I think everybody needs to have a daily dose of our Susie. Do you? As I said, my husband would disagree very strongly. Ian, we all need a dose of Susie. <laughs> Literally, like, I got yeah. out my car this morning, just as you got out the car. Yeah. Straight away, I've got a smile on my face. Yeah. Straight away. And me too, that's the effect you have on me. Oh, too. bless you, bless you. Um, so much love and everything yeah. there around the Jewelry Maker family. Right then, are we ready to melt the phone lines? Now, we've got a huge quantity and a big quantity have been snapped up on pre-order as well. Now, for somebody that's maybe new to jewellery making, I'm not going to lie, these aren't going to like, you're not going to go, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. No, they're not. Yeah. Mm, maybe that's a bit unfair. Okay. They're very practical mm. and they give your jewellery the professional finishing touch. Exactly, because can you imagine... Once, imagine a bracelet, the bracelet that you made me the other day. Yeah. So imagine a bracelet and it just had silk, nylon thread or tiger's tail exposed, just at loops yeah. and you've got the little, that's what we used to do yeah. before we had these and you crimp them. There's nothing wrong with that, but it doesn't look as beautiful as it could. No. And these traditionally, I mean, you can use it on your beading thread because what this does is it makes your jewellery really strong. Yeah. Um, and th that's why you use it. I always say it keeps it clean. Quite often you would use this in uh, pearl knotting mm -hmm. and where you've got the ends that attach to your clasp or your jump ring, if you were just to put your silk thread around that, which sometimes can happen, that's going to just wear yeah, after one. Yeah, natural wear. And, it w and what a shame that y your necklace is going to break because it's not been sort of held on properly. All you need, all you need to do is literally, before you uh, literally feed your threading yeah. material of choice, through follow that little gully that you can kind of see just here. Can yeah. you see the little gully? And that is going to naturally protect the yeah. threading material. Absolutely. There's two ways of using it. You either get your pearl or your bead, thread your thread through the pearl. Then you put it through uh, both sides mm. and then thread it back through mm. your pearl or bead and then at the other end you tie your first knot yeah. that's one way or you thread it through originally through that because sometimes you might have a really small drill hole and it won't go through twice so then what you do is you thread it through this through the other side then get them together tie a knot and then you put a lovely little crimp bead yeah. over the top of that and then start then well, that's on that bead. picture actually i yeah. think what you've just described is on that yeah. photograph that same technique yeah. they are an absolute must i think and but you know what it's all very well and good susie and i actually saying this if you're watching right now 
whilst that clock is ticking away, send us a text message. Would you agree that these are, I think they're, I, wouldn't, should, I think they are part of our essential collection mm. um, because it just adds, firstly, the beauty. It looks it more beautiful. Secondly, longevity Gee, to absolutely. your beautiful jewellery creation. And consistency. As yes. I say, you know, if you're using French wire, which I do, but sometimes you, they're different lengths and that's really annoying. This, you don't have to worry about that. You yeah. just it on. I think a I, beautiful, I, perfect, Finish. I haven't got any problem with French wire, but I do actually prefer these. Yeah. I actually prefer these. You're getting a full pack of 20. They are 925 sterling silver. We've got how many? 700. Over 700. But people, are already 100 of these have gone on pre-order, and people won't be buying just one. They won't be buying just one. I remember actually somebody saying, what's the, um, you wanted to know the millimetre on your Guardian tips, yeah. where you can see it just there. So even some of your, your nylon cords will actually feed through um, through the, uh, the actual hole, if you like, in the wire Guardians. Right. It's just going to prevent your silks, your threading materials from actually knotting and fraying, and yeah, it gives you that professional finishing touch. Now, I know what these are going Going to and I can remember when we used to bring you much smaller much 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 smaller packs um, of these um, um, at a higher price point actually higher price point uh, than what you're about to see as your early bird now these are ba back in stock they haven't been on your screens for a good while you know a long 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 time um, I know that they come in different sizes but this is the most tends to be one of the most versatile because um, it will actually sort of balance alongside say your lobster class or your toggles and things like that now let's start making our way to what well, I need these desperately um, let's start making our way towards your early bird deal even if we were to stop here at 19.99 and Susie you only need one on each end don't you yeah you absolutely. need two in each piece of jewelry so that's, that's 10 all pieces of jewellery straight away. I'm just going to show you. Now, I've got here a 1 mil. It's a size 10 thread. So this is the thickest thread that you're ever going to use. So that, look, see how it goes through that? Yeah, breezes so through. So you just go through that. So if it's going to go through a 1 mil, uh, a size 10 thread, that's going to go through anything. That will go through beading wire, which is only sort of 0.4. Um, and there you go. And that's how you do it. Look, look at that. There you go. There you and go. that's oh, how it's used. Oh. I'm just going to... There you go. Look at that. It looks so neat and pro professional, doesn't that it? That just gives you a really professional finish. They're absolutely flying out the door. I need just, these desperately. <laughs> desperately. So. Um, we're a pound each per wire guardian, yeah. considering you're probably going to yeah. add years to your pieces yeah. of jewellery. You just put your jump ring on that side and away you go. Um, we're not stopping there, though, Susie. Right. Under ten pounds for you today. That's fifty pence each. Nine two five sterling silver. I'd uh, personally, I would, I would say these are a must, especially if you are sort of making to sell or making to gift. You know, you want to, that, that person to be able to enjoy that piece of jewellery for as long as physically possible. Again, don't take my word for it. If you, uh, if you're a big, big, big custodian of your wire end tips, then please do drop us a message so we can share your, uh, your feelings um, on these with the wonderful uh, viewers. Um, loads of you. I can. Say I mean, the call screen speaks volumes. In-house designer Anne is getting these. Hello, Anne. I hope you're well, lovely. Anna, Marion, uh, Kate, you've got your Elizabetha, Jane, uh, County Atrium, uh, um, Encarna, Leslie, Regine, Linda, Maker, Angela, uh, Worcestershire, well done to you, Londonary, Staffordshire, Pat, you've got yours, Derbyshire. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines, but it's not huge. Our call centre are doing amazing at keeping up with the volumes of calls. But do you know what the best thing is? We're still not done. Everybody pays that final low price point. 700 of these were available at the beginning of the show. Stock up on them because they sell out. And they haven't, well, well, the fact that they haven't been on our screens for what, how many months? Seven, eight months? A long, long, long time. 7.99 today have, make sure you have a nice little stash they are uh, for me they're as essential as a jump ring they're as essential as, uh, as, as a shepherd hook they're as essential as a bolt ring clasp uh, hello mandy morning you gorgeous folks i never used to use um there but since trying them i can't be without them they are so simple but add so much totally agree thank you mandy thank you so much for taking the time uh to messaging in the studio totally totally agree they just look finished don't yeah. they I'm just trying just... to show you it on with a bead so that's what your end would look like if we can 
like oh this. look and yes how professional is that perfect and that's what you would get every single time as opposed beautiful. to just having an exposed yeah. bit of thread yeah susie do you know what best thing 7.99 is not your price Fantastic. wow i know 20. And you only need, as you said, two, two every time. So it goes a long, long way. So already that's 10 pieces of jewellery. But this is why I was saying, stock up your stashes whilst you get the chance. Yeah. Because 6 99 I can't do that maths, Ross. There you go. It comes off. I mean, I'm so desperate for these as well. I haven't got 35 pence each. Plus, you can obviously say, if you sell your jewellery or you gift your jewellery, it's silver. You know, it's 95 sterling silver. You know, you're, you're, being able, just that one little addition make, takes it to another, uh, another level. 6.99, the phone lines are literally off the chart. Well done, I can see you there. Our amazing, um, our amazing call centre will get you. Look, I mean, if you look, there's a little bit of a queue, but minimal, we had 700 of these available. Loads and loads and loads of multi-buyers. Um, oh, we love our viewers, don't we, we Susie? Do. Oh, absolutely. The we best love... viewers, because they we have a Facebook page, Share Your Makes, if you want to join that. The community is fantastic. Talk about inspiring each other. I get inspired daily by uh, the makes that I see. Well, for that reason then, Susie. For, would you agree, Russ? For that reason, because we love you so much. Mm. We're going to go even lower. Wow. Wow. A 60 second clock, and everybody, whether you're the first person or you're the very last, will pay that final low. We've got 700 of these. Wow. Right now, our Caroline, our sterling silver buyer, who lots of you met on our Facebook page the other day, she's going to be, oh, her eyes are going to be rolling. She's going to no, they're an essential. They've only just come back in stock. You can't sell them out then on the yeah. first showing. Oh, we're doing it, Carol. Carol? Caroline. We're doing it. Wow. These Not even six ninety nine. Lynn's just got ten. Well done oh, to you, Lynn. Don't blame That's you. the kind of quantity. Listen, seventy five percent of those of you that have made your confirmations have all chosen to multi buy. I would do exactly, and I will do exactly the same. Stop permitting that. Is make us got five? Yeah. Mm. I mean, we're not just looking at twos and threes. We are looking at well, we just said ten, twelve, even. Nicholas bought four of these. Well done, you, Nicola. Essex has bought six of these. Buckinghamshire's bought four. Sheila in County Armagh's bought four. Wow. Um, yeah. Every, the, the quantity, while well, seven hundred might seem like masses get it whilst you can because it's when you haven't got them mm. and you say ah oh, i need them i'll pop on the website and we were oh, yeah it, it's not always something that's ready available for us as well and the, and, and it does make a difference it, it really, does. really does it just gives you that professional finish if you bought our high-end pearls our jadeite put these on your necklaces. Yeah. we talked about the white jade earlier uh, make your necklace, put these on either end. You can use it on beading thread as well. You just crimp, you put a crimp on first, mm. feed it through, through the crimp, crimp the bead, then carry on, put a crimp bead on. It just makes your finishes look really high end. Absolutely. And I know when I'm looking at jewellery, I never, I look at the piece, but I always have a look at the back. I mean, yeah. e even if I'm buying finished jewellery, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Even if I'm going into a jeweller's, I'll look, look at, at the, the class. Exactly, and how um, they've attached it. Uh, yeah, because that, for me, if it's finished well, exactly. then I know that that's a quality piece, piece of jewellery exactly. through and through. Totally agree with you there. Well done. Hello, Kevin. Hello to you, Carolyn. Hello to you, Northamptonshire. Lillian. Dagmar. Hello to you, Jackie. Elaine. Another Elaine. Hello to you, Eleanor. Hello to you, uh, I can't keep up, Essex. Sandra. Anna. I've literally got four rows of names. I can see you there Stella I can see you there Kerry I can see you there new customers I can see you there Jan in my home county of Monmouthshire Ooh. new customer new customer Ivy Hazel Georgina Linda in Yorkshire I can see you there mm. Hampshire Lorraine I can see you there in County Down um, now just a little heads up on the quantities we started with just over 700 of these back in stock they haven't been on our screens for what uh, months months and months and months and months about six months, was it? I beg your pardon. So how many do we have left then, Ross? Oh. Mm. 195 out of 700 remain in the vault. That's, that's it. Always know, popular. Sandra's just bought 60. Do you know what's really good about this as well? With the, sometimes you make a necklace and you might wear it and then you think, no, I'm going to change it up. 
You can still use these. If you've got French wire, True. Through, you've got to throw the French wire away. These, you just take it off and it's that oh, component. Yes. Yeah, it's so good. That's so a good, good point. Them enough. Morning, Hazel. Uh, oh. oh. You disappeared off the screen then, Hazel. Uh, hi, just switched on. Uh, would not use anything other than these. Uh, could you show me uh, the dragon pendant? Yes, oh, I can. Absolutely. I can. Uh, in fact, I'll bring it in just at the end, uh, just at the end oh. of this mega auction for you, lovely Hazel. Because absolutely, I mean, it's, it's the attention to detail, isn't it? Um, um, that um, your wire guardians yeah. actually bring you. I couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. Keep on dialing through. I'll keep you updated. Don't forget you've also got the most beautiful sterling silver bracelet coming up as well. It's on pre-order. It's brand new, premiering today. I remember launching a, br a bracelet very similar to this, if you like, a few years ago. I bought five of them because I was like, right, well, there you go. There's some yeah. Christmas presents sorted. Beautiful. All I need to do is attach a charm. Um, it's coming up. You can shop ahead on that. Yeah. Also, should we do another closeout deal on sterling silver is a magnetic clasp. Do I have it here? Oh, now. <laughs> this ah. is Susie's favourite show because yes. this is my favourite sort of clasp. A magnetic fact, clasp. The bracelet you've got has got. Which I wore out the yeah. other day, by the way. It's beautiful. It's so suited you. I thought oh, it, 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 you had to have it. Um, bless you. Yeah, it, it just uh, revolutionises your jewellery wear. Yeah. Um, for you, Hazel, here we go. Let's show you that gorgeous dragon pendant. This oh, is the nine beautiful. dragons. You've got nine dragons carved um, onto this oh, beautiful yeah. work of art. Every single one will be unique, obviously, in terms of the colour patterning and down to the carving as well. It is drilled at the top there that you can just see. Um, there we go. The, that. The, that detail. There is only one of these remaining. Uh, only one remaining. Mm. Hazel, you can come and actually take it. Um, mm. Or Margaret, you're there as well with it in your basket. Lorraine, I can see you there. This was one of the most popular carvings that we have launched recently. The story behind it, which we shared earlier on in the show. Um, but if you do want that story, I, I can easily get those uh, slides sent over to you as well. Get this home uh, for £37.49 on your split pay. Well done. Wow. Well done. Well now, just done. before we dive um, into the kit, which you're going to absolutely love. Yes. Okay. Mm. What? Do what? Are we doing the oh. kids now? <laughs> Magnetic class coming up. Coming up. And the sterling silver bracelet. Yes. And the sterling silver bracelet. I have the fan. Oh, I have the fan. I have two. Should we do the fan first? Oh, yes. Beautiful. There are only four. Let's do it quickly, shall we? <gasps> oh, this is beautiful. Oh, oh my goodness me. And the beautiful. It's, it symbolises beauty. Oh my goodness me! And again, if I turn it this way, can you see the yeah. can you see the drill hole there? Very. Oh no, it's that way. Sorry. Yeah, can you see it. that drill hole? And how you the the, the uh, typical design is you would have your um, necklace this way, and then at the bottom you would have um, like a lovely big bead, and then a tassel at the bottom. Oh, beautiful! So it makes a beautiful design. Oh yes, because is there? Yeah. No, but you would you can. Oh my goodness! Look at that intricacy, and again, there's that that water content that oh, we always speak about. Absolutely beautiful. So you own this, then, Susie? Yeah, I own two of these. I have to get everything in two. Sorry. Oh, it is absolutely stunning. Um, and again, you know, there's the story behind yeah. uh, behind the actual fan itself, the story of the flower. Yeah. Um, and is this is this a feather, a bird? That's oh, the it's bird. a bird. It's a bird. So it oh, represents yes. beauty and love. It's a love story in a fan. A love story? Yeah, it oh. is. It's all about love and the, the, um, the beautiful open lotus um, peony, that's a peony, represents beauty and the feminine beauty and the bird represents male love. Oh. So it's about young love, eternal love, Beautiful. Ah, oh. well, I can see that depicted in. Uh, so my carving's got my carving's got yeah. flowers and birds. Yeah, you've got peonies and you've got the birds, which is a love story. It's oh. Beautiful. I love it all the more now. Yeah. We're not even stopping here at one hundred and ninety-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. We are over allocated, but oh. if it's in your baskets, that's not yours yet. Needs to be confirmed. 
about the virtue as well. Oh, there. beautiful. I love the it's stories. Se what's that? Seventy four ninety nine. Beautiful. A pound per carat. I mean, it's not a small piece of jade yeah. dye either, is it? It's, it, it I love I, this one for me really resonates. And I'm almost tempted to put it alongside lots of lovely, vibrant colours in a big yeah. multi-stranded necklace. Yeah. Beautiful. I just love the shape of it. So unusual. Um, and as I say, you could uh, put a, a sort of a tassel behind it yeah. sort of on a longer piece of string, put a bead, then your tassel and have that behind oh, it. Oh, amazing. It makes a lovely, lovely shape. Beautiful. Um, the final one, I'll leave it with you because, again, beautiful. there's lots well of Well done there. for those that bought it. Stunning. You won't regret it. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Well, speaking of stunning, look at, look. At your jewellery once again. Now, um, I think most of our regular viewers know this, but Susie is a very big fan of Marla's. Yes. Um, me too. In fact, I very rarely wear a necklace that isn't a Marla. Yeah, same here. I, I, you, know, I. you know, I've got loads of necklaces that sit maybe 20 inches or 18 inches, but nine times out of 10, I'll go for the Marla. Yeah. In, in whatever outfit and whatever occasion. So um, have a little look at, your, at Susie's beautiful necklaces. That, uh, and you've got the kits coming up within this hour. But whilst we're admiring Susie, would you mind actually talking us what a Marla actually is? Right. Marlas traditionally were worn by priests, Buddhist priests, mm -hmm. to um, meditate with and do their chants. But really, a mala, the word itself represents a garland. Mm -hmm. And the mala, as you can see, is a garland, and there's Just normally a guru bead and a tassel. Now, the beads represent the, uh, the chants or your, um, if you're meditating, your breath inwards and outwards. And your guru is sort of salutations or thanks to um, whoever, you know, that... That, that you want that teaches you and then the tassel means enlightenment so as you go round that the, the as you go round you are doing chants remembering the the past then the present mm -hmm. which we all need to be in so out of the normally um, a mala bead is 108 a traditional one it doesn't have to be but you would have 33 um, in the past 66 in the present and then look into the future. And that's what they would do. They would do their chants and then give thanks to their guru and they have found enlightenment. So that's the meaning behind a traditional mala. However, we're not Buddhist priests. We, we don't live in a monastery. We're using it as jewellery. So really, I always say, if you want to make a traditional mala, 108 beads, fantastic. But you don't have to. No. I've made marlas with 88. I've made marlas with, you know, I've thought, oh, I need one here. This one, for instance, that I've made doesn't have any particular number at all. It is just a marla, which means a garland. Um, and I've just put a lovely um, tiger's eye Buddha head with it. Oh. It's just a necklace. So I don't want you to be caught up in, I must do a certain pattern or whatever. Just do what makes you feel happy. Yeah, whatever looks, uh, exactly. you know, whatever you think looks well. And they're a massive, massive fashion accessory at the moment. Loads oh, and loads absolutely. and loads of di uh, different celebrities yeah. are wearing them as well. Absolutely. Well, I'm wearing a Marla. This yeah. is with the white onyx we've had. And I didn't count the number. I just wanted one that was long. Um, and my uh, sort of tassel is just a pendant. So Love it. it doesn't have to have tassels even. Um, now, I've quickly shown you tassels, which <laughs> you know me, I love a mala. This is just a small selection. Um, oh. And I'll go through on the masterclass about ways of making your tassels. So Amazing. this masterclass is about knotting. Yeah. And can you see, it doesn't have to be your traditional um, material or string mala. You can have all sorts. Or, like this one, you don't have to have a tassel at all. Let's take that tassel away. It can just be a pendant. Well, that's what we're going to do within these kits. Exactly. Um, now, I'm going to show you the first kit because you've got, what, uh, four kits in total. Yeah. Kits that work amazingly well together because actually I'm looking at the first kit, which I know, Susie, you've made one complete necklace, but they yeah. would be great sizes for the beaded tassels as well, wouldn't yeah, they? Absolutely. Um, yes. I'm going to start with the star of the show. The Buddha is absolutely beautiful. Um, she is uh, carved in two tiger's eye. Uh, the intricacy, this is flowers in her hair, the intricacy 
um, of this carving is just amazing. You've got that full chatoyancy, it really glides. I think I, I think it works. The Buddha and Tiger's Eye really works together because you have Absolutely. that kind of heavenly connection, Absolutely. don't you? Um, totally natural, just magical, absolutely magical. And again, can you see very cleverly, um, you have the drill hole there, which if I hold it at a slight angle, you can see, but if I actually then put it backwards, it disappears. So it doesn't interrupt um, that wonderful work of art that your carving is. We're still not done with the Buddhas though, because you've got three of your beautiful Buddha heads. These are not Buddha heads, um, you know, just any old Buddha heads really. You've actually got beautiful parve setting within these as well. So you get three of those, they're rose gold, Gold plated 925 um, sterling silver. And again, can you see lovely encrusted uh, cubic zirconia in the hair front and reverse. Now let's do all the gemstones because you get a lot, a lot within this. Um, I'm going to start with, can I see it on there? Hmm. It's not on the list, but it is soda light. I'm going to say it's soda light. Mm. Is it a quartz? No. Here we go. Let's put them on the back of the hand first. Yeah, my specifications are different. Um, are different. Here we go. So we can. We'll have a little look. That's a venturine. I don't think uh, there's no denying that one. You've got a venturine, maybe a thulite. I'm going to say just here, and possibly a soda light. We will confirm in a few moments, but. Perfect, perfect colours to go alongside one another. You've got your uh, your blues, your greens, your pinks. Pinks complementing the rose, and then also um, also your tiger's eyes. So, oh, have I picked up the wrong kit? Oh, we've taken a wrong photograph. So it's this one. I'm so confused. Get rid of the one on my hand. Ah, sorry, I beg your pardon, I've picked up the wrong one. So this is what you're getting. We will change the photograph as well. Ignore the photograph on the website. So it, it's that lovely, um, it's that lovely fluorite one. Okay, we'll swap those photographs around for you. So crown is all about, oh, I love this kit. Um, ignore the photograph on the website. This is what you're actually getting. So there is your beautiful, there is your beautiful uh, tiger's eye hand carved Buddha head. You do also get the Buddha heads in sterling silver, but this time they are in, in, in silver color. Ignore that photograph on the website. This is what you're actually getting. Um, and Susie, I know you're a massive fan of all of these components. Oh, it, is the, it is like a Susie dream, this, it isn't is. it? Love my Buddha heads, love in a lot of my malas, I will use the Buddha heads I just as a sort of respect for Buddhism and the belief yep. in it. When you have a Buddha head like that, what that represents is that search for enlightenment. Love it. Um, and when I say enlightenment, because some of you think, well, what does that mean? Basically, my search to be a better human being, to be kinder, to be more thoughtful, to be empathetic, to realise that it's not, you know, the world doesn't just revolve around Susie, that there are everything is equal down to animals and to have respect for our food our plants our animals our insects everything i mean i think we could all we could all absolutely agree with uh, yeah because none of us are perfect, are no, we? None of us no. are perfect. So what a great mantra to live by. Um, so again, these are the gemstones that you're actually getting. You've got rose quartz here in your 10 mil. Uh, you've got amethyst in your 10 millimeter as well. And you're getting a beautiful strand of fluorite in your six millimeter, all of which are 38 centimeter strands. You've got a massive carrot weight of your tiger's eye carving. Um, master carving, 50 carats. And she again, she's, she's got a drill hole at the top of the head so you can obviously suspend her. You've got the three of your Buddha heads as well, parve encrusted, yeah, and then two spools of your nylon thread, which if you got those wire guardians, yeah, absolutely. They'll you breeze through those. They'll breeze through those. $39.99. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm buying Marla kits today, aren't oh, I? Oh, I love a Marla. Me too. And every time I wear them, Susie, yeah. every single one of my friends is like, oh, I like your necklace. Yeah. But they make lovely necklaces. They're like yeah. rope necklaces. But the, I think the meaning behind them as well, because if I wear a Marla, um, apart from it being decorative, as you can see, this is just a sample. <laughs> just right, a few of, of, of yours. A few of mine, because I wear them for each outfit. I'm, I'm sort of typical fashionista. It, like, 
I've got this one on because I'm wearing black and white. So I've got black and white one. If I'm wearing my sort of creamy pink, so I'll put a different yeah. pinky pearly one But they do, on. they work with everything, don't they? They do. They work with everything. And very slimming as well, a Marla necklace, yeah, because they're they, long line. Beautiful. They're, they're just a lovely fashion accessory. But also, because I'm wearing a Marla, and I understand about the meaning behind Marla, and it's about meditation and creating balance and harmony, mm -hmm. it's just a reminder, especially if I've got my Buddhas on there, yeah. it just reminds me, be a nice person. Don't be too judgmental. You know, think before you speak. Yeah, all those so, things. All those things. And I, I, you know, and I put my mala on and, you know, I bong my uh, singing bowl of a morning as I do. And um, yes. And oh, I hope you didn't bong it on your way out this morning because you were there very, very, very <laughs> early. Too early, no. <laughs> early. <laughs> no. It uh, just all these little things. It's like little onion rings is yep. that we're living in a world at the moment that's full of stress mm. and it's going to become more stressful. We've got gas energy prices going yeah. up and we could all go, ah! Yeah. And sometimes we take it out on other people, don't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. And this yeah. is just to breathe and just rebalance yeah. and just to think, you know, it's not going to get to me. Yeah. What's Absolutely. important in the world. Exactly. Um, so this uh, next kit, this is all about, uh, this is the heart chakra kit. And obviously you've got some really beautiful editions of rose, uh, gold plated, 925 sterling silver, lovely carving. I particularly like, uh, is, is, is she, is, this is a her, because Buddha can be a her, can't yeah, it? Yeah, it can be. Buddha, the, the traditional Buddha is a male. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's a young Buddha, but there's lots of deities that are female. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. So, yeah. um, and which Buddha does this symbolise? This again, uh, because there's all sorts. That, that, that it depends if it's from Thailand, if it's from China, mm. if it's from Nepal. You'll get different depictions. So that to me looks sort of more um, Indian. Okay, so I would say that was sort of more Hindu Buddha. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All these gemstones, which include aventurine, uh, sodalite. See if we guess these right now. Uh, rhodonite. Wow, I got that one wrong. Wow. That's a beautiful creamy colour of rhodonite, yeah. isn't it? Um, we're going to go straight down to it again. You've got the three of your precious metal, um, precious metal uh, Buddha heads, and then you've got that big statement uh, tiger's eye Buddha, which is 86 carats. If you've never made um, a Marla style necklace before, then you're watching exactly the right show because in this demonstration, Susie's Susie going to teach mm. you how to knot, mm. um, and then in the masterclass you're going to be talking about the tassels aren't you? Exactly and a different and to make a traditional mala as well so I'll talk more about mala talk about chakra this particular kit just so you know why the the, the the sort of gemstones have been put together this is really to give you more confidence and bring yourself out of if you've got oh. emotional turmoil this will really help you heal and move forward so it's a lovely nurturing Oh, that's have. nice. That's so if nice. you're feeling a bit sad, sad down in the dumps, um, or if you, you're getting stones. over some grief or anything like that, or you're a bit anxious, this one is perfect to wear, and it will just build up your energy and make you stronger. Love that. Absolutely love that. Now, I tell you what, purely because Ross is back, first day back, and because we had a little bit of a mix up with the photograph and I get it, it does confuse, it, 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 it confuses me and I guess it must confuse you as well. Um, we will rectify that as well. So ignore the photographs on the website. This is what you're getting. We'll do an apology deal. We'll do an apology deal for you all. Not 39 99 even though you've got three beautiful, genuine gemstone strands and the master carving in your tiger's eye and the rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. So everything that is on the screens right now is coming your way at a closeout deal. There are 60 though, so it's got to be first come, first serve. Hello, Marion. Hello to you, uh, Lorraine, Sarah, uh, Carola, Essex and Julie. For the carving alone, we are taking this too low. Yeah, Never mind absolutely. the three strands and the precious metal. I think she's absolutely beautiful. And if you don't want to go for like for the full full beaded mala, you can do malas with chain, can't you? Absolutely. The mala, as you do what makes you happy. And it's I always say, choose a mala um, that really speaks to you. And as we go through our different moods, this is another lovely thing about malas. As we go through different moods, 
a different mala might be more appropriate. If you're feeling very sort of energetic anyway, you'll want to, you know, you'll want one that gives you that energy and keeps the energy up. So you may want to have one with citrine and tiger's eye, and that really yeah. gives you lots of confidence. Sometimes you're feeling a bit sort of demure, a bit quiet. I don't want anything too positive because yeah. it's going to get me out. You know, it's going to. This is perfect as well. This is a really gentle nurturing. I love that. Mother. Absolutely love that. And you should be paying more than that for what I'm holding in my fingers right now. It should be more than $29.99 for the Buddha carving. Um, but you do get everything else also. Those three beautiful gemstone, aventurine, sodalite and rhodonite, which I'm very surprised by. You don't often see that dominance, almost like a strawberry ice cream like yeah, colour in rhodonite. Beautiful. Angela, Susan, Sharon, Cheryl, Sarah, Mary and Anne, Isle of Wight, Teresa, Lincolnshire, Maria, Lana, Lorraine, Carola, Essex, Julie, um, well done. There are only 60 of these available. That is a bit of an apology deal. If you're thinking right now, wow. what are you apologising for? Just basically a little, a minor mix up with the photographs, yeah. but um, you, that's what you're getting. Um, right then, I think this next kit is going to fly. I, oh, yeah. I think that I, the carving alone, I was, one yes, so we I gravitated this. towards this. this. Lovely. <gasps> and these are all 10 mils. Oh, my goodness. Is that too big for a Marla? No, this is what I'm saying. If you if you were to do on 10 mils, I'll be honest, if you did your traditional 108, it'll be down to sort of like your crotch level. Okay, you know? yeah. So it's a bit too long. So I would make this maybe 66, just, you know, measure it. You know, you, Waist length. Make, yeah. You want your Marla to be about there. Sometimes, or if you want slightly longer, that would be my sort of choice. There, can you see if I, I'll need to stand up? I'll stand up. Right. Marla's ideally there or there. There are your two yeah. bits of Marla's. So if you've got an 8 mil, sometimes 108 will go to there, so perfectly. Or your uh, 6 mil will go there. But if you've got 10 mil, I mean, eight, uh, 108 will go down here and you'll be swinging it around there like that. <laughs> so you want it sort of, you know, say there. So you may only need 60. But fantastic. So that means you could possibly make a couple of Marla's and set definitely Absolutely. bracelets. This kit I know is going to be a seller. Yeah. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 40 oh really oh, wow. oh that's a shame um we're gonna do one price crash look at look at the buddha oh wow oh i love him i really happy. gravitated towards this kit we should have called this happy go lucky buddha because this is the marla that you'll be making with the carnelian really nurturing uplifting makes you happy turns any bad situation to a happy situation love it you've got your tiger's eye that gives you that sort of energy determination yeah i can do it very lucky really protective. jasper and you've got your jasper which is a beautifully nurturing grounding stone quartzite and quartzite is amplifier isn't it yes an amplifier absolutely so it's just uh, really Ooh. energizing this one is I'm feeling on top of the world. And you know when I was saying a bit earlier, when you're really feeling happy and confident, this is the one to put on and keep your energy Keep that up energy high. up. Absolutely. It does make you smile. £39.99, yeah. big carrot weight in this kit. Um, well done, everybody. Right, so any questions that you might have about uh, relating to your malas or knotting techniques, feel free to message us because we are live here in the studio. Um, and if you've ever wanted to create a mala but never quite known how, then you are watching. Yeah, the, you're the, watching. The perfect person watching the right channel today and I'm going to show you because both my master classes will be about pearl knotting and they are Marla related so rather than have two master classes doing the same thing I'm showing you two different Marla designs the but just just quickly is pearl knotting the same as Marla knotting yes knotting is knotting is knotting, knotting. Is knotting. right so okay. you can use this in your pearls once you've learned this technique you can use it for all your knotting in general okay from big and i'll show you now the one i'm going to uh, show oh, you today, leave it there one sec, oh, one sec. sorry i'm gonna we're show you just that. panning down right. it's this one it's this design beautiful and why i'm showing why i'm taking it off is because this is another sort of version of amala um where we have a little slider knot at the back so that you can oh, vary okay. the length. So again, different design, and that's the one I'm going to show you in this masterclass because it's a slightly different way of making your mala. Because you're going to start at one end, like you do with the other one, but in a different uh, starting point. Yeah. Okay. So on this particular one, if you want to make a mala where you've got an adjustable length and you want to put a Solomon's knot, this is how we do it. So for any mala, always use about three metres, two and a half metres, as you know, just get loads. Because what you don't want to do, one thing with the marla, is if you run out of thread, 
you've got to start again. Ah, oh, no. So, make sure you've got a right never enough, thread. enough thread. Now, to make a marlin, you need probably about two meters is perfect. But I'm just, uh, you know, I'm going to start the demo. You, you don't want me hitting poor old L every five minutes. <laughs> it's okay. I can take cover. So, I'm just going to do it with a smaller length. Now, for this style, we start at the very, very beginning. So, we're going to thread on. Oh, we start with a knot because if I don't start with a knot, what's going to happen is I thread my bead on and it's going, um, to, it's going to fall off. So, first thing is we tie a knot, which is just a typical overhand knot. Nothing. Oops. Try that again. Overhand knot through that, which we can all do. We learned this at school. And then if you want to do a double one over that, because that, if you've got some larger drill holes, um, it may fall through. So just to, to make sure, making hard work of this knot, um, do a double knot. I'm just going to do a triple knot now. I'll tell you what it is. It's because I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm going to put those on in a minute. But, right, that is a big knot. Yeah. You may not want one as big, then just trim the end off because you don't want a big, ugly thing like that. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. That, well, yeah. And then for the end, I mean, you could put one, you, you may not want to put a bead on at all, but for this particular design, I put two beads on um, to give it a bit of weight. So I just put two beads on. Very easy. This bit is so easy. Um, and then... Right, so we've got that, and then you tie your other knot, and I'll show you the, the start of how you knot. T-pin, my method is a T-pin. There are so many methods for pearl knotting, so many gadgets you can buy, but if you've got a T-pin or a knotting oil, this is by far the simplest, because you just literally put the um, T-pin, and I'll show you again in a minute, through the little knot hole, snug, snuggle it up to the bead, and just take it out. And that is it knotted and then so that's the end and then I'm gonna need about five or six inches don't want too long um, about there and you just then tie another knot right and then this will be the start of your necklace your marlis so I'm gonna do another double knot because I don't want it going off the other end so again now this is where the t-pin can come in quite handy because I want to make sure it goes to the same place like that and there we are now we're starting and we start with the pattern now for this particular one if i have a look at it oh yes. do you want me to pass it back sorry no, i was that's just all right no okay. i just because i want to yeah so oh. on this particular one where what i did was i started with a spacer bead you don't have to you might not have spacer beads you might not like the design and you think actually i've got an, my own design in mind but i'm going to show you how knotting is really useful for even a smallest bead like that so that is a really tiny bead, and I've done my overhand knot, I've placed it on my board, stuck my pin in, making sure that's out of the way. And can you see how that just goes to that end there? Goes to the end, and then I'll just release it. And then that is tied in the middle there. And that's my design for this particular one. And then I did because we have two different sizes of beads, I did a six mil, a 10 mil, um, and I did them in alternate colors of the pink and the amethyst, just to, to um, give it a sort of a lovely design and whiz it along. So you don't have to pearl knot every single knot. As I say, this is an alternative to a marla, so the pearl knotting here is completely different to um, a traditional marla, which is sort of knotting in between each one. So here I've put a knot in between three, just a simple, and then I'm gonna put on a spacer bead because I'm knotting between the spacer beads on this one, which is slightly different. So I'm just gonna feed on a spacer bead. Where's it gone? There you go. And then take the knot out. It's as simple as that. Just confidently take the knot out, then tie another knot. So it's as much knotting probably because we're only knotting um, in between the little spacer bead there. So you can then put on another, your next set of beads before you take the T-pin out. 
Um, and this is quite a good technique if you have to get up and sort of leave it for any amount of time and come back to it so you know where you've left off and it keeps it in place. Now, here we go. So I'm thread on three, alternative color. And I'm gonna take that out there now. I'm gonna tie my next knot. Simple as that. And just say, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and then onto the spacer bead. I'm just gonna do this one more time because you, you would continue this pattern all the way round, and um, oops. And as I say, the hardest thing is just um, putting on a spacer bead is probably the toughest thing. But I'm hoping one, it shows you how easy it is to pearl knot or um, or not thread. It's exactly the same if you're using S long cord or silk thread. It's exactly the same technique, and you can see how easy it is. Really relaxing. And I would always say, if you are going to be making a mala, or if you're going to be pearl knotting a pearl necklace, be in a good frame of mind, be relaxed. It is such a relaxing um, a meditative um, technique to use, but you don't want to be doing it if you think, right, I've got an hour, I've got to pick the kids up from school in about half an hour, and oh, um, I've got to pick the dog up from its grooming. If you're thinking about that, mm -hmm. it will go horribly wrong. You've got to be in a frame of mind where you've got nothing going on at all and you can just sit there quite happily thinking, I've got three hours and I, you know, I've got nothing to do. It probably will take you to make a mala, maybe an hour, hour and a half, depending on um, how, you know, how many you've done in the past. But it's, it's just one of the most meditative things to do absolutely we talk about mindfulness and this is one of the beauties i mean i've um done that already and i can show you now with the pattern for this because i have got one that i've prepared earlier because you don't want to see me sitting here doing the same thing is you would as i say start here and then i did a pattern of one one two three four um, pinks to three um, purples and then I put on a spacer with one of the um, Buddhas. Now on my design because we had the beautiful tiger's eye I put a little tiger's eye there but you really don't have to it's of no consequence at all and then when you get to where you think right that's the length I want it where I've got here you know here I've just done uh, one I would put on two spacer beads and tie a knot and just have it a bit slack. So if I show you what I mean, I'll do this to this one. So you're happy. Let me put a bead on first so it sort of you can see. So if I put the bead on and then I will then do my knot in the normal way. And then instead of just putting one, I'm going to put two of the spacer beads. And I do want to show you this because it's quite simple because this is where you're going to attach your, um, well, any pendant that you want. So it doesn't have to be the Buddha uh, head. It can be, and I'll show you in a minute in the next part of the demonstration. See where I've put that, those two there. That will be, you want a space there to put either thread or uh, a jump ring through. So when we do our knot, we, what we don't want to do is make that really, really tight. So you want to give it a bit of slack. So when you're pushing it against it, just think actually that has got, see what I mean, it's a bit slack there. Can you see, can you see that? It's just a bit slack. And then that, then you'd feed on your next bead and then you'd carry on. And then you're doing the other side. So you've got one side done, take that off. And then that's your middle bit here. And that's where you're going to attach your um, mala, your tassel, or the um, lovely Buddha pendant there. So, right, we've now done that. I've gone all the way through to the other end. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Just imagine that you've sat there and watched me do all of that. And I've now come to the other end, as I've got here. So I want to now finish off 
This one I didn't do the, the uh, bees, by the way, the spacer bees. As I say, the design is up to you. And I want to um, have those two lengths quite equal. So this is how you make the two lengths equal. This is where the T-pin is beautifully handy. So you put your T-pin, so you put those together like that. And, um, right, and I'm going to put my T-pin roughly where I want it to go, is there. So you just tie your knot, can you see? so that you get, you can then measure those lengths exactly. So, and when you're happy, you can take that out. If you, you might want different lengths, but if you, if you want them exactly the same, that is the best way to, um, and I'm gonna put another double knot in that one. Um, so I'm gonna just tie the knot there very carefully together, and then finish off by putting my beads and my, this one I'm alter, alternating it, so you then push it up to where you need it, finish off with another double knot, so we do one knot as we did before, see how easy that is, so do that quite firmly, then again put it in there because we want to make sure that that is over that side of that knot there. So I'm just going to just make sure that, that just goes over that side there. When I'm happy, I can pull that out. And that is now my double knot. And then I'm happy to trim that off there. So now all we need to do is our little Solomon's bar. So here how we do that is the remaining thread, do not discard. And let's try and get this so, sorry, I'm going to try and get this so it's level. I'm going to take those off, otherwise they're going to be falling all over the place. So I'm just going to grate for a macrame board. If you don't, just use T-pins. You just want to secure one end and then with the other end, and it doesn't matter if they're uneven, and just scooch that so it's fairly secure so that we can get our thread in. So, oops, that's that one, where's my thread gone? Where's my thread gone? There it is, nope, I'm gonna use it. I can't find it, so I'll use that one. So, again, you don't need- Oh, it's need, on the floor. It's on the floor, right. You only need about 50 centimeters. This is a bit long, because you're not gonna use a lot, but for those that have never macrame you put a, a length of thread into the middle under both and then with one side you'll put you'll make a sort of a loop and it'll go over the top so you've got the the top half underneath the the second one on the on the top then you push that over put that over that one so you're making like a p and then under the threads through the loop so that you do what they call a half hitch. And then because we started that side, you want to complete the knot, so we're now doing a P, so it's under, so you put that over it, then you thread that under the two, like that. And so this, and I'll speed it up, so it's just over, under, grab, So over, doing a P, under and over. Yes, and Adam, in my ears, exactly said, mind your P's and Q's. I do it Q and P backwards, but it's mind your Q's and P's. So you, you do a Q and then a P, then a Q and a P, and then the Q and the P together make one full square knot. It is the easiest, um, right, I'm just, Right, here we go. So, do this for about, I mean, that can be enough. So, I'm going to then get a thread zapper. Now, I know Mark Smith uses a lighter, but a thread zapper, all it does, because this is Eslon thread, which is fantastic, it cuts the thread and it bonds it like glue. So, it absolutely glues it in place. And then that is your Solomon's bar, and that is your necklace 
ready to go. See, even a small one like that, that's Beautiful. All and that's it. Thank you, you just Susie. Attach. Um, now, we, we, we've put the kit onto your screens as well. The one which uh, um, is actually on the, on, on the very edge of the table there. It includes oh, yeah. some lovely sterling silver components as well. Seven chakra symbols, um, which we don't you know, research those. We've certainly shown, shown which, one, which, which one represents which in the past. Um, but it's, yeah, all, all over the internet. And you've also got, if you just take a little look here, you've got some really beautiful gemstones, ca uh, round cabochons um, that you can put within, set within um, your sterling silver connectors. They're absolutely beautiful. And there's a big amount of sterling silver in here as well. So you have those and... You've got all of these gorgeous strands. We said it earlier on these would be great if you don't want to. If you don't want to sort of just make uh, sort of smaller uh, sort of chakra inspirations, this size, this kit is appealing to me. Not only for the amount of sterling silver, but also the fact that these would be great for tassels. Absolutely great for tassels. Um, how many do we have of this kit available? 60 of this kit available and it is proving to be very very popular i'm not surprised at all not surprised make sure you do check it out yeah oh, there's a huge amount of sterling silver um in that kit as well so um there was only a limited quantity of them and it's just a, a case of what glue box. isn't it i suppose Absolutely. glue your gemstones e6000 or your hyper cement into those and these represent uh the seven chakras so we start very quickly with the base chakra that's on the screen with the four petals and then it goes up to the crown chakra. Yeah, the it's, it's, it's on the internet, isn't it? It's uh, right. It is on the internet. Um, so do have a little look at the um, at the photographs um, to see what they represent. It's fairly self-explanatory. Amazing. Right then, jewelry makers, just before we dive into your deal of the day, we have the most amazing sterling silver opportunity. One that when we first launched it, I don't know, two, three years ago, I don't know, time has been a weird thing, hasn't it, of late? But um, we first launched a bracelet like this. It was inspired by the likes of Tiffany's and Co, where you can buy a, you know, a solid 925 sterling silver bangle with one of those, you know, sort of classic Tiffany's and Co hearts. And they tend to be around, I'm not, let's be honest, they're about 400 pounds, if not more, if not more. Now, yeah, they're a, they're a lot. It is a lot for 925 sterling silver. Now, this isn't Tiffany's, but we use exactly the same 925 sterling silver that they do. And the beauty is that you get to actually uh, get to actually personalise yeah. it. You know, Susie, those charms that we've just had, perfect. They would be perfect, perfect for that. Put those on your lovely oh, chakra, beautiful charm bracelet. Perfect. Now we've got 700 of these, Susie. Wow. And they are flying on pre-order. I bought five of these the first time I actually launched this bracelet a few years ago. Um, and yeah, they, they, were, they were just the most gorgeous gifts. I got some nice boxes again from Jewelry Maker. Um, literally attached one charm again from Jewelry Maker. And they were Christmas deals. Yeah. Literally Christmas gifts. I was going to say Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. All day long, because yeah. who doesn't love that kind of Absolutely. look? Who wouldn't like that bracelet? Yes. Shall we do... And we're going to go straight into it just because of time. We've got 700. You saw how busy the call screen got during that wire end tip auction. We're going to do exactly the same. You've got, hang on a minute, hang on, remind me. Yeah, remind me what we're taking it to. Yeah, that's madness. That is madness. Remember, uh, yeah, okay. If you if you value my opinion, this is the most ridiculous deal. There's more sterling silver in here. It's a solid sterling silver bracelet, not hollow, which I would always kind of veer my lovely uh, um, jewelry friends, <coughs> excuse me, away from because. Tendencies with 925 sterling silver ho hollow bracelets is they condense, they can buckle, and then they're irreparable. Mm. This is solid 925 sterling silver, five grams. If you value my opinion, um, and you like what you're seeing on your screens right now, just dial, because look at where we're starting. Susie, I mean, wow. £13.99, and that's the starting point. Exactly, and it's good for gentlemen as well. Yeah. Because it's one of those unisex. How often do we get a bracelet that you could say a gentleman could wear that? Very, very rarely. So perfect. Five grams of sterling silver, Wonderful. it's a huge amount. If there's any of these come the end of the, um, this hour, I'm adding these to my order as well. I'm more than happy at 13.99, but I know you're going to do better, Roscoe. He's back from Bali and he's back with a vengeance. There he is, the main man. We have missed you, Ross. You haven't missed us, it's fine. <laughs> he says, I genuinely have, oh bless. You were sunning yourself in Bali. 
having the most blazing time. But look, chipped a pound off that price oh, point as if it wasn't wow. good enough already. Already. I know it's only August. And do you know, whenever I mention Christmas on our live shows, the amount of messages I get saying, stop talking about Christmas. No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I'm one of those people that actually... I, I, I'd, I've got to manage my money. Yeah. I'm, absolutely. I, I have to manage my money. I don't have, uh, you know, a, a, a huge amount of money that where I have to th think, yeah. okay, I'll do my Christmas shopping the yeah. day before. I can't. I can't do that. I can't financially afford it. So I have to budget it throughout the course and of the year. With the sort of cost of living at the moment... Oh, gosh, uh, yeah. Never before have we needed to sort of budget and sort of start planning ahead mm -hmm. for Christmas. So I think this year, if no other Christmas, this is the right time to start thinking about totally. that. Totally. It's only a few months away. Yeah. The most beautiful gift. And that recipient will never in their wildest dreams imagine that that's as little as you paid. 11 99 so many of you, I've got 700 of these. Everybody pays the final low price. Look, there's five grams of sterling silver, and it's beautiful. I love these bracelets. Great quality. Thank you, Lanarkshire. I totally agree yeah. with you. Beautiful. Totally, totally agree with you. The quality and the gram... Well, the, the quality is in the gram weight, isn't it? Because, you know, you can... I could offer you a sterling silver... No, you know what? Let's rephrase that. You and I could walk down your local high street and find a sterling silver bracelet, maybe, which is similar, and maybe be able to find one which actually has a price tag like what's on your screens. But what would be my estimation is that that would be hollow. And that's fine. Um, that is fine. However, you'll probably get wear out of it once or twice because we're very heavy handed in our usual day to day business. I want something that's going to last for years yeah. and years and years to come. Now, 700 of these. Not stopping there. No. Not stopping there. There's a certain milestone, oh. a certain barrier that we like to break through as much as we possibly can. Uh, FYI, has the has the, the price of sterling silver gone down? No. Uh, no, definitely not. How do we get around this? Because the price of bullion is the price of bullion. We buy a big quantity. But isn't this a lovely gift to give as a start for a charm bracelet, bracelet? Charm bracelet that can, and then every year you just add another charm to that. My niece has just got her 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 GCSE results. Yeah. And she's a massive Jade fan as well, which oh, I didn't wow. know. She saw some of our car and she was like, I love Jade. So oh, I bought wow. some Jade yeah, as well oh. um, for her exam. But what a lovely gift this would Absolutely. be. But I know if I bought Jade that, feed. her mum would want it too. Yeah. So, and at these kind of prices, I absolutely can because we're not stopping at 11 99 no. Are you ready? First come, first serve. These always absolutely fly out the door. If you've got any of Susie's beautiful kits, particularly the one with sterling yeah. silver, look, just, just pop one of those in there. You've made high-end jewellery. beautiful. $9.99. Thank you, Lanarkshire. Was it Lanarkshire or Lancashire? Lanarkshire, um, who uh, messaged in saying about the quality. I totally agree. And yeah, the call screen agrees with you as well. Loads of you getting threes, twos, fours, um, because they are the perfect gift. Mm. Um, hello to you, Derbyshire. What a great bracelet. You could make uh, that any length. Absolutely. And yes, 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 yes. Very, uh, great for small wrists. If you wanted to make it into a chakra bracelet, atypical, just put your seven chakra mm -hmm. beads on that and you've got a chakra bracelet. Away you go. Like Away you go. I, I totally agree with you there, Dabash. You literally just move that, that lobster claw further down the bracelet. Yeah. Further down. Um, do you know my little willow? She's got one of these. I bought oh. it and it was from, from that... That auction we were just telling you about then a few moments ago. She's like, oh, mummy, I love this bracelet. And she's got one of our little amber bees on oh, there. Oh, lovely. Um, she wears it all the time. And again, it will grow with her. Absolutely. Because, um, yeah. because it is, as Derbyshire just pointed out, you know, quite to a, to a certain manner of degree, it is kind of adjustable, isn't it? Um, hello to you, Valentina. Karen's just got five. Valentina's got three. Gillian's got two. London's got... 90% wow. of you have bought more than one. Um, I'm going to say probably. Uh, Lanarkshire's just bought six. Well done done um remember you have got the 925 sterling silver magnetic class coming up also as a closeout deal and wow. remember your deal of the day is all about beautiful laramar i mean just take one of those laramars 
you know, little briolette drop, uh, briolette wrap, sorry. And away you go, you've just made high-end jewellery. Um, I'm going to leave it with you, though, because time is ticking. Make sure you check out those baskets. Well done. There were 700 of those, and I can see massive quantities, though, being um, allocated to uh, baskets. I'll keep you updated on the quantity yeah, of wow. that one. Fantastic. The magnetic clasp is coming up immediately after. Yes, immediately after the break. And then we have your jadeite rings. And then we're going to do your beautiful, beautiful Laramar. Don't go anywhere. Keep checking out. It's still very much, very much uh, uh, open and underway, this opportunity. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay.
Uh, apologies, I actually told you the Laravel was coming up later on. It's not right now. It's your deal of the day, of course. Um, we, uh, yeah, we'll want to keep you waiting any longer for this beautiful gemstone. It conjures up images of beautiful tropical destinations and it is uber rare. Some might say actually one of the rarest. Uh, but Laramar still to this day is a little known gemstone that comes from one tiny island on our vast planet, the Dominican Republic. It's completely and utterly natural and actually a bit of an anomaly of nature. So let's talk about that. What is Laramar? Because we must never assume that everybody knows what this gemstone stone is you may well have seen it you might have seen it on maybe cruise liners or or, or uh, Caribbean destinations um, um, and thought oh, what a pretty stone but how does it form well let's talk about that firstly the second word into this article I'm actually going to ignore because we don't use semi precious as a description anymore GIA actually sort of got rid of that terminology because to be honest once upon a time we were talking calling garnet semi precious mm. well a Zavarite garnet or a Demantoid exactly. garnet is not semi-precious. No. Um, okay, so Laramar, a precious stone uh, that has their own cachet of best kept secrets. Sorry, if precious stones had their own cachet of best kept secrets, then one of them is definitely Laramar. An extremely rare precious stones that has only been found in one very small location on the planet, a remote mountain range on the Dominican Republic in the Caribbean. Uh, where is it found? Well, as we've just said, Laramar deposits have been found in only one place in the world, a remote mountain range on the island of Hispaniola. Uh, the total surface area of the Laramar deposits is thought to cover, get this, less than one single square mile. Wow. You know, that really does register with me how limited Laramar is. You know, Tanzanite is vast in, yeah. in comparison. Yeah. Absolutely vast. One single mile square um, is a mining operation and it's not open pit or anything like that. Um, it is unknown why Laramar only formed in this one location, but the mountain range was formed by tectonic plates pushing against one another. Uh, so the region was a very volcanic, uh, volcanically active and it was most likely a unique volcanic event that led to the formation of Larimar. There are various elements which influence the properties of Larimar, such as copper, vanadium, hematite, phosphorus, and silica. The exact pro process sorry, that formed Larimar is unknown, but it is obviously due to the unique, unique composition of these minerals um, in the area. So, I mean, that's amazing. We know how a diamond forms. We know how a peridot forms. We know how jadeite forms, but we don't know exactly how this gemstone actually forms. But it is still, as I said, very, very remote, very, very limited mining operation um, and this photograph really speaks volumes. Laramar is considered artisan mining, meaning it is a small scale and informal carried out by individuals or small groups using minimal machinery and equipment. It is a major driver of community development by providing jobs and ensuring profits for local villagers in the surrounding region. Alternative employment in the area is limited to low paying sectors such as agriculture and fishing in contrast to industrial scale mining. The miners' earnings are spent locally, supporting sustainable um, economic growth and their own community. So do you know, it's really lovely when you're, when you're watching your gemstones, and of course we will always, always, always only bring you gemstones that support ethical mining. Laramar absolutely is the case because really the people who are uh, literally in the mine shafts and cutting the gemstones are the ones that get the benefits. 40 years ago, the deposits of Laramar was on the surface, but over time that material has mined out, requiring the shafts to go deeper and deeper. The best quality Laramar is often found in the layers between two different types of rocks, so the miners dig vertical shafts down until they hit the boundary layer and then start tunneling around to look for veins. This is never, it's not a science, it is literally by chance. So, like I said I can't tell you how many years there is mining of this gemstone and I think the next slide actually speaks about that um, can't tell you exactly how long is left of mining this gemstone because 
it's always a bit of a, a, a gamble, if you like, when you go down. Uh, due to the very small deposits of Larimar and the limited financial value of the Larimar deposits, extensive geological surveys of the land have never been done. The available quantity of Larimar is unknown. But what is known is that the surface area has been mined out. So now the shafts are chasing a key word there, chasing the Larimar deposits deep into the mountain. So what do we think? We say this with lots of, in lots of uh, examples. What do you think is going to happen to the price of Larimar when they say, right, OK, this is no, more, no longer viable. We're literally not getting any out of the ground. The price is going to skyrocket and it is already incredibly expensive, mm. particularly if you've been to the Caribbean, particularly if you've seen it on cruise liners. It is an expensive considered gemstone. What I have on the T-bar is literally all I can offer you. We have maybe one or two of other strands that you might see on the website, but this is all the Larimar that we actually have within our vault. I'll have, we have far more Grand Digerite than we have Larimar. Wow, yeah. Wow. Now I'm going to start with a cart, which we really ever, ever, ever get. And, and Anne and Sue have made the most beautiful, beautiful oh, suite of jewellery. How elegant is that? It's stunning, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. So you've got the necklace beautiful. and then the matching bracelet just here. I mean, what a suite of jewellery. Thank you, Anne and Sue, for that. Now, we rarely ever get Larimar rounds, but this is a gemstone. If, you, if, if you're first experiencing it and if you're thinking, OK, so what do, I look, what do I need to look for in terms of quality? How do I know I'm getting top quality Larimar? Well, if you can imagine tropical visions, scenes of, I don't know, crisp white sands and lapping crystal clear waters, something like this. Or maybe something like this. Or maybe something like this. Then it'll introduce you to something like this. Totally and utterly natural. It is widely known that more blue within Larimar that blue, I'm not talking about cashmere blue, I'm talking about like a really beautiful tropical soft blue. More blue in Larimar means finer quality. We're gonna start this little showcase with the beautiful rounds, the only rounds that we actually have in this showcase. Know that it is certified, natural, genuine Larimar, as with any beautiful precious stone, desired stone, be mindful there are simulants that are, are out there. Now, I kind of know the answer to this question before I ask it, but I will. How many do I have? Really? That's, that's way more than I thought you... So, okay, it's me not to get blasé. Yeah, we've had... We normally have, like, 30, maybe, of a Larimar strand. We've got 100 available. Awesome, awesome buying on Wayne's part then. That's incredible. And I'm going to join you on this opportunity as well and probably just recreate what Adam and Sue have done. Literally, simple mm, beading. Absolutely. We've had the Guardian tips Did earlier on as well. Yeah. Uh, amazing. Um, go, 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 go. If you've ever been to any Caribbean destination, then you'll have seen this gemstone and you'll have seen it at the three-figure price tag. A necklace like that would be probably close to £500. Pounds. Absolutely. And it's absolutely stunning. It doesn't have to be difficult to make to make it beautiful no jewelry. i agree i totally totally agree this is so commercial if you've been on a cruise liner you'll absolutely have seen uh, larimar and amalite there's two very yeah. cruise liner gemstones yeah. alongside your diamonds and everything yeah. of course but very cruise liner gemstones that carry a hefty price tag mm. the phone lines have absolutely lit up i've got a hundred of these available 30 carats of beautiful, beautiful spherical natural Larimar. So workable and wearable. 20% of the stock has already gone. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised we see it very seldom. It is one of those gemstones that you can almost imagine your toes literally sinking within the crisp white sands of places like the Seychelles, Mauritius. Uh, Bali, yes, Dominican Republic, all those beautiful destinations that so many of us pine for. Um, if you can't get there, then we can almost bring the beauty to you. Seventy-nine ninety-nine is absolutely yeah. incredible for Larimar. 
Here's a gemstone that, honestly, outside of the jewelry maker bubble, and I do, I am keeping it remote to to, to jewelry maker because literally next door, our lovely our lovely uh, Gemporia friends. Uh, if this, if I was to put that on Gemporia right now, if this bracelet were on Gemporia, you'd be talking probably about mm, what do you think, hundred and ninety nine? Yeah, easily, easily, easily for Larimar. I think Maybe so. Maybe more. If I was to put this on oh, Gemporia, wow. 299, yeah. 300? £300? Yeah, definitely. I think so. But the reality Beautiful. is you probably wouldn't see something like this on Gemporia because you'd have, that's a lot of Larimar in one piece of yeah. jewellery. A lot, yeah. a lot. It'd be a limited edition. You could make this sweet for 50 pounds yes you've got out you've got a few additions in here yes you've got some rondelles and yes you've got some lovely sterling silver um okay well let's just say you can make it for a well under a hundred pounds goodness mm. me that is a considerable saving and you get the joy of making that piece of jewelry 49.99 30 carats of la of natural genuine larimar with those wonderful exotic blues under 50 pounds Oh, wow. brass. Brass. When was the last time we did rounds, do you know? A long time ago. A long time ago. Long time ago. I, it was, it was, it was, might have been the beginning of this year because I remember Dave Troth coming into the studio and I was just fin finishing up on that auction. Yeah. And Dave was like, what? You've got a whole strand of Larimar rounds. Yeah, and wow. he, he confirmed what I've just said. He was like, yeah, that would be hundreds of pounds next door. Mm. Hundreds. Rounds. Today, your deal of the day has to live up to that status. If you love Larimar, let's see you on the phone lines. Let's see you um, on the web. You don't have to check out as of yet. It's a rare opportunity for you to get Larimar rounds. Well, it's the only strand I have. It's the only strand yeah. I have on out, out of this showcase. If you love Larimar, or oh, this with pearls, how beautiful this I was this just going to say this with pearls. Just a couple of in um, yeah. pearl necklace. You don't have to sort of have low. It's just a few. Just accent it in your pearl necklace. Beautiful with rose quartz as well. Oh, I think. yeah. Just really gentle. Very oh, or pretty. something like citrine, I think, Beautiful. would be lovely as That's well. That's a lovely thing with this. It goes with everything. Everything. Then you could put that with your black jade. It'll look lovely. Oh, yeah. We're going to put 60 seconds on two screens. That's your call to action. If you love what you see and you're thinking, I'm not quite there yet, maybe 49 99 is not quite your budget, not quite your price point for this beautiful gemstone. As long as you recognise that that is an incredible deal, even if we were, or, uh, we were to stay there. Like I said, I, I could literally live during your deal of the day. I'm not going to because I can imagine Lindsay next door is in the middle of an auction as well. Um, love Lindsay. But I could literally walk next door and say, Lindsay, how much would something like that be on, on, on Gemporia? Yeah. On Gemporia. And I'm absolutely confident that she would answer her three figures. Well, we've all worked. Every single member of crew here have worked across the partnership, not just on, your, on, on the Jewelry Maker channel. And I think we're all saying around that. Yeah, we're around that price point. 15 seconds, we are going to go lower, and I don't just mean by a little bit. A big price crash. Maybe this is your first introduction to this beautiful one locational gemstone. Again, absorb that. Absorb that. It's vast planet, rare, specific geological conditions, events. Oh, that's... It should... The, oh... It is lower than the sheet says. Mm -hmm. I remember when a Larimar round strand like this would have been one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. Do you? Definitely. Do you? Yeah. I remember them being three figures. Certainly, when we were part of Immediate, they were one hundred and twenty nine pounds. Certainly. Oh my goodness me! Wow, just seen the price. That's amazing. I know. I know. It would have had a one in front of it. Only what? What? Five years ago? Would you agree with that? Oh, my goodness. Purely because we've got 100, though, says Ross in my ear. Irene's got two. Catherine, Lancashire, Vanessa, Valentina. Caroline's got two. Zoe, Yvonne, Sharon, Angela, oh. Melanie, Joy, Pauline, Eileen, Linda. Well done to you, Lincolnshire. Um, Karen, I can see you on the phone line. Sarah, Middlesex, new customer. Tracy, new customer. Carol, Lynn, Angela, Jane, Janice in Berkshire. I only had 100 of these, um, and there are multi-buyers getting involved. Wow. Um, I'm going to bring you now 
now, oh my goodness me. Now, everything that I'm, you see from here on in on your Larimar showcase has less than 50. And, and to be honest, that is pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. One of the things that that PowerPoint didn't actually say is, say Susie and I, you and I are mining mm. this gemstone and we go down the vertical. Yes. I'd love to do yeah. that. Down the vertical. In very hot weather. Yeah, it's hard work, hard yeah. work. Um, and say, uh, Susie, I came out with some Larimar, but you didn't. Mm. And you've spent all day down there with me. Yeah. They share the yeah, it's of their labor. Isn't it? So yeah. I love that about yeah. it. I absolutely love that. These are huge, absolutely huge. Brand new, never been on your screens before. If you're looking for an impact size of Larimar, well, as with any gemstone, the larger the size, the rarer they are. Um, we're going to start making our way towards... Uh, towards your unbelievable, unbelievable showcase deal. Wow, straight away we're under £50. Wow. One of them could have been that price tag. Again, there's a digit remove, uh, 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 missing from that price point. Go back, what, four or five years ago, and it would have been £149. We all remember Larimar being a three-figure price tag. But you've got Wayne purchasing now. And I know for sure, I know that it's, it's challenging to purchase gemstones like this. That as well, that strand there, ideal for gentlemen as well, because you could just, because I've just been looking at the drill holes. Yeah. You will be able to get really sort of a one mil, um, sort of like a tan color uh, leather cord nice. through that and just wear one, just not at either side. Beautiful. Oh, you know, you do your pearl marla necklaces. I'm thinking yeah. these as the guru oh, beads. Oh, would be absolutely beautiful. All the mar markers as well, oh. if you really wanted to go full out. I love Lara and Mar and Pearls together. But, you know, we're talking chakra today, so I'm allowed to talk about the healing properties of this, which is, as you would imagine, it being that lovely, gentle blue. It's part of the heart chakra, the throat chakra, and the crown chakra, because it has the whites. So this is really good for meditating with, oh. thinking through your issues, and it really does calm you down. You can just see. You can that see from, it, yeah. You can totally it. see it. It is. It, 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 it's like a. It's like a uh, breathing in yeah, through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Exactly. You can, see it. you can feel that. Yeah. Sort of, you know, there's gemstones that really you don't. Ha I don't have to tell you what they do for you. You can see it, and that's the beauty of these gemstones. Twenty nine ninety nine is just ludicrously low for this gemstone. Beautiful. You know, well, especially as we know that look, news might be announced tomorrow that Lara Maros is mined out. You never know. Yeah. And then the price you can, well, see, see it shoot through the roof. $29.99, Angela, Irene, uh, Valentina, Kathy, Norma, Karen, Linda, Kay, Angela, Essex, Julie, Heather, Lorraine, Ayrshire, Anne, Penny, and Lynn. It is, though. You know, yeah. you know if, ever you, if ever you find yourself a little bit stressed, that's what you do, don't you? Yeah. In breathing. through the nose and out through the mouth. Exactly. And through to just calm your breathing Absolutely. down ever so slightly. But you can see it in a gemstone. No, but if you're wearing this, you see, that's why I always wear jewellery. If you're feeling, sometimes, you know, especially if you've got children that go into school, we all have stressful time. Yeah. Just have something and you just either hold it just for a minute and just yeah. breathe in and out. This is what the beauty of gemstones are. Whether uh, you believe in it or not, just holding it, you don't have to believe in it, just... I challenge anyone that says, Susie, I'm not really into chakra. Just hold a gemstone that you like and just breathe in. Totally. And out. Just bring your blood pressure down. Uh, hello, Caroline in the channel. I say, morning, lovelies. I still have, oh, get this. I still have my first strand of Larimar, which cost me over £100 from Jewelry Maker Launch. Yeah, that's exactly right. Um, I had to get a few strands. They're splendiferous. Oh, good yeah, word, good word. Um, they really, really, really are. Uh, and there we go. A hundred pounds back on the launch. Now that's two of five strands of Larimar that I have. Should we do the drops, the pairs? I love this shape. These are limited, limited. Oh, and they're huge as well. You could use yeah. these as solitaires, maybe for yeah. a, I don't know, a gallery wire yeah. or bezel stripping Absolutely. or prong so setting. You, you put it in a ring. I would just have that single, you know, as a single pendant on a chain. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the bracelet. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah. <gasps> oh, oh Caroline, God. I know you've got a really a, a, a wonderful business. You know, one of these. Can I ask you a question? Lovely Caroline in the channel, Isles, who's messaged in and. Uh, if you were to put one of those Larimars, just one, on this sterling silver chain, yeah, just one, can I ask you, if you don't mind, tell me, tell me you do mind if you do, but um, can I ask you what you would charge for that at your lovely jewellery uh, shop? 
Well, just one Larimar on a sterling silver bracelet like this. Beautiful. Or anybody else, it's not just directed at Caroline. How much would you ask for a 925 sterling silver bracelet of this quality with one Larimar? And they are not small Larimars either, are they? Uh, 29.99. Stephen took a step back with that. I know he's pinching himself. Uh, they're huge. They're absolutely huge. Larimar, these are not Larimar prices. No, this isn't Larimar prices. How is this happening, Roscoe? Are you being really naughty or something? He says maybe a little touch, but but mostly yeah. Wayne, yeah. Yeah. Well, he secured some fantastic deals. Doesn't then. he? And the quality, it's not well, wishy-washy Larimar. No. It's got that wonderful intensity yeah. of colour. Because the more blue, the fine, the more yeah. exotic the blue, the finer the quality of the Larimar. Make a lovely ring, wouldn't it? That shape as well. Beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. Perfect earrings, perfect pendant, yeah. perfect ring. Yeah, absolutely. I just Perfect charm. Gone. Perfect charm. How perfect many have we got of these? Waterfall effect as well. Started with 30, half the stock's gone. I'm going to join you on this. I'm going to, I've kind of given myself an idea. Literally, that bracelet, little briolette wrap with a featherweight head pin, job done. You know, you were mentioning pearls earlier. What a lovely wedding uh, suite you could have. Just that touch of blue. Yeah, amazing. Beautiful. Which one, sorry? The coins. Ooh, these are lovely. These are gorgeous. Oh, I love the shape of those. They, yeah, these are lovely. It's hard to choose a favourite out of a showcase so beautiful as oh, Larimar, wow. but... Lovely. Oh, look at this colour. Look at this colour. If you remember one sentence, Ooh. then just remember this. The more exotic the blue, the more desirable the Larimar. These are stunning, aren't they? Look at that. Wow. Again, less than 50 opportunities. All of these lovely markings, that will, that's what we should expect with yeah. Larimar. It should literally look like sunlit waves, you know, you know mm. where the sunlight captures the, catches the wave and you get this yeah. really beautiful patterning. So take a look, look at this image. At the top, that's Larimar. That's Larimar. Almost looks like a bird's eye view, doesn't it? Um, at the bottom picture is actually an under the sea photograph, but you can kind of see the, you know, the, the, the actual reflection of the sunlight um, hitting the waves. That's what we should be looking for with this beautiful gemstone. And my goodness me, that's what you've got. We're at 29 99 Wow. I, love I thought you said strange. we only had 50. Ross says I misread it. No, there's 100. That's, that's my favourite strand. I haven't seen this shape before. It's beautiful. Purely because of the quantity. Oh. No other reason. Purely because, well, I have to say, Don't Ross is still, I think he's still in holiday uh, vibe, yeah? Press that button Ross. now. Holly, Ollie's, he's still on his Holly Bobs, yeah, absolutely. Hello, Caroline. I would charge between 50 and 60 for that bracelet. I know my prices are fair as I have been open two months and have repeat customers. Yeah. That seems more than fair. That Thank is you for very reasonable. Thank you, lovely, for yeah. messaging in and answering that. I appreciate I really do appreciate it. That's yeah, more yeah. than fair. Yeah. More than fair. Well, Caroline and everybody else who's maybe been tempted by Larimar, the beauty that Larimar is, you all know that under £20 is not a price point. Even us here at Jewellery Maker can reach on a regular basis. Maybe in nuggets. That's yes. impossible in nuggets. I would have thought this price in nuggets. And like you were saying earlier, the price of Larimar is normally one of those, but I have to save up for this strand. Yeah. Or I'll buy this strand and then I'm going to have to sort of really think hard about not buying for a while. Rain it in for a bit. Yeah, yeah totally. But not at these prices. 19 pounds and 99 pence only for that beautiful graduated wow. coin strand. Ah, oh, the phone lines have gone nuts. You're loving, loving, loving this. I knew it was going to be, uh, it was going to, it was going to erupt. Just put that, just say, let's go really mad. Because normally I'd separate those. But let's go really mad and say, I'm just going to make a necklace with that. What would that cost on a cruise liner? Or if you went to the Dominican Republic? Well, they make them, they capitalise on your, um, you know, the, 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 the tourist vibe. They were, yeah. And why wouldn't they? At the end yeah. of the day, you go on holiday, you're all about sort of spoiling yourself yeah. and whatnot. So absolutely. Hundreds of pounds. Hundreds. Hundreds. Hundreds and hundreds, like hundreds of pounds. Higher hundreds for that. And you wouldn't feel like, 
you know, you think, oh, I've treated myself, and you feel really good about well, it. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, yeah. you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, yeah. that's your memories of that yeah, holiday, exactly. isn't it, in one piece of jewellery? Honestly, that You can it, make it for 20 quid. Yeah. 20 pounds. That's madness. Absolute madness. I didn't realise we had the quantity, neither did Ross, to be honest. <laughs> but purely because um, of that quantity, there are 20 of these left. You've gone crazy for it. Well done. How about, um, how about literally sections of sterling silver chain? Oh, it's a satellite. Beautiful. Oh. And you know, we had the little fans earlier. Yeah. Bit of a piece of Larimar either at the top of that fan or below. I think with the jade, it'd be beautiful. Oh, really, yeah, because really they've got similarities, haven't, haven't they? they? I'm not gentle. talking about gemologically, but yeah. they do actually have that sort of colour and the colour palette and that zen exactly. Beautiful. Yes. It is a gemstone that really you feel calm looking at it. Totally. Don't you? It's totally. You know, do you know, if you were walking, if, if, if we were all walking together, can you imagine it now? Picture the scenes, picture the scenes. We're right. walking together along a, a yeah. beautiful, beautiful beach, sandy yep. beach, beach, where you've got lovely white sand. Got our maxi dresses on. Maxi dresses, the waves are lapping at your toes. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be stressed? No. <laughs> I wouldn't be no. stressed. I definitely yeah. wouldn't be stressed. So when it's raining and it's in the middle of winter, just bring your Laramar out. Oh, yeah. Shut we'll your eyes like and you're back there. Would you like another one? Last one though. And the only mm. rondelles. This has got to be a popular strand. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness me. The only, only rondelle strand. So this is what Alan Sue, if I just for a second turn this necklace slightly to the side and also on the bracelet. Yeah. You, you can see the rounds, and then just here, it works up into the rondelles. Yeah. And they've used them as spaces. They've got um, a round and then a rondelle. Oh, clever what so they did there, lovely. Alan Sue. Yeah. I really like that. I They're wish, so I wish, good. I wish I could come up with yeah. things like that. It's so We're lovely. under 20 pounds. Stop it, Ross. There's a clock. There's a clock ticking away. Ross, what are you doing? Last auction of the Larimar. How many do I have, then? 50. Ross. I would agree with you. Adam has just said, I've got to say, this is some of the best colour. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I agree. Very consistent with that beautiful pale blue. It's cut at the Dominican. Yeah. Literally faceted on the shores yeah. of the Dominican wow. Republic. The, 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 the mining is so remote that even, it's said that even locals... Um, do you remember Herman, who came over from the Dominican Republic? Let me just explain why you haven't seen Herman in a while. Firstly, there was the pandemic. Secondly, we're actually priced out. His, 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 his Larimar is incredibly, incredibly expensive. So um, we are sourcing, uh, sourcing alternatively. Well, not alternative, still from that same location, if you like. But we buy bigger quantities um, and we can sort of really push those boundaries on the price point. This is madness. Historic, maybe? <gasps> this isn't Larimar prices. No, it's a nugget strand, maybe. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Ross says he's the only nugget round here. <laughs> wow. <coughs> I'm, I, I, Ross, I'm not even going to disagree with you there, right? Because, honestly, a naughty nugget... Wow. Naughty, naughty nugget. <laughs> Again, don't, if you get this strand for £14.99, don't go and sort of sell something for 30 quid because it's expensive, isn't it? We're, yes. You're just very lucky in getting it for this price. What is that don't price? price it. If you've, what a great opportunity for you to experience yeah. Laramar Absolutely. as well if you've never purchased this gemstone. Yeah. It is beautiful. So beautiful. I'm going to even go as far as saying one of the world's most beautiful. It is absolutely. You could make a lovely little ring there. Just, just a few at the top there, and make a lovely. Oh, yeah. Band. Can I? You know your lovely chakra necklace. Which, uh, which the one? one? The one with the with the symbols. Yeah. So you know, if you don't want to use the chakra colours. Yeah. Which how you about don't to. you don't yeah. have to? These are these are little rounds. But imagine taking this strand, fourteen pounds. 99 pence all that sterling silver can you imagine like Susie just putting 
Just little sections of Larimar. Well, oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Oh. Yeah. And there's nothing to stop you from doing Cause that. Because it's like a heavenly it's, sky blue. It's beautiful and it's great for meditation. <clears throat> so what better... Amazing, Susie. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Well done, everybody. Of course, you've gone, uh, you've gone crazy for this one. We had 50, and it is very, very, very close to being a sellout. Elaine, well done. David's got three. Carol, Caroline's yeah, got two. Well Angela's got four. Sarah's got two. Carolyn Devon's got two. Jenny and Cheshire's got two. Uh, Valentina's got two. Joy, Suzanne, Margaret, Deborah. I can't keep up. Robert, you're there as well. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, that's it. That's all the Larimar that we actually have available. Um, I just want to show you also, thank you, Alan Sue, beautiful jewellery as always. Can I show you this? Because it's been eyeing me up all morning. Yeah, I've been it has. <laughs> no. I think it was the other way around. I it, feel like... <coughs> I agree with you, Well, I've been looking at this. It winks at you, doesn't it? <laughs> it's winking. It's been winking at me too. Yeah, there we go. Or rather, I've been winking at the Larimar, <laughs> eh? <laughs> it's definitely eye catching. That's beautiful. embarrassing, isn't it? I meant to say it the other way round. Yeah, it, it 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 is gorgeous. This, and I don't know if you've seen anything like it before. Lovely. Um, the quality of the uh, of the labyrinth is unbelievable, <coughs> and it's rosary linked. Saves you all that time. <laughs> Do you know what? That's me. You know when everything I iron them up across the bar. If that was the case, if ever, I'm so glad I'm not single anymore because um, because I was always rubbish at flirting and, and <laughs> so bad at flirting. You always used to remind me that you know um, what's his name off Only Fools of Only Fools Del of Horses. Boy or... Del Boy, yeah. yeah. Stay cool, Rodney. Stay, Stay cool. cool. That's me. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> 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 um, when are we doing this though, Roscoe? We'll do it Ooh, after your yeah. jade rings. But they're lovely. Rosary linked, beautiful, beautiful labyrinth. Probably about yeah. quarter past 11. Um, I mean, you can probably do this, can't you? But to actually source the components plus the time that you have yeah. to invest, um, it may well yeah. not even be worth it. Yeah, no, exactly. Because that's gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Just Look, literally. Ready made necklace. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, well done. It's coming up in about brand new. Never been. I say about half an hour just to be uh, just to be uh, uh, safe. Okay. I did promise that we would do the closeout deal on a magnetic class, didn't we? Should we do it now? Shall we do it now? Um, because Susie, you love a magnetic class, don't you? I certainly do. It's my favourite. They revolutionise the jewellery make wearing, don't they? I've got long nails, as you can see, and unless it's a stretchy. I only put the um, magnetic class on braces because you just go boom and it's on. Hey presto. I cannot be fluffing about with all of those. Not my magnetic. nails will fl flick off and especially if you're going out, you imagine me, my husband going, you ready Susan? I'm going to hang on a minute and oh, my nails gone. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not ideal. I tell you what, they're that good. They're a star by. Yeah. Right. How many have we got, Roscoe? 350. Ah, so 57 have already gone on pre-order. Um, and a whole heap more are about to, uh, about to fly out the door. I don't think you're alone in that, Susie. No. I, I totally agree. Yeah. When I first launched, and it, I literally was the first person to launch a magnetic class, not just here at Jewelry Maker, across the entire partnership. Because believe it or not... Jewelry maker will be behind gems on the magnetic class. Wow. Which doesn't make much sense, does it? But actually, these were sold on uh, um, gems and our, uh, our USA channel. And the idea was you attach a clasp and literally attach yeah. it to your necklaces, attach it to your bracelets. That's it. Job done. Yeah. Uh, so much so, I, I can't remember how many I bought, but I bought a load of these yeah. literally to do exactly yeah. that, to swap it round so that I never have that, the arguments where, will you come on? Yeah, hurry will up. Will you hurry up? I don't, I don't have any of those arguments now. It's literally a case of put them together and hey, yeah. presto. Now, I'm duty bound to say if you do wear a pacemaker, then obviously avoid because there's a strong magnet within these as well. But it's... If ever you've watched our sister channel, I'm using them a lot as, a, as an example, but I never wondered, and I used to, I used to wonder this, how are they taking bracelets off and necklaces off? Is yeah. there someone sat behind the desk just doing that? There's yeah. not. There's not. 
It's not, it's not, it's the magnetic class. That's what it is. So they best, literally do Best invention ever for Nick. Isn't Kissy. it? Absolutely. Totally. Now we are going to melt the phone lines. Um, you've got an eight millimeter round <clears> here. So perfect. You think about maybe the Larimar that you've just had. Think about all of Susie's beautiful Marla this, necklaces. Yep. Think about, well, the bracelet that you very kindly made um, and gave me on Tuesday, yes. which I've already worn. Yeah, which has a magnetic clasp. Magnetic clasp. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's like, I, I do, yes, I do get spoiled by Susie. <laughs> <laughs> but I wear it. I'm a good advertisement for yeah, our Susie. Exactly. I exactly. do wear it all. But, um, yeah, I mean, I know... I remember these actually first coming here at Jewelry Maker and it was a case of yes, about time because none of us really must find lobster claws and bolt ring class that yeah. easy to do, no. especially if you're doing them up on your own. Exactly. They're nice to make uh, on necklaces. If you're making a necklace and we put a bolt ring class on, it looks lovely. But for ease of use, yeah. this is well, let's revolutionary. Do it. Let's do it. Ready? Look at this. Yeah. It's that simple. It is that simple. And it's uninterrupted beauty on your jewellery making. Now, um, we've got 350 of these, or rather we had. That's your first price point, which I have to tell you is an amazing deal on a magnetic yeah. class. Don't just think about your stash. Think about your jewellery collection that you have already existing. Or uh, Mark always says, actually, he put magnetic class on, um, on his family's jewellery yeah. so that, uh, so that, that you know, they could wear it that easily. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, exactly. It's a, that's what it's all about. It's about jewellery should be worn. It shouldn't be just in a, in, in, a, no. in a box or in a drawer. It's something that should be worn and celebrated. But what puts you off wearing yours? I can tell you what puts me off wearing yeah. mine. If it's a faff to put on. £7.99 yeah. all day long is an outstanding deal on your magnetic class. And they are a necessity. Yeah. Could I use these with your wire guardians? Absolutely. Absolutely. You, you would just put your wire guardian through. Through there? Yeah, through there. If the hole is too small, um, then you would just put a jump ring on it and then put your guardian wire, put a jump ring and then put the jump ring through there. So easy. So we really have covered all bases today, haven't Absolutely. we? Absolutely. And, you know, my favourite things, this is my favourite cloth. Me you too. know, if I was Prime Minister, I would say <laughs> that law has to have a magnetic cloth on your bracelet. Do you know what, Susie? I'd like to live in the country <laughs> where you're the Prime Minister. Yeah. I think everybody would be much, much, much happier. We'd all be nice to each other. Totally. We'd have to wear a mala. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I want Susie to be Prime Minister. She gets my vote all day long. Um, in 17 seconds, this is going even lower, and you're recognising that this is a good deal already. Well, Zoe, you got five. Linda, who got three. Marion, who got three. And Lou got three. Guess what? Not 7 99 we're going even lower than that. We've got a 350 quantity. Stock up your stashes. Yeah. You know, we brought you some pretty special gem. Well, we will always bring you special gemstones here at Jewelry Maker. You know, the finishing touches, you know, yeah. your wire guardians, your magnetic class make the difference. Absolutely. And you would charge more because if you were, this one's got a lovely bolt ring clasp. Nothing wrong with that. Lovely, lovely, no. lovely. If I had this, I would charge £10 more because of the clasp. It's so beautiful, my hands. Hang on, let me get a... Um, yeah, have some tweezers. Tweezers. There you go. Thank you, my darling. Look, look how beautiful... So, I don't know why it's got sellotape on there. Let's get that. Oh, yeah, sorry. But this, not only... It's, it's a beautiful addition. It's a beautiful it addition. It is. Look at that. It is, and it's got that beautiful... What have you done, Ross? That's a brand that new low, right? Lowest ever price point for your magnetic clasp. If you can afford it, get 10 of them because mm. you'll be surprised how quickly you get yeah. through them. And there's nothing worse. And you think, oh, I've made Especially this lovely... Especially if you do commissions. Yeah. If you do commissions, Absolutely. I bet... I bet and um, bracelets, how often... Right, OK. I, I do this every single time I talk about magnetic class, but I'm going to do it again. Oh, you are. In fact, you can have a live demonstration. Yeah. No disrespect, lovely Anne and Sue. Yeah. Or every yeah. other jewellery house that's out there. Yeah, and this is what happens. This is this is us in the morning. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, see, I've dropped see? it now. I'm, I'm not trying to not put this on. I'm, I'm desperately trying to put it on. But this is typical of 
how you put on a bracelet like this. No, I, I never do. I've got nails to contend with as well. Whereas, I wish we'd... You just get your, your bracelet and you just go... Like that. And you start you trying it from different angles, it. don't you? Yeah, but this one you just put it on in a flick. Right. Think. right. If there was a magnetic clasp, literally, yeah. hold it in the same vicinity. Yeah. And, and I've worked magnets. in jewellery for a long time and I can't yeah. do it as well. They're Look like besties, aren't Ready? they? They want to be together. Want to be together. Want to be together. Want to be together. Pink. Yeah, and your bracelet's on. Hey, there we go. There we go. Job done. And just done. easy to take off. Job done. Well done. You well come done, home everybody. from an evening out, you've got your necklace, you just unclip it. Whereas if you've got a, a clasp, it's like, oh, can you take fiddly, this clasp? Isn't it? Yeah, so fiddly. It is a bit more fiddly. Um, right, okay. okay. Are you ready for this? We're, gonna, we're about to get our lovely Susie swooning once oh. again. In fact, don't you wear these rings? <laughs> I've, got, I've, got, one. I've got one to pick up. Well, have you? Yeah. I, I, I've been desperate to get one of the archery. Oh. Which one do you want me to start with, Roscoe? Yeah. This one. This one here, which is uh, about a K, I'm going to say. Yeah. About a size K, yeah. so that's my size. Yeah. Um, but look at, oh, look at that translucency. Beautiful. That's hand carved. Remember, you know, think back, if only a few days ago, our lovely uh, Dave Troth, who speaks about, you know, really that the bangle is the pinnacle, isn't it? It's that pinnacle of... Uh, of, of um, it's the aspiration of any jade lover. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. It was always, always the bangle. Oh, the bangle is the the, the most sort of um, it's got status. It's got kudos. Yes. In uh, the the Chinese um, jewellery because they know how expensive they are to buy. Yeah. So if you're wearing a jade bangle, they think, ooh, that costs a fortune. It's just automatic because it's so hard it's so to make. It's so wasteful and skillful. It's so wasteful, so hard to make. But what if I told you these are harder to make? Because scale everything down. It's like anything. If you do, I don't know, a, a, um, an oil painting, scale that down, it's that much harder to achieve, yeah, isn't absolutely. it? absolutely. Because that's not just a case of, you know, take put, put a, a whopping big drill bit through no. the centre. No, no, no. It's carved out by hand. These have been on screen once. And we have the last remaining quantity. So this is about a size K. But as we always talk about, and what Dave always says, it's about owning the jade eye arch and ring. That's what's most important. You can always swap fingers, can't you? Um, how many do we have of these left? Wow. Really? We have less than... Do you want to, do you want to show everybody? Um, Yes, please. Because you wear one on a regular I, basis. I, I wear one. They're so comfortable, you don't even know they're on. And because it's jade... Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I, I've oh. got to get one of these. I'm, I want a collection of um, jade rings as well now. Look at the colour of that. Oh, beautiful. Susan, they do suit you, you know. Love them. You don't even know you're wearing one. And the beauty of uh, a jade ring is... Because it's so hard and durable, you can just leave it on. You don't have to think, oh, I'm... Must you know, take that off. You know, I'm, like, I'm forever washing our floor, so I'm forever in sort of bleachy, uh, soapy liquid. I never wear gloves. And I just dunk my hands in. I've got my jade ring on. Not bothered. I know that this is durable and it'll be fine. If I was wearing another... Um, Sort of amber, um, amber. Yeah, you'd have to take it off every five minutes. Of course, minutes. you would. You really would. You'd, but this is so durable, and this is why I, you know, I said it on an earlier show. If I'd have thought about it, if I'd have realised, I would have had this as my wedding band because one, it's lucky. Yeah, it, I'd like Jade um, as a. Yeah. It's just beautiful. It's it's lucky. It protects you. The, what a beautiful right, that piece of jewellery. Yes. Because I'm now oh. just thinking about. Oh, no. oh I'd like to wear it alongside. Yeah. Oh, look, there you go. No. Forty nine ninety nine. Fantastic. Beautifully translucent. Wow. Lovely colour. I love it. I need to get one of these. <laughs> mm. Really, still nowhere near your price point. Look how lovely that is. Right. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to rejoin you on this opportunity. Well, we're not and even me. stopping there. Not stopping there. Can I say to anybody that has been watching and said, look, I'm not into jade. I'm going off to make a coffee because you're putting jade on it. Please indulge me and get one of these rings. The, 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 it's affordable. 
it'll be the best purchase you've ever made. Well, the love, the love story begins and then, doesn't it? you will it? fall in love with Jade as I have. Yeah, same. It was one of those gemstones that, I'll be honest, I was never like, I was like, eh. Back in the day, yeah. many, many moons yeah. ago. Many moons ago. Yeah. And then I started seeing this jade. Yes. That's, that's the difference. Exactly, that is the this difference. This jade, the, the jade, the jade that you are seeing right now is polar opposites. Yeah. Absolutely it's polar opposites. It's a different league, isn't it? Yeah. You can get this home, not even for forty nine ninety nine. I need to get one. Can you these. circle this code for me, uh, Roscoe? I want one of these. I always remember that, but mind your P's and Q's, madam. Oh, yeah. Two, one, four. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> 21 again, four times. <laughs> no, I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> £29.99, £9 Susie, on yeah. split pay. That's madness. Right. That's actual yeah. madness. That's in the break. I went with the break. Yeah, my, my, my bag is, is not closed. Look. Oh, look. Beautiful. The colour of this, Jane. That's how I it? would wear it. Oh! Yes. It looks good, doesn't it, all together? Oh, it looks so look good. good. We're at tenner on split pay for one of the world's rarest gemstones. Listen, I haven't well, got the time to go into whole the whole story behind Jade. No. I'm going to assume that most of you that are watching already know how valuable this gemstone is. is. But please yeah. recognise that to a jade arch of ring is actually far more challenging to carve than even a bangle and that's Absolutely. saying something hello caroline saying ladies these jade art rings are stunning i bought four oh, so know. my kids oh, and i wow. can wear them love it love it yeah um, affordable so that if you have been watching all the jade shows and think it's really out of my price range Honestly, this is your opportunity and they are so comfortable to wear you don't realize that you're wearing them no, they're, they're I just beautiful. can't recommend them enough. Amazing. I'm curious to know the size of this next one. We're going to do that next. Because if it is the size that I'm hoping... No, in fact, it can move digits. I'm thinking that would be a really nice one for Tom to wear. Yeah, I'm just thinking uh, Ian. But yes. Yeah. We've measured his ring. Ah, <laughs> oh, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Should we do the next size up? It doesn't matter, to be honest, and we always say this, if you've got a specific finger in mind, then obviously it does make a difference. But if you are thinking about, you know, at the end of the day, this I know this is too big for me, for the, but I can definitely do that. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, I love it on the thumb. <gasps> Traditionally, that's where an archer's ring would be worn, on the thumb. Really? So when you draw back the bow, uh, the arrow rather, you'd have it so that protects your finger, otherwise you get a blister there. Oh, that, that makes sense. It does make sense. That makes total we've, sense. We've just turned them into love bands. You've asked for the larger size. This is the large size. Do we have the measurement, Roscoe? Uh, is it an S to T? I think it's an S to T. Uh, T to oh, S I don't know if I've got mine. Have we got a mandrel? Oh, we, we normally got a, have one. That's numbers, that gold. Yeah, one, which is no good. Hang on, it might be, even be here still. Let's have a little look. I'll give it a measure as soon Sometimes as I I'm possibly can. Um, oh. Wow, even if we were to stop here at £199.99, pence, that is absolutely incredible. We aren't stopping there. You know what we're going to do, don't you? Yeah. I remember now, I've just had that, 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 that memory. Dan? Is he not here? If we can find it, I will get it. I'm, I, I, from memory, I think that's an S to T. Uh, from memory, um, S to T, and then the other one was K, wasn't it? K yeah, to the L. other K to one L. was K. Uh, Twenty nine ninety nine. Don't forget, everything comes with a thirty day money back guarantee. Not that I think for one second these are going to be returned. So beautiful. This is the darker green. Here's our lovely Dan. He's on the case. Oh on yes, on the case. Oh, yeah, um, I only have to. We called his name. And he's in on it. Oh, we got a new mandrel. That's good. Uh, this is R to S, I beg your pardon, R so there we S. go. R to so S. can you see? Ooh. Ooh. And there you go, it's an R, isn't it, that one? Size R. And the other one that I was just, just wearing, it said, uh, is actually an L to M. There you go. 
But yeah. you would absolutely, yeah. absolutely find a finger to wear it, wouldn't you? Wow. Um, don't let that actually put you off the ring sizing. It's no. about the rarity of the gemstone. Oh, Amazing. Uh, Ten pounds. That's it's, it's mad that we can do this. I'm going to have to get one. Uh, one for me, another one. For, well, I think I'm going to get that one for Ian. Oh, Ian, if you don't want me to get it quickly, because <laughs> you're going to get this one. I love it. I want you to wear a piece of jade. Oh, and he's watching, is he? Yeah. He's oh, watching. Well, it might be with... <laughs> gets bored do, you know, do you know what? If it, if um, if Tom doesn't want it, I'll just do this. Yeah. I'll wear it on my thumb. Yeah. Amazing. At £10 only, you've got beautiful... These ain't getting on my toes. <laughs> 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 my toes would go like that. No. Unbelievable. Um, oh, here it is. Now we've got the smallest, uh, the small in the green, and this is, oh, it's a lovely large shank. This is this is K to L, so there we go. K to L oh. size, you can see that on the, um, on the ring sizer just here. But because you've actually got, it's a bit different when you've actually got a wider shank like this, which is, uh, is more contact with the skin. Mm, so, yeah, um, yeah they, they, you basically might need to sort of size down. You'll find a finger, I assure you. And if it doesn't, then you can literally put it on to um, put it onto a chain. That's what I always yeah. say. It's about owning the rarity of the archer ring itself. Twenty nine ninety nine once again, even though, hang on, this is more jade, isn't it? Yeah, wow. It's a it's a bigger shank. Can I try it on? <laughs> of course you can. <laughs> Let me put them all together. Uh, wow. It's a bigger shank, so you can actually yeah. shop ahead and choose. Yeah. So this is the widest of the shanks. This is the one we're doing right now. And it's yeah, not you can just see slightly wider, can't you? It's yeah. Cool. Well done. It's sold out. Well done. Well, but here you are, Susie. Yeah, I'll just try it on. I, I'm doing this for, for for yeah. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, isn't it? Just for those that have bought it. Oh. Well done. Oh, that's beautiful. Love the mottling on that one. Love it. Now, yeah. I've got two more archer rings to bring you. Which one, Ross? That one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Because I've got one which is more rounded and one which is, again, it's that other ring, but in the large size. Does that make sense? Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't beautiful. it? Beautiful. You love a bit that. of texture in there. Beautiful. You're moss and snow like colours, yeah, isn't it, it this is. one? Again, 18 to 20 millimetres in its size. So this, I didn't tell you, did I? Sorry. Um, on the ring shank is a U to V. Oh, wow. U to V. <clears throat> so one of the largest of the arch uh, archer rings, rings, actually, that I've ever seen. So. Yeah. Um, if that's something that's going to fit you, then I would dial through as quickly as you possibly can. Oh, my goodness. If it doesn't, then, like I said, wear it on a chain. Yeah. Because you've still got that beautiful, beautiful... It'd look lovely on a chain. Sometimes if you're wearing wedding bands, oh, yeah. you have it on the chain. It's lovely. Like that. Beautiful. Even though we've got, again, a bigger carrot weight, we've jumped up in carrot weight, and normally, well, all gemstones are actually sold based on carrot. We're still matching that price for, point for you. How many do we have of these available? 50. There was 200 originally. We are down to the final 50 of them. What a great way to introduce uh, to introduce Jade into, yeah, not, not just our jewellery collections, but also the chaps in our lives. You yeah. know, for, for example, like I said, Tom, much like Ian, I guess, he's not much of a jewellery wearer. No, exactly. He'll wear watches. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, right. Yeah, he'll wear watches, but he won't wear, yeah. wear, wear jewellery, um, which I'm always desperately trying to force <laughs> on him. But <laughs> <laughs> Desperately. Um, but I, I know that Tom would wear something like yeah, this. Yeah, I just, I really want Ian to have a jade ring. He knows that, so. There you go. Is, isn't it? They are yeah. flying out the door. I've not seen this size before, personally. Um, as I said, this was what, U to V. So it's one of the larger sizes that we've got in the jade rings. Um, so if that's going to fit you, then, yeah, be quick, because there was only 50 of them available. Again, you know, it, it's 18 carats of natural type A jade. Yeah, beautiful. And all of that central part it can't be saved for maybe a cabochon or no. anything like that. It is all lost. Still polished by bamboo. Yeah, I know. And the thing is, I'm on a mission for the world to have wear a piece of jade, and this is perfect. So if you you know if you have one piece of jade, just wear a ring. I mean, I cover myself in it, but just. I always oh. have a piece of jade on you. My mum, from birth, I've been wearing jade. You know, my mum's 
had me in with a pendant. Then as soon as my ears were pierced, in went the jade earrings. Really good. Very lucky. Keeps you young as well, I reckon. Keeps you young. Well, you are young and beautiful. There you go. Uh, 9.99. Well done, everybody. Again, this is on the verge of selling out. Um, I'm not surprised. This has got that beautiful sort of moss and snow like colour. Um, I've got one more of your archer ring to bring you. Is that right? Maybe, maybe not. Ooh. What do you mean, everything's... What's going to be revealed? You've got one more green variety. Okay. Is it coming out? Oh, I think I know what it might be. Could it be? The biggest carrot weight in the ring. I, I know as much as you. Is it this one? No. Is it this oh. one? <clears throat> and this is the yes. rounded. Yes. Oh, see, Beautiful. as with wedding bands, there's different, uh, there's different shapes so you've got like a d a d you've yeah. got the court you've got a flat band yeah um and then you've got this is much more rounded so that, for example if we look at your bangles yeah absolutely the black one's They're much just, more rounded it's isn't just it? a perfect round and we do sell a dark green one that has it's flat inside and slightly wider so just i'm confused i've got two before me which one is it yeah um, right <laughs> hang on Hang on. Biggest carrot weight. Okay, so this is S. <laughs> so is that one? Okay, <laughs> the biggest carrot weight. Well, it's got to be that one. I'm going to say that's the one I was actually showing you. Yeah, more rounded in its color, in its actual shape. Beautiful, solid piece of type A natural jade. Size medium, which is an S, by the way. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. It, I mean, wow. I can't believe we're even managing to do prices no, like this. Fantastic. You know, Jade, these have never featured on our sister channel no, either. No, we're so lucky. We're so, lucky. so, so lucky. They're quite the envy, by the way, across the uh, across the Gemporia partnership. Um, and the reasoning for that is obviously Jade is, is incredibly rare. It's incredibly valuable. We wouldn't have, they would be minute, minute um, it wouldn't be a big enough supply, no. basically, for our next door channel. I can't believe we've got the Jade archer rings on today on my favorite thing so this is one of my favorite things um, what's the well, what's the story of the archer ring the, the archer ring is, is mainly worn by emperors again and they normally have it on your thumb finger it's yeah. when they were uh, doing archery or yeah you take a lot of strength and you have to sort of balance it on Oh, so it used to there. hook on to no it, it would protect you um, so you would have a big them. wide one yeah it, that I'm, I've got big, thick thumbs, right. So, the the arrow, the arrow would sit on that, so yeah. it, it wouldn't rub. Because these are hard-wearing, JD is so hard-wearing. Hard as hard steel? Yeah, you could just lean against that, and that just takes the sort of pressure off your thumb. If you were to get um, the sort of arrow here, after sort of shooting 100, this is going to sort of... you you'd be blistering oh, yeah. and you'd be going ow, ow, ow and then misfiring at someone. Whereas you've got this on, it's protecting it. it protects wow, it, so. unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Um, on the verge <laughs> of selling out, well done everybody. I've got two more of the archer rings. One, Ooh. oh my goodness me, I want this. How many have we got of these? 50. Wow, what size is the back one? Um, K, because it fits me. Oh, right. <clears throat> Very nice. I want this. Beautiful, isn't it? I just... That's gorgeous, isn't stunning. it? Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh, size P. Oh, it is beautiful, isn't it? Hang on. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a P. It is a P, okay. It is yes. a thick, all wow. natural type A jadeite. Look at that. Lovely. And that's a nice thick one, isn't it? It's beautiful. Look at that. Wow. And, and do you know, I did this when I was with Dave um, um, during one of his jade shows. And he was like, do you know what, though, Al? No disrespect, but the jade is far rarer. 
than the diamond. Than the diamond. Very true. Absolutely. Very true. Black jade. Oh yeah. my word! This is beautiful. You've got that wonderful checkerboard mm. faceting all the way around. <coughs> look at that. Remember, um, black jade should look and feel like silk. Yeah, which it does. It, they're just so comfortable to wear. Oh, I want this. I want to join you on this opportunity. I've got 50 of these available. 50 available. That is it. But they will absolutely, I'm just thinking, yeah, it probably would go on my thumb. Um, <laughs> they will absolutely still sell out. Good luck to each and every single mm -hmm. one of you wanting this. It's the, one of the only faceted jade archer rings that we've ever actually brought to wear. Mm -hmm. It's the only one I can actually bring you today. You, know, you said it a few moments ago, Susie. This is a gemstone which is as strong as steel. Absolutely. It's, it's tough as old boots, as they so say. So to facet, to facet jade... It, very, very hard. And to get the faceting spot on, because you could facet and then get to the other side where you're joining it and think, oops. Oh, no. <laughs> think, oops. I've only got half a diamond. Yeah. Oh, oh. They've, ha they've had to measure that. So the precision work on that. Oh. You know, they it's unbelievable. It is. It's not even stopping there. We're not even stopping there. I love it. I Beautiful. absolutely love it. You're liking this, aren't you, Stephen? This. You want this, he says. <laughs> I know, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It is Lovely. beautiful. And the reality is... The reality is very few jewellers around the world will be able to offer you an opportunity no. like this. No, exactly. 11 carats. This has surpassed all other colours of jadeite. It has gone through your lavenders, been passed through the blues, the reds, your moss in snows and your imperial greens. This takes three times longer than any other oh, colour of jadeite. Millions upon millions of years. And we're at 99.99. You can get this home today for what? 24.99 on your split pay. But yes, it is a different price point, but it absolutely should be yeah. a different price point because of the skill that goes into carving a gemstone like this. But what a lovely wedding band. If you were getting married, you know, and that was your wedding band, especially if you're a, a male as well. Mm. What a beautiful wedding band. Forget, forget your gold and your silver. Far more valuable. So much more history to it. Just so much more durable as well. Absolutely. So much more durable. My husband wears a titanium um, wedding ring because yeah. um, he goes to the gym quite a yeah. lot and obviously he likes, he likes training weights and things like that. But um, gold wouldn't last five no. minutes with him. Wouldn't last five minutes. Something like this would. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I would probably encourage him to take it off because it is still jade. But it's beautiful. It but it'll jade. be tough. It won't break. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Now, I've got one more to show you. And it's a stunning lavender colour. So, um, as with as with most of your gemstones, you know this is a delicate hue. It is a very delicate. Yeah, hue. Yeah. Well, I've got a lavender one there. Oh, uh, would you like to show yeah, that? Yeah. This is the lavender. I don't think I've got that one before me. Yeah. No. no we can show. Um, we can show our lovely yeah, Susie's. Yes, And if we if you get me a green one, you can show the difference. Show the difference. Show the difference. So that's a green mm. one, and then you've got the lavender. Oh, so, it, I mean, so it's, it's a real, isn't it? Yeah, and lavender. as you see, the lavender matches my fingernails, which is why I'm wearing these <laughs> fingernails. Oh, but isn't that beautiful? Yeah, so gorgeous. that's just to show you the colour. That is lavender. When they say lavender, it won't come as green. It'll come lavender. No, and it it is. It's quite a. It's quite. I don't distinctive know. Distinctive colour. It is beautiful. very distinctive. Very gentle. It's not purple. It no. is a very delicate. Hue, hue, isn't it's it? It's definitely a hue of lavender. Perfect definition for that. But love the colour. I love this green one as well. Amazing. They'd be lovely together, wouldn't they? Yeah. Worn together. Um, are we doing this now, Ross? Have you got one? Right, use mine. Use mine. Thank you. I'll wear this one temporarily. We can swap <laughs> for the time being. Oh. <coughs> love that one. The graphics are live. 12 carats. Oh, you can see it's just a very gentle, sort of bluey purple hue. You've still got that wonderful translucency. Yeah. This is the one that you've... If you've been admiring Susie's lovely hands when she's been demonstrating this and you've is, clocked yeah. the lavender jadeite ring, this is the one, This is it, This got. is the one, absolutely. I was so pleased with it when I got it. Oh, it's beautiful. How many do we have, Ross? 60. Yeah. There was originally 300, which is awesome. 
the final 60, Nicolette Jenny, Lancashire, Meath Ye May, Penny, Heather, SJ, Jocelyn, Lorraine, new customer. Can I just, just imagine my names at the bottom of that queue? Yeah. Because I'd love, uh, there's a couple of these I want to get today. And um, can I just say, my prediction, I know Dave uh, has given his prediction, my prediction for the most expensive jade will be the lavender. Any reason why? Because I just think it is a feminine colour. Yeah. And I think that is what, if, if you've got lots and lots of money and you think what uh, is the most attainable thing I would want if I was into jade i think i want the lavender yeah, it is it's beautiful. a beautiful feminine color it is beautiful so i see that one's like pink diamonds are probably the most expensive mm -hmm. at the moment aren't they? yeah and oh yeah without lavender doubt. i without think lavender is, good, well, is the future yeah I well think everyone will want lavender i definitely do even if we were to stop here, let's be realistic, Susie. Even if we were to stop here, if you were to work along, you'd, you'd probably have to go to something like Sotheby's or Bottoms, wouldn't yeah, you, to absolutely. actually source an archery? Absolutely. Lavender jade, as Dave was saying, is just so rare to find. Yeah. Um, it's not something that you're going to walk in and find on the high street. So if you get the opportunity and you can afford it, you know, this is why I went for the lavender jade first of all. When it came on, I thought, oh my word, I've got to have it. Um, because, you know, it's lavender jade, and mm -hmm. I'm thinking, I may never cut, they may never, well, I just don't think they'll bring them back. I think once these are gone, you know, yeah, well, we, 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 kind of, we kind of know that because, yeah. because of how challenging it is yeah. to cut, to carve. Yeah. You've just seen <clears throat> an amazing deal on the black jade. Yeah. We squeezed it under 100 pounds. Yes. We are going to do the same with this. It's rarer than the green colour. Yeah, so rare, so, yeah. so rare. You can get hold of this on your split pay. Goodness yeah. me. See, that's a fantastic a price. I can't believe it. No. I know. Why is yeah. there a clock ticking away? We could so easily close it no. here. That's not what we're about, though. If we can not offer you a better deal, that's absolutely what we will do. I might as well say goodbye to my opportunity of owning one of these. And there is yeah. a reason why this is the finale yeah. of your beautiful yeah. jade rings. Lavender is one of the yeah. rarest colours. Some, some even say the rarest. We had 300 of these originally. Yeah. Were well, they almost sold out? They almost sold out on that original launch. We're going to match that launch price. The final 60 today. That's it. You've said it, Susie. We Once don't think it's that... Gone, it's gone. Yeah, it would, it, um, it would be far too complacent of us to think that this was going to yeah, happen again. We have been so lucky. David and the team and Jake and the team have been able to, to get the jade that we've got, which has been absolutely stupendous in the yeah. quality. China's opening up, we're post-COVID now. Hong Kong, Thailand, all of the traders are back on and they're phoning up all the suppliers saying, here I am again. Oh, and our supplier when, actually when, approached us. Yeah, when Jake and Dave say, hi, remember us when we bought it? They say, oh, yes, well, you know, we've got, we, we've got relationships with all of these other dealers, so um, we've got to speak to them first. Cause, so when um, Jake and Dave say they may never be able to bring this again, I believe them because I know how, how, it, how it works. Well, Bernard has actually spoken to Dave, sent an email, we've shared it with you before, saying, ah, oh, buy it back, especially the fancy jade. Yeah. Um, and we're because like, no, I, you're I all right. Can, yeah. <laughs> no, you're yeah. all right, Bernard. No, we've I'll been buy so it back lucky. and we'll even buy it back at a premium and pay the yeah, shipping costs. Exactly. But we did turn the offer away. Um, 49, no, you saw my head fall into my hands then. No. Yeah, but... Lavender jade. There were sixty, did you say? Nineteen of these well are left. Well done. Honestly, fantastic, and it's they're just so comfortable to wear. They really are, aren't, aren't they? they? Really I just comfortable. love the colour. Well, I love your idea of having these as wedding bands. What a yeah, nice oh, idea. Yes, absolutely. Because that's a really ethereal like colour as well. Absolutely. And it? you've got the protection. You know, we, we talk about in, in the Far East, we, we wear it as protection as well. Um, because the jade through centuries, and even with Guatemala, it mm. has, th th they think it has magical power simply because of its uh, durability. And New Zealand. And New Zealand. Yeah. They revere it. Now, 
we forget we've all become very civilized and we've been educated and you know everything is show me the facts blah 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 back then they had this sixth sense that we seem to have lost. They know about mm. these stones. Yeah, I agree. And, and that is why the love of jade throughout all of the continents has gone on for millennia. And it, it will carry on. Even if, like I say, it's, even if you don't believe it, it's a beautiful, beautiful ring. It and really it's so is. Rare. It re it's so love rare. It's so rare. Um, unbelievable. Well, yeah, well done. done. I've only got nine of them left. Just so you know, in about how long? We've got one more auction, then we're cutting to a break. I, I, I'm, 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 no, I'm no you saying bolt, although you will see a cardboard cutout of L dashing through this, uh, uh, through this studio to go and get one of those. So if you yeah. don't check it out, I will. Yeah. Uh, hello to you, London. Thank you, JM and Dave Troth for enabling us uh, to own truly natural jade. Yeah. So blessed. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And London, you've just put, I totally agree with you there, and thank you for messaging. Um, you know, we have to be so careful. Yes. Well done, Francis. Yes. It's beautiful. It you really is. You will love it. You will love it. Mwah. You have to be so careful where you source jadeite from. Yes. You really, really, really do. And listen, I've been caught out before. Not, not with jadeite, because I've never dared buy it anywhere else. But mm. um, I've been caught out with a... Well, actually, uh, a it was, a, it was a, an amethyst and diamond ring. Or I thought it was. It wasn't either of those oh, things. Oh, wow. So, yeah, you, it, yeah. you, you do have to be really careful. Oh, right. Did yeah, I see what done. came out? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> and that's that one. There we are. Okay. <laughs> I did see what just came out. That was that was. <laughs> <laughs> see how I was. <laughs> like literally, or you were like, <laughs> no, like cat pouncing on that. <laughs> oh, I don't know if Susie's seen this. Oh, let me have a look. Have you seen Ooh. this? Ooh. You were watching at home. I then think. I think I've bought it. I've I've got every single one of them. Um, I haven't got my glasses two, on. Two, so. three. Four. How many dragons? Oh yeah, I've got this. Oh, it's beautiful. Nine. The it's nine the nine dragons. dragons. Yeah. It's so absolutely auspicious. enormous. Almost. This pendant. Yes. I, I this. had the privilege and honour of launching it alongside Dave. One of the and it goes back to that story, doesn't it? The it nine does. dragons and the uh, and the pearl. Yeah, absolutely. It's the most auspicious sign that you could ever have. I remember sitting at home watching, and my husband was sitting next to me, and I'm like, "Oh, I need it, I need it, I need it." And um, he said, "How much jade do you actually need?" Susie? All of it. And he was trying to talk me out of it, but I was just. He said, "Do you really want it?" And I said, "Yeah." He said, "Go on, just do it." Just. Then. But it's beautiful. And, and I said to my husband at the time, the reason I have to have this is because it has all the, I mean, the carving alone, fantastic. No. <laughs> 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 just repeat what Adam just, has just said what there. Adam just said in my ear, what? Your husband at the top. <laughs> like, no. I get so excited when I see Jade. I'm so sorry, everyone. But it's the most auspicious sign. The, jade, the carving alone is off the planet and it is the most auspicious to have all nine dragons and there and they all are the um the beautiful pearl as well there it's they all are how it's, could you not have that in your life i know it's absolutely incredible we're showcasing the translucency of um of your jadeite that. here that's why we literally have beautiful. just a mobile phone before you uh, behind uh, the jadeite which is totally natural type a you see the layers within I it know. as well don't you <laughs> because just when you think oh, okay there's one dragon then you go oh there's the other dragon exactly. just down there's here so much there's the to other it. dragon hang on just here there's the other dragon just above it and above it and above it. it's just incredible and here you're seeing it sort of 40 times the size yeah of the intricacy when you get it home it's much obviously it's, I mean it's a big piece but you'll realize that the carving how they managed to do it I know it's a, it's incredible now this is a, one of the biggest carvings uh, carrot weights that we've ever 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 brought to air and I have to tell you the attention to detail in this is absolutely yeah or inspiring i mean if you get close you can see we're well we are right up close but you can see even down to the detailing here look at this look at that, look at that. The, the back of the dragon just here look at that for the scales the scales look at it. it's incredible look, look look at the i don't know do you call them tentacles the horns horns yeah tentacles <laughs> sorry i'm not up to, i'm not up to speed on my dragons <laughs> But look at that detailing. It's beautiful, isn't it? The carving, 
And can you see that water effect there? It looks like it's, it's just starting to melt, doesn't it? It looks like you've taken it out of the freezer and it's just started to defrost. Oh, my goodness. That's what quality jade's all about. Absolutely. And again, to go back to what we were saying, Susie, I, I, listen, I love jade. I've always admired jade, but it was never one of those that really pulled on my heartstrings. Yeah. And the only reason why was because I hadn't ever experienced, experienced this quality. Absolutely. This when level you of quality. See, yeah, and this is why, you know, I you know, can't thank Jake and Dave enough for being able to source this because as soon as I saw the first piece, mm. I've been on a mission to collect them all. Oh, if I could, if I could hold the jade that was uh, uh, that that was in the shops that I worked at some 23 years ago, almost 24 years ago, you would literally see, and that was two and a half thousand pounds yeah. then. You would go, oh my goodness, gosh, they're worlds apart. Yeah, worlds, worlds apart. apart. We're at 499 pounds yeah. for your beautiful nine dragons carved both sides. Look at the level yeah. of intricacy. Look at him. Look at that. The teeth. You can literally see his teeth. Yeah. Every Every millimetre, this one's impressive, isn't it? Every millimetre that you look at within this pen, uh, within this carving, master carving, just awe-inspiring, isn't it? Mm. Hello, London. Hello, Janice. I have this piece, and it is yes, our perfect word. It? Magnificent. It is. That is a perfect word. It is. It is magnificent. Mm. You know, if you think about Chinese history... The dragon yeah. has to be one of the most The symbolic. most auspicious sign. You know, you get the uh, Chinese New Year. You yeah. get the dragon dance, don't you? All in the yes. parading in the street. You know, you get them for the sky, the waterways. They, they represent everything, the, the, the celestial skies, the heavens. And Dave and was saying auspicious. you never see an entirety of a dragon. Um... Well, you do in the dragon dance. Yeah, like, no, no, but like uh, in history, apparently oh, yeah. you said nobody ever saw the entirety oh, no, of the dragon. Because it was so, so big. Yes, yeah, so huge and, yeah. And magnificent, as Janice yeah. says. This, uh, it's a work of art. It really is a work of Love art. It. it literally... I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked by something like this. Yeah. I mean, you're carving a gemstone here, which is harder than steel and it's not a case of you know this is literally done in the same way as yeah. they used to do many many years ago in an abrasive Absolutely. form absolutely because it's so tough this is the, the, one of the uh you know not the four c's but is the equivalent of is artistry and craftsmanship and yeah craftsmanship because it is so difficult to carve into um, you imagine trying to create all of that depth because it has depth when you put the light behind it, it you it becomes 3D. Well, you've got you've got a print, you've got a f basically a, a totally different piece of art yeah. on either side. side. I know how clever it's amazing. Is that? Look at the split pay: thirty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only for your yeah. nine dragons. Again, yes, it is drilled. If you wanted to use that to wear it as a finished pendant, if you want. Yeah. But for me, these are works of art. These are yeah. th this is heirloom. This is this ultimate is... legacy. This is the things. These are the kind of moments that I I purchase knowing that I can pass them on to my Absolutely. children. Absolutely, these are heirloom pieces without a shadow of a doubt. Wow. And, um, yeah, this but, is what I'm doing. These are, this but, is for my own collection. I'm not intending to sell these. These are no, same, same, except, same, same. My husband said, "Let's move forward when we're old." Uh, <laughs> then you're going to have to part with yeah. it, then, Susie. By the time, <laughs> um, okay. Well done. Oh my word! Fantastic. Oh my word! Ooh. You've probably clocked them already. Look at the size on these pearls. Look, wow, they're huge. They're enormous. Okay, remember, on your marks, get set, go, because Elle is about to go and get her phone because there's too many good deals today yeah. that I can't, I don't want to miss, uh, pass up. These are coming up, and there's wow. a possibility that we'll be able to bring you red type AJ. <gasps> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. Well, I told you it was going to be an amazing Friday show. <sighs> and we've still got so much more to bring you. Red jadeite, the biggest pearls I think I've ever seen. That beautiful labradorite, and Susie and her masterclass. Yes, coming up at twelve. Twelve o'clock. Honestly, it's it, it's completely jam packed. So look at that for a lineup. Seriously. I could spend out five hours just talking about those three. I could. And I think, Susie, you could as well. Absolutely. I love those pearls. Me too. They're Absolutely gorgeous. They're, They're massive. Mahoosive. Mahoosive. Probably Mahoosive. one of the biggest strands that we've ever actually brought. And I know they are limited, though, because of, given the size. But I'm going to start <clears throat> by talking about the red jade. The pearls are coming up. The labyrinth is coming up. The masterclass is coming up. But let's go, because I only have a handful of these left literally a handful when we first launched red jade here at jewelry maker and I, again it was a real honor to be on that show alongside dave troth 
I bought a few of these. In fact, the only reason I did was because Susie got yes. them for me. And, and then I had to pay. <laughs> did you? Did you? <laughs> I don't blame you. What I, for me, you said you love the lavender. I'm a real yeah. fan of the red. I know. I love the, I love the, all the colours. I love the, the rare jade um, colours, like the red, the black, the yeah. lavender, because I just see that as, like that. I can't say the word, but I just see that. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As in something that may be going upwards. Yes. Yeah, an yes. incline, possibly. Exactly. Yeah, no, 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 totally, 100%. So let's just explain quickly. Um, this is totally natural. It is not jadeite, which has then been dyed. Um, there are very, very, very rare occasions, and we've shown you slides before, certainly over at sort of Tucson and different gem fairs and different auction houses, if you like. Um, you'll have what we describe as the skin, but rare, rare areas within a very small proportion, if any at all, within a jadeite boulder will actually have a natural fancy colour. Yeah. So you just mentioned pink diamonds. Yeah. You know, this is in, this is in those echelons, isn't Absolutely. it? We're talking real rarity. We're talk fancy colours. Because what puts the price up of any gemstone? Supply and yeah. demand, rather demand. Uh, and also the supply. Well, mm -hmm. if you've got a gemstone that is rare, so there's a low supply, but you've got a high demand, that is just economic. People, well, that's it, because you've got collectors, certainly when you consider that this is the biggest gemstone in exactly. in, 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 uh, in um, Eastern countries, exactly. but now also demand from the West. Absolutely, and you've got, with the uh, change in the reformist government there, a lot of Chinese have become very wealthy. Mm -hmm. A lot have moved abroad. Yep. And like every generation, you and I are the same, we like our we want our own identity. We don't want what mum was wearing. This is why pearls have got a resurgence in the design. Yeah. Um, and it's the same with jade. The classic uh, imperial green that we talk about, which is off the chart and beautiful. But the new rich Chinese and Japanese and Koreans, they're thinking, mm, I want something rarer and different. So what are they going to go to? They're going to go to black. Black. Honestly, oh. it's, the, it's a universal colour. That's going for for men. I just see, you know, that's what they're going to wear. Red, lavender, absolutely. Oh. I, think, I love the green, but I can get that any time. But you want something that is almost unattainable. And that's this. That yeah. is this. I mean, because I, I don't know if we've got the time to do it right now, but we've certainly shown you slides where uh, conversations, which were literally. Really? Sorry, Ross has just said in my ear, we're going to do a better than half price deal. Really? Lower than launch? For the, just because we've got 18 left. We don't have to clear something like this out. We could literally have this made up into a finished piece of jewellery and put it in the Arthur Ivy collection, in our gemstone museum that, I, that Susie and I sit before. Yeah. You know? Um, uh, Ross, can you circle this as well? I have got, I have got this strand. Worth every penny. There's no other red jade strands in the business. To be honest, there's no other red jade strand in the partnership, Ross. Is that our lovely Wayne? Wayne? We, you know, we don't need to clear this out. <laughs> okay. Desperate Wayne. sound of no. No. Wayne, no. have you got any red jade on order? Yeah. Wow. Well, there we go. Wow. One piece, he says, in November. That is it. This is, uh, is that a strand? Is it like this? Okay. Smaller, he says. Smaller than this. But that is it. That's all the red type, uh, type A jade. Completely and utterly natural. There are seven of these left. I'm already shopping today. I might as well add this into my yeah. order as well. Oh, my goodness. I own this because, purely because our lovely Susie was watching whilst I was on her. And I was like, Susie! Get me Literally it. a desperate <laughs> Because screen. it was selling out, it, honestly... I haven't regretted it. I loved it so much. When I, when I got it, I, I did my happy dance. You know what? I haven't made anything with mine yet. No, you don't. You, that's the beauty of it. Get it. You can keep it for years and not make anything with it. Just admire it. I've, I've made a couple of pieces with it. I've just added, like, the odd gem. I've, I've treated it with the, sort of the respect. So I've mixed it in with my white jadeite. 
and it goes beautiful. I've just picked up my order from last week for the four mil black jadeite because I'm going to be putting um, black jadeite in between the red jadeite oh. and then with the white jadeite. And you just use it sparingly. So one strand will last a lifetime. Well, because of that colour, it's such yeah. an intense... It's a, yeah. such an intense, it's almost like a, a tangerine red though, isn't yeah. it? Not like a pillar box red, yeah. a tangerine red. Absolutely, oh. and red jade dye is oh. not the colour of like your rubies or your garnet red. So if you go um, online and you can see red jade and it looks it is like this cherry color. blossom, it's fake. Yeah, red this jade is, this is natural. looks though. like this. Because what happens in the boulder, because it forms through the skin as Dave was saying, and it sits Ugh. in sort of where there is a high content of iron. And so it's the iron that colours the jadeite over millions of years. So you get this lovely, intense, sort of orangey, burnt red. Look at those together. Beautiful. I know, it's so... One auction's time, absolutely massive. They're huge. Huge. I think they're the biggest. The I've biggest seen. I've seen. Yeah. Hands down, hands down. Absolutely. Not yet, but coming up. But how beautiful does it look alongside your red jade? I'll tell you a story on the when we get to the white. Now, I have one more natural red jade opportunity. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, one second, borrow my sheets of paper. Just because for you to really appreciate the colour... I'm going to put it against the white background, which is what would happen if you were in, if you were buying these from Sotheby's or if you were buying these from Bonhams or any of those places, Hatton Garden. That's how they would present them to you. Hello, Emma. Hi, ladies. Are there any red jade donuts, please? Oh. Uh. Emma. You actually get ten. They're the smaller donuts. Look at that colour. How many do we have of these then, Roscoe? 50 available. Do you know what? A round, brilliant cut diamond, which is going to be about three mil, three millimetres, dropped in the centre. You've just made ultimate luxury jewellery. Literally, and then prong set that. Oh, my word. That is high, high-end jewellery. Um, Drop a diamond in the centre. Absolutely. I've got, I've bought two sets of this. I just absolutely love them. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet, but I just thought it's red jadeite. I've got to get them. Yeah, Whatever it doesn't matter, does Dave it? Dave Tross has been bringing to air, I've been buying it because I just think it's magnificent. And the colour is beautiful. As I say, it goes beautifully with the other jades. Yeah. Does that work? You get the yeah. idea, don't you? You get the idea. Lovely. It's got one it? diamond in the centre. Obviously, it's going to be much more visible. Yeah. Oh, my word, a full parcel, completely and utterly natural. Beautiful, beautiful donuts. Um, hope, yeah, hope you managed to get hold of yours, Emma. These are the only red donuts that we actually have. We didn't have any of the bigger sizes in red, did we? No, no. It was, uh, yeah, it was only actually in, uh, in the smaller sizes. Again, it would never to be complacent. Yeah. This is red jadeite. It's so hard to find a boulder big enough to get that width of a gemstone in the first place. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, here we are, 10 pieces, completely natural, certified, red jadeite. That's, that's working out at £24 each. A parcel of red jadeite. Oh, no. Beautifully, beautiful. Everyone will be different. All will have that amazing colour. You won't believe, you won't believe just how affordable we're about to bring this parcel to you. And it's not just one, it's all 10 of them. Ten pounds each. Fantastic. Ten pounds each. Just pop a head pin through it, like a featherweight, oh. or and just roll it um, about four times till it hits the end, and then you've got then like a spacer. Then you've got it as a spacer, and you can add that to your jewellery. Um, I've been uh, using those for um, like a little flower on a jade bracelet, and then hanging a chain off. So I've used that as the flower piece. Gorgeous. Put, put it through a head pin and then make it into a study. That's earring. ten pairs of earrings. That's ten pairs. Yeah. Sorry, five pairs. Yeah. Of uh, 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 of beautiful. Five, simple math, Sal. Come on. Um, five <laughs> pairs of absolutely gorgeous natural yeah. Taipei 
red jade eye earrings. Yeah. I, do you know, this is another one of those examples where I'm going to jump on that bandwagon. I don't know if Wayne is still in the studio, in the gallery. Is he gone? He has gone. We need to be selling gold head pins because that's yes. exactly what I would be putting yes. through this. It would be an 18 karat gold. And I know they cost more money. Of course yeah. they do. But one 18 karat gold or nine if you want. Mm. Nine karat gold class uh, head pin through the center, butterfly back, job done. You've just made uber yeah. high end jewelry. Yeah. And you would charge, I hope at least, way more than what's on your screen. Absolutely. Full red jade earrings. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Amazing. Well done, well done, well done. But it is time. Oh my goodness me. For many years, many years, I have always said here on screen, live, on air, that one of our greatest achievements, I think, here at Jewelry Maker is our pearls. I think, and Caroline, awesome Caroline, is, uh, uh, is, is our pearl buyer. Um, <laughs> I do think we buy pearls incredibly, oh, incredibly yeah. well. But there are, as with any gemstone, there are always some which are rarer than others. We've spoken about naturally coloured pearls, of course. Spoken about South Sea and Akoya and Tahitian and Edison. Um, and we've spoken about the five virtues, which I'll briefly skim over right now. When it comes to a pearl, these are the virtues that determine the value, and it's basically the same as your four Cs in a diamond or a sapphire or an emerald or a ruby. Firstly, it's all right, you have size. That's the first thing that they mention. How big is that pearl? Then you have the shape. Gone are the days of us only wanting perfectly spherical pearls. Then we have your nacre, how thick that nacre is, which also results, leads into the, I haven't mentioned color, but color. But the nacre leads into the next, the luster. Because generally speaking, the thicker the nacre, the more lustrous your pearl. But of all those virtues, Size is the first thing that they mention, and I have never seen pearls as big as these. They're not simulated, they're not faux, they are genuine, but they are limited. Are we doing it as a star buy? Oh, they should be a star buy. Yeah. They're absolutely we, massive. Not surprising, don't have enough. No, not at all. Yeah. Seriously, look at that. 12 exist. They are gigantic, honestly. Um, I, I've never seen pills this size. Each and every single one of these pills will have been housed by one single mollusk. And those mollusks, by the way, it's always quite staggering. If you think about maybe the... Um, um, uh, the, uh, the black lip oyster, for example, in Tahiti uh, for, the, for the Tahitian pearls and maybe the South Sea pearls, mm. they can be as big as literally almost uh, as big as a, a serving plate. Yeah. Enormous. Each and every single one of these pearls will have been housed by one single mollusk. And every one of those mollusks will have been nurtured and cared for for years. Yeah. Growing it as a, as a baby. Maturing it yes. first. Mm -hmm. Growing maturing the mollusk. Absolute, making sure it's fine and then it's journeying to becoming a mum. Unbelievable. I've never seen these sizes. Huge, 22 millimetres. I think some are bigger than that. Yeah. Why, what, 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 what does it say? Why, is it, why have we got close-out deal for something of this size? Oh, wow. You've also heard myself, Carol, Dave, Susie, everybody on our screens also talk about the fact that so, to bring you a strand like this, because strands aren't out there at the moment, yeah. they're, not, they're not accessible, and that's because it's not financially viable to put them on one necklace. And I know this is going to lead into what you're about to say. Yeah, you know. Because, you, yeah, you know, that... It's a good price. ...is an amazing price that point. It's a good price. You'd sell them individually, wouldn't you? I would. And I just want, before I just tell you how much I sell these for and i do my husband is witness to this um the we're talking about the nacre mm -hmm. um the colors that i can see that you will get when you get home you've got the beautiful pink pinks um greens blues oranges turquoises lavenders i see all of that on the 
on the over, it's what they call overturn yeah. because of the nacre and the luster that you get. It's absolutely brilliant. Our cameras aren't picking those up. I can no, see it's always here. very difficult to but show through the, the screens. Oh my the word! The quality of the pearls is magnificent. Now, these are one, one <gasps> of my favourite type of pearls. I recently sold a pearl of this size for four hundred and fifty pounds. One, it. and I just put a sterling silver bale on it. That was it. No quibble on price. Because you just when you're selling these, is you just tell the history of how mm. rare they are, how everyone is different, that the one you've got, will there will never be anyone <coughs> else in the world that will have anything And similar. they're a massive investment to the they pearl are farmers, aren't they? Because absolutely. at the end of the day, they'll literally love and nurture those mollusks. Yeah. They're treat, treated like little yeah. celebrities, yeah, aren't they? absolutely. Uh, filter the waters, etc., etc. Um, and, and it's not always a given that that, that mollusk is going to produce a pearl. No, exactly. And this is the most... We had a slide earlier where they were talking about, you know, the perfect uh, pearl would be round, and they said, except... Where you get yeah, that, that, well, we can show that, because this is Ex something the GIA is actually yeah. from. So, um, can we, yeah, GIA, yeah. I've shared this with you before, oh. the GIA quality, uh, pearl quality factors. Look at the lovely picture on the front. Beautiful. Amazing, amazing luster on those pearls as well. But if I click forward, uh, is it this slide? No, shape. The way it starts talking about the shape, Ross. There we go. There shape. We go. Yeah. Round yeah. is the most difficult shape to culture, making it the rarest cultured pearl shape. And if all of the factors are equal, also generally the most valuable. There are exceptions, though. A well-formed pear, oval, or baroque, which is the irregular shapes yeah. that we're offering you right now. Cultured pearls are also prized by pearl lovers. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this baroque shape is the most popular and again we're talking about supply and demand because they're very rare and people want them the price goes up and these have just skyrocketed these are seeing a, a, a ridiculous Susie, price you the and i have seen uh, uh, see pearls on a regular basis yeah, how often do you see pearls this size very rarely i mean for them to get to that blue size, moon yeah literally once in a blue moon do you remember the, um, is it the, which was the one owned by um, Elizabeth Taylor and... La Pellegrina. Mary, the Pellegrina. £25 million. Pounds that Susie, sold well, it makes 999 a drop in the ocean, doesn't yeah. it? And especially, as I tell you, we're not even stopping there. There are, or no. rather, were 12 of these available. I'm going to count them for yeah. you as well. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Mm, wow. How, and you sold, you sold the... 450 for this size pearl as a one-off. Just And all I put was a, a bale on the top. That was it. It looks, I tell you, you, because they're on a strand, you forget how beautiful they are. And I put that into a um, presentation box. And honestly, you know when we do the reveal mm -hmm. to the client, the uh, reveal, it was like, oh, my word, Su yes. Susie, and they in said, Tucson, are you sure that's all you want for it? Susie, in Tucson, they sell these individually. Yeah, and that's how you buy them yeah, normally. They, they, they were sold well individually. Show. I went into this amazing, amazing room pearl supplier yeah. that was that had managed to make it there and managed to bring pearls like this, and they were literally individually cased. Look how big they are. Oh, my goodness. Are you ready? Wow. There are well how many? Done. Nine. Eight. Wow. Just set, I would sell them individually. You can put it on a strand, but I, I would say... Yeah, I agree. Really sell them it's individually. It's all personal choice, but yeah. yeah, I agree. Madness. Madness for that price. These are the biggest pills I think I've seen. Wow. Ever. Just sell ever, them ever. for that. I was just going to say, let's be silly and say, just sell them for £300 each. That's just round. How much did I count? 14. 14. Oh, my word. There's too many digits for me to work You that. don't want to sell them any less than that because you, otherwise they'll think they're fake. Do you want to know how much this is costing each per pearl right now? How much? £21. Ridiculous. £21. I'm just going home. Pounds. I'm going home. £21 wow, pounds per. Good. They're massive. The biggest I've oh, wow. seen. Um, just beautiful. And, and they've got all those virtues. And they have. And the quality. The beautiful luster. You can't see it here. I can see it. Honestly, take Flashes of it. gold, blues, Beautiful. greens. It's amazing. Um, loving those. Down to the final four. Well done, Lynn, Eileen, Valentina. Hello to you, West Midlands, Virginia, Karen, Melanie and Jenny. You've got yours. Well, well done. done. They well are done. truly Worth beautiful. Worth it. Truly well beautiful. done. Eileen, you've got yours as well. Yeah. I've only got three. I've got intro. Yeah. Ooh, who was that who's just got one? Uh, was that Karen or Virginia? Virginia. 
Yeah. Uh, Melanie in Suffolk, I can see you're there as well. I've got two left, two wow. left. Oh my goodness, we're so yeah. over allocated. Yeah. Uh, Lynn in Lancashire, well done to you. I've got Kerry, Surrey, Cumbria, West Midlands. Cornwall's there as well. Oh, Joan is with us wow. as well. Hello to you, Joan. I can see you on those phone lines. I'll leave it with you because, yeah, there is. we are actually over allocated yeah. on that but one. Don't well undersell done. them. Do not undersell them because you've got, it's like having a pot of gold and someone's trying to uh, say, you know, I'll give you a bag of potatoes for them. You'd say no, because you know the value, and that's the same. I don't even know if I could part with those. No, you know? it's so beautiful. I would cut them individually. I, I would actually have them all individual so that you could look at them. Yeah, beautiful. amazing. Well done, everybody. Congratulations, Kerry. Yeah. I can see you got yours as well. Well done. Uh, <clears throat> amazing, truly beautiful. Now, we have your masterclass coming up, but right now, something we don't see very often, firstly, this gemstone was voted by you on uh, repeated years, actually, as your favourite, and that is the magic of labradorite. But beyond that, though, we've taken it one step further. You've got rosary-linked labradorite up next. Awesome, awesome. Look at this, Susie. Beautiful. Oh, it was winking, you know, when we had it on the strand uh, first thing this morning. It was at like, cool, oh, Rodney, yeah. at cool. Like going, hello. <laughs> ooh. It was. Ooh. If it could speak, it'd be going, ooh. <laughs> hello. Look, hey. It was, it would. It totally would. All right, maybe I was eyeing it up then. It was the other way round. But you could. <laughs> but when I was looking across, I couldn't take my eyes off it. I was thinking, oh, that looks. Like now that. you know, rosary linking is a technique that we've demonstrated on air lots of times. Yep. It's a technique that we can, you know, learn actually. Yeah. Um, it's lovely, we're and, and new. lovely to do, but it's time consuming. Yeah, it, it is. is time consuming, especially if you want to get that consistency. consistency. Yeah, and you've now, got to make sure that you've got all the wires that don't catch on anything. So it, it, once you've done it, you have to go then through and just tighten everything so up. So something like this, which is what, 50 centimetres? Yeah. It's going to take a while. It is. Now, I'm used to rosary linking, so it'd probably take me about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. If I was way, way back when I started rosary linking, after about 45 minutes, I might get that much done. So... Oh, this would take me probably a day. Yeah. So... <laughs> if, if, not, if not longer, sorry. It's, it's very time consuming. And uh, there's that. So, yeah. yes, it's a big investment of your time. But yeah. also, you've got to purchase the sterling silver wire. Absolutely. And you need to purchase the labradorite cubes. As well. Many people believed, again, history and legend and all things chakra that we're talking about yeah. today, believed that this was the aurora borealis trapped within a gemstone. Yeah. Discovered in Labrador, like hence the name, um, in Canada. Um, a local warrior was walking along the sandy shores and saw those beautiful flashes, the spectrums of colours on a rock. Apparently he swung down his sword and released the aurora borealis into the sky. The reality is, it was this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, genuine gemstone. And it has mesmerised the world for so many years. But how much would you expect to? Remind me, Ross, what are you taking this to? Wow. Okay. So yeah, this question absolutely applies. How much would you expect to pay for labradorite, 48 carats of labradorite of this quality in a strand? And then secondly, how much would you expect to pay for the sterling silver wire? And then how much would you expect to pay someone to rosary link it for absolutely. you? Absolutely. When you think that people charge 20 pounds per knot, and yeah, so, say if we halve that, so ten pounds. Is that the rate now for knotting? Yeah. Twenty pounds. Yeah. To, to Do get you know, knotted, back in the day, yeah. it used to be four. Yeah. When I was gone in. up, it's, it's really to restrand. It's almost you're paying quite a lot of money to restrand a uh, strand of pearls. Wow. Yeah. Twenty pounds a knot. So yeah, well, rosary linking probably is even yeah. harder. Yeah. But I'm saying cut that in half. <laughs> yeah. Ten pound. Uh, yeah. For the, for the your time. The graphics are live. 
Just literally attach a clasp, away you go. You've just made yourself some beautiful jewellery. Imagine these. Again, I've, shown, I've done this before when we actually had the sapphire, rosary link sapphire. Um, we've also actually had it in multicoloured gemstones. More recently, I actually bought a rosary link linked one with the enamel, which oh. I thought was really cool. And it'd be nice I'm going to make it yeah. into an anklet. Oh, wow, yes. Yeah, really lovely. nice. And it's got, like, chakra colours. Yeah. Imagine these as lovely opera length like uh, mm -hmm. style earrings. Uh, or, or tennis style bracelets so much potential mm -hmm. how many do we have of these available 150 we've never to my knowledge anyway i haven't seen cubes in the rosary link no styles. i haven't and i haven't seen it in labradite no lovely i just not recently really anyway. drawn to this it's beautiful and when you had it around your decolletage it was sparkling it was doing you know we we're talking about winking at you it was winking at told us you, all. See, told you adam it yeah, was it winking, was winking. you saw it there it was winking at you everyone how pretty is that <laughs> and that's so quick because you just get the length you want and just cut the bottom one off. It's so beautiful, isn't it? The more, the more, the more movement, the better. Yeah. yeah. Shall we? Shall we start this uh, this auction? Get it root. Get it rolling, shall we? Because the next price point is not where we're closing. But it's going to start giving you a bit of an indication of how low we can take this. The time, the rarity, the beauty and the quality of your labradite. The skill that goes into rosary linking. The luster, the value that is uh, contained within, yeah, I know, uh, within your sterling silver wire. We're at £19.99, 50 centimetres or 20 inches, whichever, you are, uh, whichever one you prefer, um, of gemstone and precious metal. And we are not stopping there. Oh, yes, Susie. Tassels. Yes. Wouldn't that be a beautiful tassel? A quirky tassel. tassel, but yeah, really good. Look at that. Look at that, yeah. Really contemporary tassel. Love oh, it. Tassel. Oh, no. Just have it as a tassel necklace. Make a necklace and up here and made one here. Look, just pretend it was labradorite like that. Oh. You know, I love it. I love a tassel. Beautiful. So just imagine that labradorite. Imagine this part. Yeah. It's labradorite. It. Labradorite. Oh. At that length. We're not even stopping there, though, Susie. Yep. £20, 19.99. The phone lines have lit up. Well done for dialing nice and early, and congratulations to you, that, uh, those of you that have already confirmed. Yeah, I know that you can rosary link. Um, oh, anklet. Oh, oh yes. These would be so pretty in an anklet. Yeah. I know many of you can already rosary link, but so, frankly, sometimes it's like those ready-made macrame bracelets yeah. that we brought to wear not so long ago. Yeah, exactly. like, I know most of you can macrame, yeah. but if you can't, or even if you can, sometimes yes. it's not worth your while. Yeah, I, like something like this. No one's going to give you extra brownie points and say, I uh, rosary link that myself. They're not going to say, oh, wow. No, it's my mum. <laughs> my mum always used to say to me, uh, and I know some people disagree with this, but I will say it. Mum's, mum always used to say, Elle, life's too short to make pastry. Yes, and I agree. It's like <laughs> I don't know if anybody get those uh, those unless foods you enjoy it that you can that they give you the exact amount to make everything. Well, we get quite a few of those, and it comes with the rice. And I'm thinking, darling, forget the rice. I've got microwavable. Yes, <laughs> and that's this is it. Life's very short, it's, isn't it? I mean, it's, I, listen, I'm not saying you have to go by that yeah. rule, of course, but sometimes it's not worthwhile doing. Yeah. Because it, you wouldn't be able to buy the Labradite and the Sterling Silver and factor in your time, time. for £14.99. And make it better pence. than that. No, no. Yeah. How, many, how many we had? How many? How wow. many 150? Had. Half the stock has gone already. Well done. Uh, Rosalie, hello to you, Valentina, Mary and Jerry, Dahlia, Tynaway, Jeanette, Pat, Valerie, Beverly, hello to you, West Sussex, Nicolette, Jennifer, uh, Genoifa, hello to you, Lynn, Helen, uh, Patricia, Gabby, hello to you, Virginia, Jan, uh, Jenny, Carola, Lancashire, Corinne, Erica, hello to you, lovely Sue, Barbara, Hilda, I can't keep up, Carolyn Kent, well done, London, Janet, there is a queue on the phone lines, and if you've got quantities, USA and UK, by the way. If you've got quantities in your basket, don't just leave it there. 150 might seem like a lot. It's not. It's definitely, definitely not. Oh, use your wire guardians that we had earlier on. Absolutely. But I would Magnetic make a clasp. three stranded necklace. And if I had some rounds of Labradorite, if you wanted to keep it all in the same family, and then just put a chain around there and then oh, yeah. three strands. How pretty is that? That'll take you 10 minutes. Yeah. 
beautiful. Instead of like three hours. Yeah, it's a big difference, yeah. isn't it? Big difference. Um, well done. Make sure you check out your baskets. I'm going to leave that one with you. This auction is very much underway. Beautiful kits. And again, we're going to put the cherry on the proverbial cake for all things Marla. Um, talking about tassels, but tassels of difference. Um, so join lovely Susie and I after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay.
Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. It's beautiful Susie. Demo. Everybody should have a little dose of Susie in their life. Totally. For about two seconds. No. Look. My dad always used to say, quoting Mr. and Mrs. B now, aren't I? Don't ever retract people's compliments. Oh, okay. Thank you. There you go. <laughs> I, will, I want a dose. I just live with my husband who's thinking, <laughs> freedom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we, at nine o'clock, we, we were demoing um, sort of knotting and the techniques absolutely. of, of Marla. Now, that's Marla, but also could be pearl knotting as well. It, absolutely. Knotting for anything. So anything. Pearl knotting. So I've taught um, sort of the art of knotting. And I'm going to go through knotting today because it's about Marla's and these kits are Marla's. This morning's show, I showed an alternative way of doing a mala, so mm -hmm. a completely different way. Don't this you know one you. is going to be your traditional oh. mala. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Can't quite reach it. Thank yeah. you, Susie. There you go. These are your kits, basically. Yeah, which yeah, are but fantastic. carry on. I didn't want to interrupt you. So, um, again, just to recap, a mala is a, means garland, and traditionally, and the, the ones I've made today consist of 108 spacer beads. Now, traditionally, again, uh, you would have three marker beads. What is a marker bead? A marker bead is a, a breather. You know when I was saying about uh, past, present, future? Um, it's just to give you a break. It might be that you, you will use it for meditating. And how you meditate is, let me get this one. You hold it in your left hand and you um, literally go round the mala. So you're holding the um, the guru bead. You and just the, need to move you that way a little bit. That's the, all right. That's it. There, there you, you go. can see me. And you would then take each bead and you literally, because we're just meditating, we're not going to do prayers or chants, we're just breathing in because this is about relaxing, lowering your blood pressure. So you touch a bead, breathe in, move to the next one. As you're moving along, breathe out then. Breathe in again out move along breathe in and breathe out and already can you see how quiet it is and how lovely it is now you might say i've only got 10 minutes worth because i've got to pick up the children so make a marla that just has say 10 minutes worth so why i just put markers every sort of nine or mm. ten so that you know well, that i can carry on for another minute and the markers act act as sort of breaks to say, now if I need to break off, for the Tibetan monks it was, now I change my uh, mantra to something else. But for you it might be, that's it for the day, um, that's all I, I've got time for. You might have a whole hour that you can devote to uh, meditating, so you could do it on a whole necklace. But you might only be able to do it sort of a few minutes at a time. So this is why I've designed uh, the pink um, rose one. Oh, that's so beautiful so as well. I've put marker beads at every nine because you might say, I haven't got an hour to spend. I've got three kids, two dogs. I've got you can do it in the bath, can't exactly. you? Exactly. Mm. So it just gives you like a little time out. So they're just like markers to say, Do you want to stop now? Do you want to carry on? Do you want to stop? Do you want to carry on? So, as well as it just being a, a necklace. So that's how marlas work, apart from being really, really decorative pieces. You've got your guru bead. When I said about a guru bead, it can be a round bead, it can, but it's normally oh. a bigger bead than um, your other beads. Yeah. And then we finish off with a tassel. Traditionally, it's been a tassel, but it doesn't have to be. We've got some beautiful, beautiful jade carvings. And I would personally put one of those carvings at the bottoms. And I think I've done necklaces and marlas where I've just put that as, a, um, as the equipment for a tassel. Now, I bought in a few because traditionally, again, and in the kits, we have these lovely silk um, oh, tassels, tassels. They are included. Which in are the kit. beautiful. And I've made the necklace mm -hmm. using it, and I'm going to do the demo using it. But I just wanted to show you some examples, if I move this out of the way a minute, of different types of tassels because the world's your oyster <laughs> with. Um, tassel. So I've got one here that's a chain and at the bottom I've just put some other beads because this was a jade one. Here I've used pearls which are my personal favourite and when I get the opportunity I always do pearls and at the bottom here I've done a little, again, a little variation there. And other ones can be, um, let me see, this is another 
pearl one here where I've just used pearls all the way along and then just use one at the bottom that's slightly different. Or you can do these ones, which I'll show you how to make because somebody actually asked me. You can make a chain one and just put your beads at the bottom and they just make beautiful tassels. As I say, if I hold it up, look how pretty is that? So, how you make these ones very quickly? Well, should, could, could we just do the kit? Oh yes, absolutely. Um, Sorry. Because all of these lovely colours, these lovely necklaces that Susie, and then you, you've got yeah. as much time as you want then. Lovely, thank um, you. So that beautiful, beautiful Mookite necklace um, was created out of these awesome kits. Um, the only one I don't think you had was the, the aquamarine. Aquamarine, yes, I wasn't sent that one. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Yes, so we don't have that one, but imagine the pink one is a blue one. Yeah, it'd be basically the same. I mean, the colourway would work. Yeah, exactly. Well. I love that, yeah. the contrast. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're going to start with the aquamarine, and these are literally little mini kits. They are, they are perfect. Oh my word. You get your word. tassel, you get your guru bead. So there's the tassel that you were just showing. Oh, it's a lovely tassel, too, isn't it? Yeah. I They're couldn't really make a tassel like tassels. that. I couldn't make a tassel that perfect. No. That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's so you've got a really lovely fluffy tassel. You've then got um what's the what's the length of your threading material here? Obviously it's complementary colours in your uh, in your aquamarine sky uh, aquamarine blue. And you've got, I can't take them out because at some point this is actually being cut. There's your, there's your guru bead that Susie was just discussing. You've got um, the different sizes, so that's the 12 millimeter. Then you've got your, uh, your six mils and more six mils. There we go. So they're all six mil strands. So you said earlier on about the, the quantities that you need, um, that, you know, and 20. length. Yeah. So you've got more than enough to do that Absolutely. 108 marla. Yeah, you've got more than enough. You've got spare and you've got your guru bead and you've got your, um, so your this tassel. And with these, if you don't, if you can use other items from your stash, you may have other bees that you want to use. And these are examples of that. Or if not, then I would just accent your marker bead. If you want to put a mm. marker bead, then either put a bead cap on or put a spacer bead that's different. Yeah. So you just differentiate them. Um, yeah, you don't have to have an alternate yeah, colour, do you? Go. I mean, you do that quite a yeah, lot, don't you? Yeah, here we you? go. Look at that. I've bought one in. So these ones, all the same bead. And all I've done here is I've just put a spacer, a different spacer bead to accent it. So there's the, there's yeah. the actual marker. That's yeah. where it actually breaks it up. Oh. What a great idea, Susie. Yeah. And, you know, with that one, I use a beady bead as a guru. So. Oh, yes. Are we ready? Let's drop the price because yes. we're not even stopping there. What a great introduction yeah. to knotting um, yeah. stroke marlers. Yeah, and it's... lots of ideas as well. They have been bought as a complete little kit. £20. For a necklace. Yeah, and that's... For a marler. How much do you see them in the shop for? Oh, a lot. Starting £80. I don't know if I've even actually seen an aquamarine, yeah. a complete full aquamarine marler necklace. No, we'll absolutely. Have... For an aquamarine, I think it would be in the hundreds. I've seen um, a rose quartz one from my local, well, local, it's Avebury Crystal Shop, £87. Yeah. Rose quartz. And, and, and Sue, um, Sue gave me an aquamarine one. Yeah. I, oh. Uh, and do you know what? I wear it with your rose quartz oh, wow, one all yeah. the time. Lovely. All the time. So beautiful. It's aquamarine, absolutely. It shouldn't be at £20. But, you know, for that one strand on its own, £20 seems absolutely awesome, yeah. doesn't it? But you're actually getting two strands of your six millimetre rounds. One's just actually been unstranded. You've got the most beautiful tassel, which I, I, I literally yeah. couldn't make that. Yeah. I know we've shown demonstrations, but mine would never look that perfect. No, exactly, because they use really, really fine thread, which, you know, um, the difference... Uh, have a, yeah, here we go. If you made it with your S-Long. I've got it all today, haven't she I? She has. That's, that's what it would look like. Which and is beautiful. Which is nice, but look how silky that one is. It depends and, what you're looking for. This is a nice fluffy one, yeah. isn't it? Really lovely and fluffy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to leave that one with you. Um, let's do the Mookite one next. Okay. There's that. Um, which I love this necklace, Susie. I love what you've done with this because it's yeah. so different. Do you want to bring that yes. one over? Um, so as your gurus, <coughs> it's... Can if we you see want to take it? it off, take it all off. Yeah, because it's that yeah. I want to show. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Susie. That's beautiful. So just a bit of imagination using uh, gemstones 
from the stash and also to show you that it doesn't have to be round. You can, you know, use different shapes. Here I've used, accented it with I want smoky this kit. quartz and carnelian. <coughs> what I love about Mookite is you can put most gemstones with it and it looks absolutely And you don't have beautiful. to knot these kits, no, do you? No, you don't. This one isn't knotted. This one's just with spacer bees. So don't think I'm showing you um, knotting techniques. That's a technique to learn. If you want to knot, you can, but you don't have to. Some of mine, a lot of my uh, marlas are just with... Um, beads. Beads, seed beads, gold spacer beads. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. So here's the kit. You get your, again, your guru bead that you can see there um, at the top. So you've got uh, um, a beautiful mukite guru bead, which is um, 12 millimetres. You get two strands of your six millimetres. You get the thread. And if I just pivot it around, you can see there's the tassel also at the reverse. And the storage case. Let's not forget that. Yeah. You also get that storage case yeah. as well. Look at this for a tassel. It makes a beautiful mm. marla. I've actually made a marla in Mooka is actually currently sitting on my Buddha at home. I've, I've garnished my Buddha with just a plain oh. um, Mooka. But I like to sort of just sort of spice it up a bit just to give you inspiration. Love think, this colourway. You, know, you might have gemstones and think, I don't know what to do with them. Yeah. Think about uh, applying them into malas. Malas can be really decorative as you like. Yeah, it doesn't have to have a theme, no, exactly. if you like, or no, a colour absolutely. scheme. And the joy of mukai is that you're going to, chances are you've got it's going to complement oh, you know, all the colours, isn't it? And uh, just a lovely one to wear. Amazing. Again, oh, what are you doing? Why is there a clock ticking away? Oh. We're not even stopping at this price point. How many do we have of this kit? 68. I do ask. I'm not going to lie. For my own personal benefit. I'd like to buy this kit. Yeah. Beautiful. Literally just thread it. I'd I, probably buy a couple, actually. I think I've got, because I've bought most of the Marla kits again, um, and I have about two of each. I just love them. Because you get everything. You get the tassel, you get the guru bead, and then I just play around with them. They'd be nice earrings. Yeah. They're beautiful. It's a beautiful colour. Deep red. Tassels are so in at the moment. Oh, they are. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, they are well done. Twelve ninety nine. Ross. He's back, you know. He's back. He's back from Bali with a vengeance. We've got 68 of these available. I've only got two more kits to actually bring to air. And then uh, we can well and truly dive into uh, your masterclass demonstration. Any questions, do message, because we are live here in the studio. You've gone nuts for this. And frankly, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? It's two strands of mukai and the thread, um, and the, uh, the threading material, and the tassel, and the container. One, two, three, four, five components. Five components for 12.99. Yeah, less than three quid each. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. There were 68 of these, but they are not hanging around. Love that. Love it with the smoky quartz. Absolutely love it. It's just different, isn't it? I, yeah, do, I love smoky quartz anyway. It's a beautiful gemstone to have. It's deeply grounding, as is the mookite. Mookite, though, has because of the colours, it really gives you confidence. It's nurturing, but it gives you lots of confidence. So in, in, terms, in terms of chakra, yeah, I get... I get I, I, would assume that uh, Mookite's a popular one. Very popular because one, it's jasper, it's a form of jasper, mm. but it has those lovely earthy colours. And it's so you, in Mookite, you've got your sacral chakra, your root chakra, and your solar plexus chakra. So okay. it's very grounding, but it also gives you energy and drive. Love it, love and, it, love it. And um, you've put little injections of carnelian in there as well. Exactly, really, which really is really happy. Works. So it's a, oh. bring a smile to your face as well to say the world is good. I love carnelian. Love it. Well done. That's going to be a sellout. Congrats. Congratulations, yeah, everyone. Beautiful. Um, okay, we've got two more kits to bring you. Which one next? Let's do the rose. Right. Oh, this, this is yes. so beautiful. So I, feminine. Yeah. But also just a little bit. And in fact, this kit, just using the kit alone, is a beautiful marla, oh. just all pink. It's yeah, absolutely yeah. beautiful. Well, you gave me one, yeah. um, I think one of our first chakra shows. 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 And, yeah. I, and I wear it all the time. Yeah. Every, that's the joy of a marla. People ask about them as well. Absolutely. And the lovely thing with uh, rose quartz, it's the heart chakra and it represents universal love, which is sort of, it, it's really good for self-love. Mm -hmm. It's not just love of others. And I always say, before you can give out love, you have Absolutely. to love yourself. And I don't mean that in a vain way. I mean that, that you forgive yourself of your 
You know, mm. none of us are perfect, and we're always beating ourselves up, saying, I wish I was this, I wish I was that, I should be better at this. And at the end of the day, none of us are perfect. Absolutely. And you are what you are, and you have to be think, just own it and say, do you know what? I'm a really good person. I've got a good heart. That's it. If you don't like me, move along the bus. <laughs> She's the best person to speak to, you know, is our Susie. <laughs> Honestly. Because, I mean, I, we've had quite in-depth yeah. conversations, haven't we, in the yeah. past about, you know, sometimes... Yeah. I think it, I, uh, with this gem, and the reason yeah. why you gave me that necklace was that I feel yeah. guilty. But you shouldn't. Yeah. And I've told you this time and time I again. Know. Yeah. And uh, this is about saying, you know, I am worthy... And when you are, when you love yourself, then you can express mm. love to others genuinely. Yeah. You know, so it's good. <gasps> I've so, also just caught, we're so engrossed in this. Oh, job. sorry, yeah. No, 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 no. It's $9.99. Ah, fantastic. It's one no of my favourite. No way favorite. can you make that for $9.99. A $9.99 Marla? It... Oh, my word. Where are you <laughs> going to find a $9.99 Marla? How many do we have of these then, Ross? 70. Wow, well done. These best be a sellout. Yeah, and, and these, this is my personal, well, I love pink. I love rose quartz, one of my favourite um, gemstones. So, absolutely beautiful. Who doesn't love rose yeah. quartz? And who doesn't, yeah. we recognise rose quartz as well, absolutely. don't we? Absolutely. Uh, well done, Sue, Joyce, Joanna. Oh, well done. Carol, Diana beautiful. and Tim, Helen, Nicole, Patricia, uh, Chantal, Helen, you Pearl, Georgina, Yi, May, Carola, uh, uh, yeah. I'm, you know, those kind of emotions, when you're talking about, we're talking about, uh, I mean, chakra does tend to sort of prompt these kind of exactly. conversations. And I'm quite a transparent person. I would yeah. always, I, I, or I hope anyway, but I would always sort of say things like, I don't mind sharing my yeah. story and things like that. But you might know somebody else that's maybe feeling Absolutely. Like, like that for whatever reason. This is why I brought out the, the book we know we sold out about well-being. Yeah. And it's really lovely gifts to give. If you know someone's going through a hard time mm. or, or they've just passed an exam or they've got an interview, you to go to is knowing the gemstones to say here you go it's a little present give this you a bit of food this. yeah how wonderful and i get asked so many times um I get private message you know i've got a friend who's this or that yeah what gemstones are the best to, to mix with that and this is all part of the chakra healing about creating that mind body sort of balance wonderful Amazing. and gemstones can do that for you and today we've just expressed without even knowing you think yeah i get that of course it would make me feel calm yeah totally or, i get that that'd make me feel happy yes yeah, yeah totally. and you can so see it's... love can't yeah. you with with your rose absolutely. quartz and um, they're absolutely flying out the door yeah a, a neighbor of mine when she um when she lost her husband um straight away and I, I i didn't have the knowledge at that time susie that you have given us but um you know i know rose quartz who say unconditional love but i didn't quite that was about I, I, yeah. that was about all i knew yeah um but as soon as her uh, when her husband died i bought her rose quartz so yeah yeah just uh, um, you couldn't give a nicer present i know if there's you know i always say jade obviously universal a tiger's eye and rose quartz are my three go-tos mm. as presents. Um, last one, and then we're going to, like I said, Ooh. all things Marla. This colour is beautiful. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, there's your guru. There's your 12 mil guru. Let me get the tassel out. Oh, look at that for an hour. Oh, wow. Three. Beautiful colour. See, this is a really nurturing stone, and because it's got your greens, and can you see, it's got your sort of very earthy tone, so you've, it's very grounding, because you've got your sacral, your root, and your um, heart chakra. You can also got white, so it's a really good one for the um, more uh, spiritual dimensions. When, and when I say about spiritual dimensions, I was speaking to my husband yesterday, and I said, sometimes that seems a bit esoteric. What it means is, more altruistic approach to life mm -hmm. when you you I think about it's not about me now it's about giving to others helping yep. others and when I talk about the sham, uh, crown chakra and I go it gives you a more spiritual you know it connects you to a, a more spiritual dimension it can do but it just means that actually you are much more thoughtful about other people and suddenly that it's not all about you it's more about what can I give back to society? When you attain the sort of crown chakra, it's about what can I do to share my knowledge with other people? Yeah. So that's, and this has got it in there as well. Fantastic. Again, it's, you know, it, it, it's a good thing to have as a mantra, yeah, isn't it? Absolutely. To actually be mindful. Yeah. Um, yeah, give and also be mindful of yeah. others, I suppose. And when your whole body's in balance and you're at one, you know, we all have this when we're really, really happy and nothing can go wrong is that, 
everybody, yeah, I'll do that for you. Yeah, I'll do that for you. That's true. When you're in balance, you're like that all the time. And yeah. this is what you uh, have yeah, yeah. to achieve. When you're sort of feeling anxious and you've got bills to pay and you've just had an argument, then you sort of don't come near me because I'm going to snap, snap at you. Yeah. You and Guilt. your body's out of balance. Yeah. Guil so, I've been guilty of that, yeah. for sure. I so. think most of us have. Anyway. Susie, thank you so much. Well, make sure you check out your baskets. But... What are you going to demo for those right. people that haven't just tuned uh, have just tuned in? I'm um, going to talk about making a traditional mala, okay. which is a different way to the one uh, we made earlier. earlier. But I briefly wanted to touch on the tassels because I know we've got this one here. Yeah. But that you know, on mine we have several types of um, tassels, and I just wanted to show you if you wanted to make a chain one, you would just make um, you get eight lengths of chain. And then you could add on a gem or two gems, which is simply by just adding gemstones to a head pin. This is a bit big because this is uh, the one. And then just doing your little wrap loop like this. And then when you get this one, and I'll do it on a featherweight. I wouldn't do it on a big one like this, but you could do. And then just wrapping it onto your chain. This is at the other end because I didn't have spare chain. And then this is very quick. This isn't part, this is a freebie demo. And then you add it on like that and then cut that bit off there. Right, now I'm using cutters here. If you wanted to make this, round nose pliers and essential, cutters and essential um, to make that. So you imagine you would then have, you would make eight of those like that. How easy is that to make? Really, really easy. You just need, Head pins, featherweight head pins. So, and then when you've got those, you would get a piece of wire or a uh, head pin, an eye pin, but you might just have wire. You might not have any um, head pins, uh, eye pins. You might just have some wire. So here I've got some 0.6 wire, trimmed a bit off, and then about, well, I'll just go to the end actually. Oh my. And then you just make your own loop. Just make your loop like that. So that's your eye pin. So there's an eye pin. And then you would then thread all of those on like that. Oops. Open up that little eye pin to let them all in. See? Hello. Go on there. In you go. And then you've now trapped them all into that eye pin. And then depending if you wanted to put it on to a bigger... Ball. You could put the ball on like that if I quickly because I'm going to take this off. You could either put it onto a ball like that, so obviously not that one and not that size, but I'm just showing you. Or you can, as I've done quite often, we sell the bead cats or we have sold the bead cats which are out of this world and look at what it does. So, what a fantastic little tassel you've got there. That's a little short one, but you can make a little long one with just the length of the chains. So that's just some ideas for tassel ends. So that I just wanted to show you because I love a tassel, as you know. Right, now then we're gonna go on to making the mala. Now this time, we're sort of starting the mala in the middle. Where we started before at one end and we, tie, and we, we started at this end, we're now starting in the middle. So I'm gonna use the tassel from the kit. And first of all, our guru bead, Pass your thread through your guru bead. Then, because I'm going to, on this particular design, I had a bead cap. Thread it onto the bead cap right down to the other end. So just push this, let me get that out of the way. Can you see that? Yeah. Uh, oops. And just leave about that much. You don't want to leave more than that, but just leave enough to make a knot at the end. Thread on your um, tassel. We're going through and then back up through the bead, uh, the, the bead cap, through your guru bead, and then here we go. Da, da, da. And I'm using the full two meter length here just to show you how easy it is to work with two meters um, when you're making a because you'll need two meters when you're making a mala, you will need all two meters of it. If you're going to knot, and I'm going to teach you the knotting, and can you see that is now tied? And I start off by making a knot just to secure that in place. So that is now going nowhere. Hang on to that end there, 
and then we start making the marla. So now what we're going to do is our marla, we're going to make the whole thing till we get to the other end. Okay. So again, just to recap, or if somebody missed this morning's I'm show. i about this bit as well. Yes. You know when you come back round? Yeah, we'll, I'll get to that. It won't be on this particular one, but I've, I've got one pre-prepared. So on this design, um, it was a matter of knotting nine. So this um, design is knotting nine at a time and then you add on your marker bead. So you can see how easily this knots, as you can see here. And then I'm just gonna add my other bead on. And I'm doing it with the full two meters. Normally when I'm doing a demo, I actually sort of make it shorter, but I'm actually gonna demo. So in real time, this is what you'll be experiencing. So, and you can see it's very, very easy to work with. Now I'm using a size, um, 10 thread because these have got generous um, holes and what you want to do is the hole that will dictate the uh, thread so Eslon thread is perfect your sort of 0.5 is perfect for sort of the rose quartz and most of the beads uh, with pearls for instance if you're making a pearl one this would be far too thick you probably wouldn't be able to yeah. get it through yeah. the needle um, but what you don't want to do is to have a very thin thread, say if it's a size three, if you're using these, uh, with these drill holes, because what will happen is you'll make the knot and the knot will disappear. Can you see here that they make a statement because the thread is so thick? Well, otherwise um, it's pointless knotting them. Yeah, it? yeah, because it'll just go through the hole and disappear up the other end. And that's important to know if you're doing it with pearls as well. Use the thickest thread that you can that'll go through that pearl. Don't use one that'll go slip through easily and think, oh, great. Because what will happen is the silk or thread will stretch, your um, knots will go up the pearls, and then you, within sort of an hour of you making it, you think, oh, I've got to start again. And you can't pull them all off because you've knotted them, and then you've got to cut them off individually. And um, I'm just gonna do this because I think repetition is really good. And you can see the speed at which you can actually do this. So I'm going to do nine of these. And then, because we're near the, uh, just for Ross's point of view, thinking, Susie, this is taking forever. It won't, because once I've done nine and shown you the pattern, um, we can then go to the end. So I'm just repeating. So it's doing overhand knot onto the T-pin. And I know there are lots of methods but this is the one that works for me. I think it's worked for a lot of people. Um, and I think it looks the simplest. And it is the simplest, and it's the, the most inexpensive way of um, pearl knotting, because there are a lot of gadgets out there that you can buy that um, purport to do pearl knotting, which they do admirably. But this way, it's just so inexpensive. It's one tool that'll last you a lifetime. Well, a T-pin. A T-pin. Yeah, and never you mind can... the gadgets, it's a pin. And again, you can do the tweezer one, which is, I'm not very au fait, but I'll just show you that you can do it this way. You can, it's that way so that you can hold it. It looks so a bit more fiddly. It's a bit more fiddly, but it can be done. And then it's the same. And then you just pull it out and you see that on quite a lot of demos mm. that they show you, but it's not my favorite, I must admit. No, when I, I used to stand by um, a lady, a little old lady used to do our pearl knotting in that jewelers, and I used to literally stand by her for hours. Yeah. Watching her oh. pearls. I did, used to, honestly, because you can imagine that there wasn't a very heavy footfall in, in somewhere yeah. in jewelers like that. So I used to literally just stand there with chat for hours while she pearled knots. Yeah, and, and this is a nice thing. You can, with pearl knotting, it's very therapeutic. Mm. And. Um, as I say, give yourself time. Don't be doing this if you think, I've only got 20 minutes. Because, um, again, if you want to sort of relax, just sit here and do this. You can see there's hardly anything on my tray. Um, you know, it's just the beads, a needle, and a tea pin. So it's, it's really sort of, it's a very neat um, sort of method to use as well if you're uh, making a piece of jewellery. There isn't a lot out, so very quick to put away or just to leave. So how many I've done? Two, four, six, eight. See, we're already up to the ninth one here. So they build quite quickly. They really then. builds quickly, and um, you know, never be frightened of knotting. 
And the more you do, the more confident mm. you get. I mean, look at me, I'm just doing it. It's, it's you know, it's what I do. But um, it's really, really simple. And the trick is, I say, never be afraid and use the thickest thread that you can for the hole that you're going through. Yeah. So now we've done our nine and then I change it up a bit. So here I've got my marker and in our, in the design I did, I think I used um, eight mil. These are um, obsidian and I've done that because, ro you know, we say rose quartz is universal love. Obsidian is a really good protective stone. It mm -hmm. really, it, it, it says it's the mirror stone because what it does is it puts a mirror up to you to, to, uh, so that you can have a good look at yourself and it sorts out problems. So if you've got issues, it will help you sort of come to terms with what, what those issues are. Oh, that's wonderful. And, that's uh, and highly, highly protective. So I just thought it was a nice combination. Um, in medieval times, they used to literally polish it for mirrors. Yeah, exactly. Because it's that reflective. Yeah. Yeah, it's so shiny, but I love black obsidian. And again, it's one, I, I say this and I laugh, but if you're ever going, uh, if you're in a workplace or you're going to a function or a group and you know there's somebody there that you know that you don't get on with or drains your energy or that always wants to have a little dig at you, put a little black obsidian stretchy bracelet on because it wards off that negative energy. And they don't know that you're saying, you know, um, you know, speak to the hand. That's what you're saying when you wear this. So can you see, look, just through me talking, how far we've got along there. And you literally just repeat this pattern until you've done all 108 beads, which is 10, I think if Elle could count it, because I can't remember. Oh, right, yeah. If you That's count me. the black beads and then... Count how many you've got? Yeah, of the black beads, okay. sorry. That's, right. That's how many you'll need. Including the big one? Uh, no, without the big one, okay. just the Two, eight mils. four, six... Eight, ten, eleven. Eleven. So keep going until you've done eleven and then the next set of um, the rose quartz. And then you know you've done 108 because that pattern is 108. So you just carry on doing that until you've done a whole eleven and then another nine until you want to come back around to that side. So here I pre-prepared. I pre-prepared. So here... Just imagine that this is a really long mala. Now this is a chakra bead. And then we've come round and you literally will just tie a knot here. And that is all you do, is you just really tie a knot. Now, when I say just tie a knot, make sure that you secure it really well because I have made a mala where I've cut it and then it undid. Oh, no. And then I've knotted it all and it hasn't been right. See, look, as I'm talking, see this. So just, this is probably the most important bit, but it's really easy because you just tie a knot. Now, you can tie a knot and then tie another one round it, which is what I tend to do. So I just go Okay, yeah, and just change make, direction. Just change direction and just tie another knot. Just to finish it and if you wanted to you can always put a crimp bead over this bit you can crimp it to hide the knot if you wanted to so just securely have the knot and then i would put some clear nail polish on that um, let it dry and then trim it close to the edge but make sure you've knotted it quite a few times and then you just literally well I'll cut oh, it off. That's a dinky little mark. Yeah that's it's a little cute. dinky but imagine that I have secured that with some glue and then you can then trim those much better than I've shown you there and then that is how you do your marla. Beautiful. That's a little dinky one. It's a dinky one. For a little teddy bear or if you've got a Buddha. <laughs> oh yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Love it. Absolutely so that's a little chakra, love it. Yeah. Thank you, Susie. So you um, any questions that you might have, you still have time to text us. We are live here in the studio. Yep. So, um, yeah, text away. Yeah, you've got about, about how long? How long have we got left on the show? See? About seven, eight minutes. There you go. So you've got time to text us. Um, amazing. Absolutely yeah. amazing. And the world of Marlers, you know, whilst, yes, it's a very specific design, you know, it actually covers lots of different different design aspects, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And Marlers are part of the chakra. And if have I got time just to go through the chakras please, with everyone? Yeah, because it please is the Saturday do, yeah. show. And some, you might be tuning in and thinking, I'm going to learn about chakras. Yeah, please do. I haven't. 
Chakra is all about balance with the mind, um, within your mind and your body and ultimately your soul. Um, and it's to create that balance. And what chakra is, it means, literally means spinning discs of energy. And those discs of energy, we all have energy in our body. The world is made up of energy. All our crystals are made up of energy. Matter is energy. And the Chinese believe in our energy points. And the chakra is energy points that radiate from the earth right up to the universe, which says that we are connected through the earth to the universe. We are all one with the universe. And the energy starts at the, the, say, uh, the root chakra, which is right at the bottom. And that's normally colored black or red. And that is for our sort of survival. It's for our sort of basic needs. Then it goes up to our red or orange, uh, which is our sacral chakra, based around our sort of lower organs. And that is for emotions, creativity, energy, um, and yeah, emotions, and our sex drive. And then we go up to our solar plexus, which is denoted by the color yellow, which is in the sort of chest area. And that's for our willpower our, and our drive. Our, and ambition. And yeah. ambition, yeah. yeah, but that get up and go. And then moving further up goes to our heart chakra, which is about all love, compassion, empathy, general love. And we then move up, which is colored pink or green. And then we move up to our throat chakra here, which are all the colors of blue, which is for communication and speech, as you'd expect. Then moving up to our pineal gland, which is here, called our third eye, which is the third eye chakra, which is the colors of indigo, violet, purples, those sort of colours, and then up to our crown chakra, which ultimately is white. And I always use the crown chakra as white. You'll see quite often that chakras, people will use the violets, and I'll, I'll explain that later. But our crown chakra is really from our head right up to the universe. So that's where we talk about our spiritual journeys. And so if all of those are in balance, so if we're feeling secure, we're feeling grounded, creative, we're happy, we, you know, we, we expressed ourselves, we've got the measure of everything and we're thinking clearly and we become non-judgmental, non become very empathetic, we realise you know, everyone has a journey so we don't judge anything and that is balance. Where you've got a misbalance, you can attribute it to a chakra. So it might be that if you're feeling stressed, yeah. that could be either your throat chakra because you haven't been able to say what you want to say. It could be your uh, um, heart chakra, solar plexus. It just depends on that emotion. Sometimes if we feel angry or jealous, that could also stem from our um, root chakra simply because we're feeling insecure mm. so you, you know when we talk about well-being and people ask me what gemstones do I do for this to keep in balance so if you're feeling stress then think about wearing something that connects to the root chakra and the heart chakra and that's how we work everything out so that's a really quick lesson in the amazing. chakras it's literally amazing thank you so much and also makes you kind of think about sort of emotions and things that yeah. you uh, might be going through or yeah. know of people going through. Now, we can do one finale auction. Should we do it? Something that would be absolutely perfect. You did a beady bee, didn't you? Yes. Of a tassel. yes. Lovely Dan yes. is passing in the most amazing strand. Um, yeah. Most amazing strand. Oh, yeah, of aquamarine. Beady beads, but also, if I actually show the bottom of the tassel, you've got some, uh, I mean, this is opalite, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it Beautiful is. Beautiful opalite. opalite. But if you wanted to put um, aquamarine, it's a fantastic alternative. You cannot go wrong with a four millimetre round size um, because they are so universal, whether it be a yeah. beady bead or whether it be literally as little punctuations you said earlier on about Absolutely. using spaces. Um, to draw attention to uh, to create your your, your markers. Yeah, and nineteen ninety nine. Fantastic. But if you wanted to make a mala out of four mils, obviously oh, you'd yeah, use lovely. more than one hundred and six. But what a lovely gentle. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Because not everybody likes wear. chunky if gemstones. Gemstones. You could have a lovely delicate mala using. You know, it doesn't have to be prescriptive. That's all I want to say. No. 
The mala is what you make of it. What about like multi layers? Yes. All the way around. Yeah, I have done a couple gorgeous. of malas. Yeah, I've done that before. Uh, I mean, we've got. Did you say finale auction? Finale auction, nine ninety nine. Look at the quality. You've got those beautiful, beautiful azure blues. Wonderful exterior luster from your aquamarine. Um, oh, they, well, yeah, they're flying out the door. And so, so much potential because you think about all the kits, not just in the 12 o'clock hour, but also in the 9 o'clock hour that we've done today. It's going to complement every single one Absolutely. of those gemstones. Absolutely. Oh, beautiful. Ross. He says, it's been an amazing show today. As a finale deal this wow. Friday. Yeah, giveaway Aquamarine. deal. Aquamarine, oh my word. That is, isn't it? Beautiful. Looming, you can do things like you're looming and you're weaving and you're kiss cross. Criss cross, yeah, absolutely, wouldn't that be you know, There's so much that you can achieve with a four millimetre yeah. round. If you could pop along to somewhere like Astley Clark, you know, one of their uh, uh, most successful lines at the moment, or I believe it is anyway, is their um, biography collection yeah. where they, I think they are four millimetres and it just basically looks like a really simple tennis star bracelet. Yeah. where they have just a couple of little yeah. um, a little spacer beads just dotted in between. You know, one strand would probably make th the equivalent of three of those bracelets. Yeah. Um, and I can tell you they cost about £130 on average. £7.99 for that beautiful gemstone today. Um, Susie, also going back to your um, nine o'clock kits with those lovely chakra yeah. symbols in sterling oh, silver. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, put one of those either side. Oh. Fantastic. What a show it has been. Well done. Make sure you do check out those baskets. We're running out of time. I'm back with you bright and early tomorrow, and you have got an absolutely stupendous show tomorrow. Just make sure you tune in. But, oh, Susie, you make my, my week. You really I do. I love it. I just have so much fun. It, the time goes like this. It does. And, I mean, today we've had my favourite things mm -hmm. on. Couldn't you tell? How yeah. we love our Susie. When are you yeah. back with us? 28. So you, you've got a break from me now. You Like my husband thinking, that's enough, Susie. <laughs> oh, no, I'm very sad about that, but I'll see you in the morning. Bye.